of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. No! A plasma pulse could ignite the gas. Can't leave you guys alone for one minute, can I? Feel that? 600 foot-pounds of stump pulling torque. That's my girl, light on her feet. We need to deliver this to General Abernathy, personally. Washington's a long way from here. Which will give me time to hack the files I downloaded. And time for whatever Cobra stuffed in that can to thaw. Roadblock's right. We can't drive to DC. Well, I've sailed every corner of the globe. I crossed the date line so many times, I'm two years younger than when I started. But I have never seen a more motley collection of flotsam in my life. Has this dude looked in the mirror lately? He doesn't have to marry us, just give us a lift. Can you sail as far as the mid-Atlantic coast, Captain Delgado? Moon, get these to the cannery before they start stinking. Cool. You pukes must be pretty desperate if you're coming to me. Whatever you're transporting or whoever, I'm betting it's trouble. But I'm a no questions asked kind of guy, if you got the money. Well, we're a little short right now. But you'll get paid as soon as we get to Washington, guaranteed. I don't set sail on promises. Wait, maybe we can make a trade. What you got? Uh, tools, weapons, electronics, uh, real state-of-the-art stuff. I could use a set of wheels for sure, Leaf. Oh, nah, 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 not my coyote. Never. Uh-uh. Nah, nah. <laughs> Careful! That's 12 coats of permaclear enamel she's sporting, man. Dude, you must let go. I ain't even talking to you no more, mister. Maybe we can make a trade. You sure it'll be cold enough down here, Moon? The tuna never complain. Even when we fillet them. Don't worry, she's going to a good home. I got an eye for fine machinery. Like Courtney here. You name this tub Courtney. The word is ship, soldier. And as long as you're on mine, you will respect Courtney Krieger. <clears throat> the model? My Courtney might not be as pretty, but she's reliable. Hey, shipwreck! You actually find someone crazy enough to sail with you? How much you have to pay him? So, shipwreck. How'd you get that colorful nickname? Deck needs swabbing. Barnacles need scraping. Uh, free labor wasn't part of the deal. Sailor, we're sailing with a skeleton crew. So turn to you clock watching deck apes on the double. This is 
didn't enlist in the Navy. Don't worry, baby. I won't let the sea salt fade your paint job. It's just a truck. More like a friend. Only she complains a lot less. Smells better, too. <clears throat> really? Did I hurt your feelings? Seasick. Thanks. Don't want you getting any on the truck. Why are we stopping? Courtney's being a little temperamental, that's all. Moon. Right on. What's going on down there? I need that engine purring. Huh. Moon's dead. Yo, Monocle Bill. You got any idea what all this bobbing in place is doing to my stomach lining? Need a hand, shipwreck? I know my way around an engine. My Courtney's particular about who touches her. So's my coyote. And I wouldn't mind seeing how you intend to treat her. I'm not scraping that off. Power's down. I need to check on our cargo. Ooh, I'll do it. Anything beats cleaning up after Tunnel Rat. <laughs> Was that really necessary? Any thoughts about getting across without frying ourselves? Okay, hazardous waste just can't get up and walk away. Unless it's a bio viper. What happened, Courtney? Rats a medic. He'll help. If I can pry him off the rail. What did you bring aboard my ship? It's called a Techno Viper, a combination of Bio Viper material and nanotechnology. Cobra wanted something that could sabotage or control any technology it touched. The ultimate gremlin. But the prototype was too unpredictable, so they put it on ice. And that thing is on my engine? Easy. We have plenty of experience taking down Vipers. Just not this kind exactly. with the turbo boost. Don't do this to me, Courtney! <clears throat> ah! You spit! 
stupid bag Techno Viper just took over the con. We can't let it get to a populated area. Any of those files you downloaded say how to stop it? You know it don't like cold. Grab every extinguisher on the ship. We'll drive it from the engine room into the freezing cold water. Belay that! You don't give the orders. This is my boat. You have a better plan? What's your plan if you green shirts can't deep six that thing? He's right. We'll have to sink Courtney. Stow that ordinance. None of you is sinking my Courtney. Especially when my coyote's riding on her. She ain't yours no more, Swabby. Which means technically those noisemakers are mine too. Listen. If this ship gets to a populated area, the Techno Viper will expand and infect every piece of technology there is. Nobody wants to sink Courtney. But the longer we stand around arguing, the more likely that scenario becomes. Fine. Your move, soldier. Okay. Our plasma pulse weapons just make that thing stronger, which is why we gotta go low tech. Tunnel rat. Oh, yeah. Mortal fear is a great cure for nausea. Rig the fuel tank. Scarlet, make a detonator. I'll get Moon to the lifeboat. The rest of you are on fire extinguisher detail. Go. <clears throat> That's the last of them. It's gonna work. You'll see. I won't lose another ship. It's got something to do with your nickname. I was working for Cobra. They wanted me to dump some chemicals for him. Wouldn't do it, so they sank my ship and blamed me. I knew who you guys were right from the start. Seen you on the news. Figured any enemy of Cobra is a friend of mine. So why all the horse trade? Just because we're friends doesn't mean I gotta give you a discount. We got bigger problems port side. That carrier's heading straight toward us. You know what'll happen if the Techno Viper climbs aboard? Sorry, Shipwreck, but we're out of options. No! I won't let you sand crabs blow a hole in my Courtney! I'll talk some sense into him. One gearhead to another. Better talk fast. Everyone else to the lifeboat!
That thing's finding weapons even Breaker didn't know about. Aw, oh, Roadblock would be so proud of his baby. If it wasn't trying to grease us! We have to sink this tub now. Slight problem. The detonator's in the lifeboat. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Wait! Roadblock and shipwreck. In the clear. Do it. What's wrong with your detonator? Nothing. You must have rigged the explosives wrong. Oh, man, what'd you do that for? I told you I won't lose another ship. You of all people should understand that. Hey, I love my truck, but I ain't gonna sacrifice my friends for it. Someone's being a bad girl. Don't even try! If I lose her, it ain't gonna be to some slithering spark plug! Got a towel? This is the USS Flag. Please identify yourself. Do you require assistance? Courtney's just fine. Thanks for asking. I won't be needing this. Can't separate a man and a ship, especially one who saved mine. That's odd. Seems our Techno Viper was more than just a gremlin. It programmed a destination into the ship's GPS. Why Scotland? Craving for Haggis? I say we go find out. You serious? Yeah. I still got a score to settle with those Cobra bottom feeders. And tell you what, guys. No charge. Looking a little tense, my man. You want me to take the wheel? I've driven through sleet, snow, hail, and the Long Island Expressway. A little Scottish mist got nothing on me. <laughs> Easy! Oh, ho how about Scottish roads? You have to drive on the left side here. Is it any wonder I prefer traveling by sewer pipe? Hey, look at this. Duke? It's the inventory I downloaded from Cobra's storehouse in Canada. Okay. Listed under BioViper. There, see? It's a reference to some kind of delivery system called the BioDag. Fascinating. Think about it. Cobra's planning to deliver the BioViper somewhere. <sighs> Look, I don't know what you've been moping about, but it's time to get your game face on. We're two miles out from where that Techno Viper was headed, and we have no idea what we're walking into. Exactly. Well, not the standard Cobra lab I was expecting. You suppose that Techno Viper just picked these coordinates at random? I'll find out. You sit tight. Sit tight? What are we, 12? It's 
like walking into a museum. I thought I was running recon. We missed you. This place is massive. It makes sense to use more bodies. Fine, but we stay together and nobody touches anything. I didn't touch a thing, I swear. Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. <clears throat> okay, the way I see it, we just tripped some kind of automated security system. That, or someone's watching us. Either way, we're getting out of here. Great. Check your weapons. I got nothing. They've been powered down somehow. And our first priority is to find an exit. Let's move. by this simulation, the biodag flies virtually undetected until the moment of impact. By then, it's too late. Dr. Binder, Destro, this is a wonderful example of how your collaboration should work, particularly in light of your last failed effort. I still say you mothballed the Techno Viper too soon, Baroness. I had such high hopes. What hopes? That slime was too erratic, much like its originator. Only the tech was erratic, Metal Mouth. Enough, Baroness. If we employ the Biodag now, wouldn't the Pipers leave evidence that could be traced back to Cobra? I'm confident that won't be a problem, Commander. Very nice. And what is the status of the prototype? Built and ready to launch from my Highland facility. Then let's stage an actual demonstration, shall we? Of course. And might I be so bold as to suggest that Baroness come here to personally supervise the test? Excellent idea. Baroness, divert your flight. Sir. Destro. I really don't see an advantage to having me there simply to watch you push buttons. I have something to show you, my dear Baroness. A gift that was unexpectedly left on my doorstep. Now we know whose hospitality we're enjoying. James McCullen, Ma's Industries big-headed honcho. And the reason our weapons aren't working. He built them, he obviously knows how to power them down. Remember, McCullen's in bed with Cobra. We need to find him. I think we should split up. No, too risky. Duke, a word in private? Please? Since when is anything too risky for you? I'm just assessing the threat level. You've been too reckless lately. That's not it. I've noticed a change in you ever since Roblox nearly drowned. Duke, that wasn't your fault. But it was my responsibility. That's what this is about? We're all responsible for each other. Cut yourself a little slack. The squad depends on me to keep us alive, Scarlet. And I need to start doing a better job of it.
Welcome, Baroness, to McCullen Castle. My time is short. Where is the biodag? This way. I thought we could enjoy a little repast while we work. Chocolate? Some of the finest in the Commonwealth. Mmm, I do love chocolate. We're very much alike, you and I. What do you mean? We've made similar choices in our lives. We have passions and we've put them to work in hopes of improving the world. Yes. Cobra has provided us both wonderful opportunities, even if you do tend to turn your nose up at them. I've learned my lesson, Baroness. And since then, I've done everything the Commander has asked of me. Perhaps you should consider doing more than what's asked of you. Like presenting you with a gift that will take your breath away? Meet our dinner guests for the evening. Ready to have some fun. Jackpot. No go. These are dead too. Hey. Check it out. Can't power down these bad boys. We gotta fight, we'll just do it old school. Well, it is better than nothing. At least until we find our way out of this maze. Oh, I don't think you'll be going anywhere, my dear home invaders. Now that you've properly armed yourselves, tonight's entertainment can finally begin. Take cover! A suit of armor. How inventive. Actually, it's one of my new battle android troopers. I hid the prototypes inside armor, for security's sake. The commander will be so pleased. Must you always put his interests ahead of your own, Baroness? The Joes are my gift to you, not to him. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Don't be. I can't remember the last time I've so enjoyed myself. The fun doesn't have to end here. Mm. Anastasia, just think of what we could accomplish in concert. A partnership? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Try having a little something to eat. Unless you brought a straw, my dear. I'll be dining later. This way! Move! Move! This ain't gonna hold more than 30 seconds! And the final chapter in tonight's thrilling drama, The Dead End. Well, for a second there, it seemed like a good idea. It's 
still is. We just need the battery packs from our weapons. Why? They explode when ruptured. Wait! We only get one shot, and those things will keep on coming. Now! Can't find a door? Make one! Uh-oh. Define uh-oh. Biodag, remember? That's the Viper delivery system I saw in Cobra's inventory. They're preparing to launch it. Keep moving, go, go, go! Those punk bots are angling for a better shot. We need a plan, now! That B-tool out there, I can access its missile system. So can any one of us. You don't have to be our protector. Your fire. That, that was incredible. And their fate now rests in your hands. What are your orders? Hold them. I have questions. Take the prisoners to the dungeon. I'm sorry that this mask must come between us, Anastasia. Perhaps Cobra Commander will recognize your achievement and allow me to remove it for you. Um. Commander, I, um, we were- It is not as it appears, sir. What he means, sir, is that James, I, I mean Destro, has successfully captured the Joes. Their leader has already been eliminated. That is good news. In regards to the test, we'll now focus on a site and- I've already chosen. A mining camp in Greenland, owned by a particularly annoying competitor. Make certain there are no survivors. We'll launch the biodag as soon as I receive the coordinates, Commander. See that you do. First ripcord, now Duke. What was with him, man? Why did he go all lone wolf like that? For us. He didn't want his decisions putting us at risk anymore. That's crazy. That dude was good at making decisions. Yeah, being in charge is overrated. Who'd want that job? Unless you'd care to join your fallen combat. You'll answer me truthfully. Who told you about this castle? Last chance. I know that voice. McCullen. Nice headgear. Shoot them all. Start with the ninja. Wait, stop, stop! 
Your Techno Viper was headed here. I'm listening. We assumed it was following some kind of homing instinct. What? I never programmed the homing instinct. That must be Mindbender's doing. But why would he send that thing to my castle? Unless... Unless he was sending it after me. Baroness! We'll discuss it later, Destro. Right now we have a launch to attend to. Bid farewell to our guests. Finish them. And you wondered why I was so eager to get out of this castle. We saw you get blown up. Tell us what happened. How did you get out? When that VTOL was coming apart around me, one thing became pretty obvious. I had to bail. By the time I climbed out of the well, you were being escorted into some kind of passageway. <laughs> you dog! You had us all emotional and everything! And I hate getting emotional. Very macho, guys. But right now we have a launch to scuttle. Good thing there are more where this came from. Forget the systems check, Scrap Iron. Just release the clamps and launch! <laughs> Still engaged. Ignition in 30 seconds. What's that mean? If I don't release those clamps, the rocket will fill this place with fire and then detonate. Ignition in 20 seconds. In ten seconds. Such wonderful heroic, Sergeant. Get all for naught. Two, one, zero. Anastasia. James. You'll be all right. What will we do? Cobra Commander. I will accept full responsibility. What else can he possibly do to me? You have no idea. Well, as fun as this is, we'd better not hang around. I'm sure Cobra is sending backup. Duke. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I know. And so will we. As long as we're all in this thing together. Uh, just wanted you to know, Duke. Uh, we'd follow you anywhere. Feelings mutual. That's our target, Wu Cheng, CEO of China Lai Telecom. He's one of several communications bigwigs on the guest list for a summit hosted by the Baroness at the Cicerovna family chateau. Just the place for Cobra to eliminate the competition. So we schlepped all the way to East Croatia, Hungo, Slavia, whatever, to crash another party? No crashing. Mr. Cheng's our ticket in.
He probably would have slept through the presentation anyway. Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Step lively, gentlemen. Mr. Chang demands respect. You're enjoying this far too much. You better hope the real Mr. Chang doesn't wake up anytime soon. After all the secret sauce Snake Eyes slipped him, I'm betting Chang doesn't wake up anytime this week. Guten Tag. My Mandarin is rusty. Ni hama. Hengar xing an chini. Wow, what's with the racial? Just because I look Chinese, you assume I speak it? But, but you are the head of a Chinese phone company. Do I tell you how to run your business, Gramps? Ow! Eh. Keep our gear close. We're going in unarmed. Doesn't feel right. There should be guards crawling all over this room. <laughs> Unless someone else got here first. What is this presentation? Why were we called here? Does anyone know? On behalf of Cobra Industries, I welcome you all to Chateau Cesarovna. Guys, looks like we have competition. Someone took out security and it wasn't us. Copy that. We'll keep a sharp eye here. Ladies and gentlemen, my president and CEO, Adam de Cobre. Thank you, Baroness for opening your family's baronial estate to us all. And I would especially like to thank all of you for attending this historic conference. Ah, don't mention it. You're about to get a sneak peek at our new flagship product. I give you the future of cellular communications technology, the Cobra Blackadder. I don't understand. Yeah, this looks promising. Thank you, it's the cat. Thank you very much. Ooh, free swag. Hand it over. Ah, great. Why don't you fetch me some club soda? The Black Adder's unique subliminal technology will enable you to send messages directly to their brains. Advertising, calls to action, customer loyalty, complete and absolute loyalty. <laughs> Spoil soup. Since when does a cook carry a plasma pulse weapon? I will ask the questions. Who do you work for? We're sort of independent right now. Maybe you've heard of us, the Joes. We're all over Cobra News Channel. I do not watch Cobra News. Propaganda is bad for digestion. As are unexpected guests. Wait! We have a mutual enemy. Maybe we can trade information. What kind of information? Lower your weapon and we'll chat. Scarlet, what's going on? Come in. This is not negotiation. Talk and live, or don't talk and don't live. Choice is yours. She needs backup. Go. You know you're not really in charge, right? Now, if you will all turn your attention to your phones, you will be the first to witness a demonstration of Cobra's patented technology. I've seen
seen this show already, and I hated it the first time. You are servants of Cobra. You are loyal only to Cobra. You serve without question. Guys, we got problems. Cobra ain't eliminating the competition. They're mind controlling them with Tomax and Zamat's light show. Come in, anybody. I can tell you right now, there's a room full of innocent people who may be in danger. No one is innocent. You see this banquet? <laughs> The Cicerovnas grow fat. My people live on crumbs. Yo, what's cooking? Who is this guy? Someone with an axe to grind against the Baroness and her family. You tell him we're on the same side? Got lost in translation. Long live the October Guard! Planning, scouting the chateau, waiting for Baroness to return. Wasted. She still lives thanks to American Joes from Cobra News. That's what this is about? Blowing up the Baroness? You'd have taken dozens of innocent lives with her. <laughs> Collateral damage. A wise man once said blood is the price of victory. Karl von Clausewitz. Great Prussian general Karl von Clausewitz. You've read him. Yeah, I've read him. Don't agree with him. Oh, look. It's a smorgasbord of fail. <laughs> Captain Anatoly Krimov. Or should I call you Red Star? Where is your precious October Guard now? Everywhere. We will not stop fighting the Cizorovnas until you all pay for your crimes against my people. That was generations ago, peasant. You became rich while thousands starved. Know your place. We ruled under the Tsars, then the Communists, then the Capitalists. Cizorovnas were born to rule. The October Guard will end your reign. We will leave scorched earth where the house of Cizorovna once stood. Dude's hardcore. And if we're not careful, we could end up just like him. After admire his passion. Yeah, I hate to break up the May Day rally, but I got some big plans for your Yojo brains. Courtesy of my psychic pals, Tomax and Zaymot. Don't blink, or you might miss it. Oh, wait, you can't! Find a fuse box, cut the power, no more light show. You need to come with us. You can't talk to me like that. Don't you know who I am? Hey, no! Come back here! Huh? Where'd he go? Guys, the phone. Uh. Yeah. We just gonna leave Comrade Cuckoo? Yeah, we can't exactly trust him. There's no time for debate. Every CEO up at that summit was handed one of those hypno phones, including Tunnel Rat. How far do you think you will get without your weapons? I've studied this chateau for months. I know where the Baroness keeps her toys. I gotta say, 
seeing those two strapped down and helpless never gets old for me. How long until the mind control becomes permanent? Relax, B. Cerebral manipulation is not an exact science. First, I have to keep Tweedledee and Tweedledum from nodding off so they could do their hypno-mojo. <gasps> then I have to boost their psychic signal through that satellite dish. Then, beam it back to every single cell phone in that room, taking into account the complexity of each CEO's unique neural network. How long? 20 minutes, 13 seconds. The commander has high hopes for this project. Once the CEOs are under our control, Cobra will have access to every communication satellite on the planet. And then we beam the mesmerizing message worldwide. Global mind control. Talk about signal strength. Used to that. As promised. But why did you let the guards live? Because there are some lines we're not willing to cross. Sadly, our mutual enemy does not share your weakness. Yo, T Red, still in one piece? You need to get out of that party. Meet us in the garage. Cobra's using Tomax and Zaymut to control the. <laughs> Way ahead of you. The CEOs are just the beginning. And the mind control is going to get eternal in 15 minutes. More than enough time to find safe distance from blast radius. Man, you have an unhealthy fascination with blowing stuff up. I've planted enough explosives to destroy the entire chateau. This will keep your mind control from spreading and send message to all Cizarovnas. Not to mention spread a lot of innocent civilians all over this hillside. Acceptable losses. As one Klauswitz said. <laughs> von Klauswitz also said, never engage the same enemy too long or he will adapt to your tactics. I fail to see how this applies to the Cizorovnas. I'm talking about you! You've been fighting the Cizorovnas so long you've become as ruthless as they are. You dare compare me to the Cizorovnas? I will sacrifice myself for the cause if necessary. As did my father and his father before him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, Cobra's routing the mind control signal through a satellite dish at the base of the mountain. We take out the dish, free will, without casualties. How much time? Ten minutes. I will give you nine. We need something to get us down the mountain fast. Take your pick. Is that what I think it is? Escaped. I want a complete aerial sweep. Launch the flight pods now! Okay, it's like riding a bicycle. What was that? That is trouble. <laughs> Flight pods! Travel bubbles! Tunnel rack, roadblock! Buy me some time! I'm gonna make a run at the ditch! That works too. Stay so close. To make sure you don't get an itchy detonator finger. <laughs> We're cutting it close. Less than four minutes till Ivan the Trigger Happy stops the fireworks. Speaking of fireworks. Hold 
the steady not just my hit zone. Maybe you should quit your backseat driving and join the other powder bombs. You, but we're under a minute! Which means by my clock, you're out of time, comrades. I told you you were moving in too fast. Oh, my head. Mindbender, we've lost the transmission. Well, thanks for the newsflash, Mistress of the Obvious. Just let me reboot the system before... Before we awaken... And you surrender your will to the Brothers of Light. Now show your obedience. Oh, what was this? Some kind of chalk? Waste of time. Never do business with them again. You Joes would sacrifice yourselves to protect innocents. Respect you. Don't agree with you, yet. Only one of you will leave this room alive. Ah, the local authorities. Much as we would enjoy witnessing their agony, brother, our freedom must supersede our vengeance. you back to town. What about you, Red Star? My comrades and I have survived in these mountains for generations. This is Red Star. Operation has been aborted due to unacceptable potential civilian casualties. Hands off of me, Mindbender. <laughs> Whoa! What just. Not good. Over here, yes. over here, please. Thank you. Brother, have you ever considered spreading our influence through telecommunications?
Subject number one is definitely showing signs of infection. Look at those scales. You realize what we have here, don't you? The first mammalian virus engineered from reptile DNA. The gestation period is complete. Congratulations, Kurt. The anaconda is airborne. We've weaponized a virus lethal to rats without knowing how it will affect humans. One step at a time. But we could save thousands of lives if you help me persuade Cobra to let us create the antidote. Our research could lead to other cures, to other contagions. Cobra is not easily swayed, even by passion as genuine as yours. I can't do it without you, Doctor. You won't have to. What is it? Your suit is compromised. Couldn't have happened more than a few seconds ago. Doesn't mean I'm infected. You've been exposed. You know the protocol. Dr. Monet, wait! You must be quarantined. <coughs> Indefinitely. <coughs> Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Beginning to miss shipwreck stomach churner. I'm not loving this scenario. Limited cover, one escape route. It's no trap. I didn't know who else to contact. And honestly, I, I didn't expect an answer. You mentioned in your email that your father has been missing for two days. My adopted father, Dr. Kurt Schnur, became a biochemist, hoping to fight disease in developing countries. And he was until Cobra made clear they had a different agenda in mind. Oh, that Cobra, so predictable. How did he sound when you last spoke to him? He was nervous, desperate. It was like he was trying to tell me goodbye. Hi, Papi. Let me guess, his office is a heavily guarded facility. Well, this rat ain't going nowhere near a killer germ lab. <laughs> I want to believe my father's alive, but I'm so afraid. Keep believing, Elena. We will bring him back, I promise. What are you sitting around for? Let's move it, ladies. Did she just call us ladies? She was looking at you when she said it. Hey, we don't know her father's status. How could you make a promise like that? What that girl needed most was hope. Buenos dias, senor. Como está usted? E tengo una entrega para sus científicos. Muy importante. Nice work, amigo. Gracias. Biohazard suit. Let's look like we belong. Do I look like a potato? I'm not getting in that sack. Without it, your chances of being infected multiply by a thousand. Less yapping, more zipping. Yeah, no telling what microscopic horror Cobra's brewing down here. I have seen you swim in a sewer. What is with the germophobia? Nature's bugs, I can deal with. It's the man-made monsters that'll turn you into pudding. 
Computers in the control room should allow us to check on Dr. Schnur's status. I'm not getting in without plastic. I can always knock. Really hard. Why aren't you in your suit? Nicely done, Snake Eyes. Server rooms are rarely guarded. I should have thought of it. You know, you do seem a little distracted. Oh, no. It's not your fault, Scar. We have to find out what happened to him. Make it quick. Schnur was working on a lethal virus called the Anaconda strain. Highly contagious. Yeah, had to say contagious. Hold on. If Schnur is deceased, why was his key card used just five minutes ago? Ninja gets to stay on the green level, and we're going downstairs to red. Why? Kurt's card was last swiped in sub-level four. Snake Eyes, have you patched in roadblock? Okay, amigo. Make sure our horse is ready to ride. Should be saddled up, Laroja. Just in case. Approaching the quarantine area. Little help, Snake Eyes. You don't belong down here. Have a seat, Doc. And I'd think twice before sounding any alarms. Elena Schnur sent us here to find her father. Elena? You know my daughter? Is she all right? Elena is fine, Dr. Schnur. And so are you. No, I'm not. We'll get you out of there. No. If the virus gets loose, the entire world could become infected in a matter of days. The results would be... Well, see for yourself. The only rat still breathing is the carrier. I gave both Kurt and that rodent a general inoculation. It slows Anaconda down, but won't stop her. So the antidote doesn't work? My dear, there is no antidote. We haven't synthesized one yet. Actually, according to your lab records, there's not only an antidote, but it's being kept upstairs in BioVault C. Cobra must have been developing your formula with a separate team. Kurt, this means there's real hope. <coughs> I don't understand. Why would Cobra withhold the cure from me? I'm guessing you're not exactly employee of the month, are you, Dr. Schnur? Your attitude did seem to rub the Baroness the wrong way, but I can't believe she would... Believe it. We will break into the vault and find that antidote. Copy that, Snake Eyes. Don't! If the bio vault is breached, it will seal. You'll never make it back down here. Then we'll just have to bring you to the cure. Any attempt to free Kurt from quarantine will initiate a lockdown throughout the facility. I appreciate your efforts. But I won't survive this, and it's better I don't. Promise me one thing. You'll make sure Elena is cared for. <laughs> Quarantine breach. Contagion detected. Lockdown on level four. We're not going anywhere. We move fast enough, we can outrun the lockdown. The central exhaust shaft is on the other side of this wall.
Careful, soldier. Naturally. you out of here too. Contagion detected level three. Initiated lockdown. We're running out of doors. Then climb faster. This just isn't your day. <laughs> Dr. Monif! Kurt, you've been a fine assistant and a wonderful test subject. You sabotaged my suit! I'm afraid so. Now that I know the Anaconda strain can infect humans, Cobra can release her into the general population. And sell the antidote. Folks will pay just about any price to live. Cobra Industries will be seen as a savior. I'll settle for the Nobel Prize. It's a win-win for everyone. Except you. Contagion detected. Level 1. UV sterilization in 60 seconds. Ultraviolet. Sterilizer bomb. It'll flash fry anything not made of metal or concrete. I hope that thing evens out a tan. <laughs> Sterilization in three, two, one. breathing. How we doing back there? Good. We're all good. You know too much about the real face of Cobra, Dr. Schnur. We have to get you out of Mexico. I have a cousin in L.A. Thank you so much. Better hurry, or you'll miss your flight. I'd like to know what happened. Me too. I'm decrypting the rest of the lab's records now. No. What happened to your father? Long story, Duke. Long drive. 
I lost him some years ago. Weird. Listen to this. The anaconda strain was unintentionally created while testing reptilian regenerative powers on a patient X in the States. Looks like we have a new target. Anyone else wondering why Cobra hasn't been chasing us down? Since when is that bad news? Whoa! Something's seriously wrong with your twin. Yo! The antidote didn't work. The antidote worked just fine, but we never factored in gestation time. Kurt and your rat were infected for too long. They're no longer in jeopardy from the anaconda virus. They've become carriers. Which means Kurt will infect the plane. And the airport, and the city, and the world. Airlines website says the plane has already left the gate. We'll have to intercept it on the tarmac. Ow, it's not like flagging down a cab. Roadblock, grab the jetpack. No time, just get me close. What is it, sweetheart? Excuse us. I'm not sick. I've become a carrier. I'm Dr. Monef's outbreak. Dr. Schnur. You need to stay calm for Elena. I'm a danger to her and everyone else on this plane. I've become... A carrier, I know. We have the antidote. And if that's not enough, I must protect these people from the virus I created. Forgive me, Elena. No! Ugh. Didn't you hear? Ninjas can't fly. Hey, Scarlet, your boy just made the game saving catch. Snake eyes in the dark aren't pancakes. Maybe off this plane, but the anaconda strain isn't. Don't be shy with that antidote. Can't spray it in here. The cabin has lost pressure. It'll dissipate before it can be inhaled. I don't know what to do. Lieutenant, I know you will find some way to help those people. If you'll accept my apology, I could really use a new lab partner.
I won't rest until I perfect a permanent antidote, Elena. I will help you, Bubby. Amazing how a few lights and a siren can get you across a border. Coming up on the target now. Hopers stashing patient X in that Roach Motel? If the files I decrypted from the Mexico bio lab are any indication, Cobra's been doing a lot more than stashing. Science that makes the anaconda strain seem humane. So are we freeing another prisoner or preventing another outbreak? Yes. Get the door, please. This guy's critical. This is a secure Cobra facility. Where's your ID? Uh. Here's mine. Map says it's just up here. Morgue's in the basement. This is a secure floor. Brace yourselves. Whatever's on the other side of this door could be pretty ugly. Have you looked in the mirror recently? Ah. Huh. Just a dude in a bed. Vital seem strong. That's impossible. Since when do you know how to read a medical chart? I don't have to. Ripcord? Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. And this is their story. This can't be Ripcord. He bought it when Mindbender's factory went kablooey. We all saw it. We saw the explosion. We never saw a body. And then we just left him behind. Who knows what sick experiments Cobra's been running on their patient X this whole time. Ah! Weems, it's okay. It's us. Who's Weems? Who are you people? You seriously don't remember? Okay, that complicates things. So does that. Don't worry, Private. We're here to rescue you, but we have to move. Now. <laughs> Next time that generator fires, boom, shakalaka. Then let her rip, Ripcord. Ripcord? Me likey. You called me Ripcord. I know you. Lieutenant O'Hara, Scarlet, you gave me that name. <sighs> You have to trust us, soldier. That's an order. Look, all I'm saying is Cobra specializes in weirdness. How do we know this isn't a clone or some face transplant? Ooh, Ninja Doorman. Me likey. Definitely, Definitely Ripcord. Ripcord. What? For real? I'll explain while you drive. But... You know Patient X is crucial to Cobra's future. But to my future. And yet you let him escape with those Jews! <laughs> <laughs> Might want to ease up on the Type A Rage Fest there.
especially in your condition. What is my prognosis? Yeah, let's not focus on the negative right now, boss man. Check this thought process out. The Joes took patient X. Epic fail, right? Wrong! Because we can now track their location and movements. Go on. We road test patient X and take out the Joes to boot. Win, win. We need to get him to General Abernathy ASAP. He's evidence that we're not murderers. He's also a human being. Tell me y'all something I can wear that didn't come out of the irregular pile. We travel kind of light these days. Ugh. I definitely don't remember eating anything that nasty. Well, let's get this party started. Tell me about me. Uh, truth is, we only knew you for a few hours. And most of the time we were getting shot at. Oh, and uh, we didn't like you that much. We're better off in that hospital bed. At least the food was edible. Now that's exactly what T-Rat was talking about. Lady J told me you were a halo jumper. The best. And you said your mom works at a Cobra bakery. You don't remember that whole lab full of nasty green squishies? You saved our lives, Weems. We never got a chance to thank you. Save it. Because I don't remember anything before waking up in a white room attached to a bunch of machines wrapped up like this. Hey, hey, hey don't, don't. It'll get infected. Fine. Probably time to change your dressings anyway. <laughs> oh. Oh, where you been crawling, Tunnel Rat? I nicknamed you Tunnel Rat, right? They say smell's the strongest sense trigger for memory. There are no wounds here. Weems, how did you ride out an explosion? Without so much as a scratch. Honestly, Sergeant, I have no idea. <laughs> ah! Something's out there. Ripcord! <laughs> Ripcord. Sounds like something did. What happened? You got rolled by a bio viper. Oh. What's a bio viper? Kill a mucus with legs. No, seriously. What's a bio viper? <laughs> what kind of soldiers are you? The fugitive kind. Like I said. I never should have left my bed. The Viper's gone. For now. Where'd it come from? We're in the middle of nowhere. We pick up a guy who supposedly bought it in a Bio-Viper factory. And a Bio-Viper manages to find us. Hmm. Uh, connection. Connection. What could it be? But it was the old school kind of Viper. Like the one we fought in Springfield. Why would Cobra attack with an obsolete model? Cobra drone. Everyone to the Coyote, move! The Coyote is our truck. The Cobra drone is a flying camera with guns. If this was my life before, I'm not sure I want to remember it. so he doesn't hurt himself. Oh, that is eight kinds of wrong. Hold 
us steady, Roadblock! Get distracted down here! What's with the podcast? Don't know if he's human, but he's definitely evidence. I black out again. What is this? A hazing ritual? It's all you ninja man. Houdini, out of here! Hey guys, I remember you. Remember anything else? Like spewing up Viper goo just now? Am I again? Ripcord wasn't tracked by a Bio Viper. He became a Bio Viper. And he turned back into himself as soon as you destroyed that drone. How does an eye in the sky trigger a transformation? Could you guys please be a little more confusing? Because I am. Hey! That's a recent scar. Wanna bet there's a control chip in there? Time out. You yapped that I morphed into some kind of monster and expect me to believe you? No. We'll show you. For future reference, nothing I ever do again is disgusting compared to that. So, is this ripcord some kind of clone mindbender cooked up in a lab? I refuse to believe that. Maybe that's what Cobra's counting on. Snake Eyes is right. If one drone found us, others are on the way. We need to turn Ripcord into the military. For once, will you stop thinking of Weems as evidence? I am. This is for his own safety and ours. Hello? Freak still standing right here in front of you. Do I get a say in any of this? <sighs> Look, I have no idea who I am or what I am. But right now, I suspect you guys are my only shot at figuring out any of that. We've been on the run for the last six months, Rip. You really want that? At least the army can get you to your mom. Dude, I just turned into a man-eating mud pie. Think I want to be anywhere near my family right now? I don't want to be near anyone, do I? Go ahead. Set it up. I know we didn't exactly get close before, but... We all took it pretty hard when we thought you didn't make it, man. So, uh, I kept these. I'm not Weems. What if my memories are just implants? Well, do you feel like Weems? The more time I spend with you guys, yeah. Then what's the difference? What do you think the brass are gonna do with me? I don't know, man. But anything beats being Cobra's guinea pig. You're doing the right thing, Rip. Stay strong. Set her down, Wild Bill. Falcons two and three, flanking positions. Falcons four and five, scan the area for the fugitives. Somebody got a bump in his operating budget. Just hope Flint used a few of those dollars on containment equipment. Private Wallace Weem, sir. Mind telling me how a dead man turns himself in, Weems? Not sure I can, sir. I was assured there would be adequate security measures in place to contain me. I think five gun ships should do the trick. All due respect, sir, they won't. Not another step, Private. Cuff him, Burnett. Cuffs won't hold me, sir. You're making a mistake! Incoming. Six Cobra drones. If one of them gets close enough to ripcord, Flint and his crew are Bio Viper Chow. Military helicopters. We must be in the right place.
and we got fireworks on the hillside. Copy that, Sikorsky. You and Jones investigate. Let's get our walking corpse to General Abernathy. in range. You can broadcast direct to Patient X's control chip. Free yourself and destroy the Jones. <laughs> Something's wrong with the prisoner, Lieutenant. <laughs> Soldier, you can fight this thing! Boy! Well, that's... interesting. The control chip will stimulate the bio-viper material in his system. Then the fun begins. Human bio-viper hybrid. The first step toward immortality. Take orders from you! Why does Patient X not respond to my commands? Something's blocking the control chip signal. I thought we agreed the authorities were better equipped to take care of him. They're not. We will. Am I the only one who has a problem bunking here with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Bio-Viper? Duke helped me stay in control. With one of those drone thingies hovering right over my head. Uh, speaking of things hovering... Falcon 4 to Falcon 1. I've missed a lock on rogue vehicle. Pull back, Falcon 4. Lieutenant Fairborn is injured. 
We are medevacking out. Return to base. And be prepared to explain why you fired without orders. Ma'am, I fired on a monster. That's what you want to write in your official report? Welcome back to the Joes, Ripcord. Yeah, about that. We, we gotta do something about your name. I mean, Joes? Seriously? <laughs> what are we, a roadside diner? Yeah, maybe we should have stuck with the Bio Viper. At least that half didn't talk. Your control chip failed. And this time, there will be dire consequences. Hate to break it to you, CC, but if something happens to me, I won't be able to help you with your condition anymore. And I'd sure hate for your underlings to get wind of any sign of weakness in the old commander. Why, mine, Bender, I'm touched by your concern. Now that we have all been reminded who is in charge, everything else takes a backseat to recovering patient X, alive and intact. In fact, our very lives depend on it. Viper Human DNA Test 14C. Activation successful. Integration, not so much. Mindbender, I trust you have good news regarding your search for Patient X. Uh, not yet, boss man. But I have had some promising results in duplicating his human bio viper fusion. I should hope so, since both our lives depend upon it. Hey, Reggie! <clears throat> Where you headed? <clears throat> No money, no mercy. Ray, behind you. Yeah, right. Uh, who was that? Let's get out of here! Uh, 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 uh. They didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Quiet game. Yeah, you're seriously not gonna hit your annoyance quota. Snake Eyes! Scarlet! It's cool, Rip. It's cool. They're off on a mission, remember? Another nightmare? It'd rest a whole lot easier if you could just cut the chip they planted out of my head. I am a field medic. You need a neurosurgeon and an IT guy, and maybe a witch doctor. That what you've been researching? 
This? Nah. I'm following a story about a kid from my old neighborhood who went and disappeared. Cops are saying foul play, so they're holding a wannabe gangbanger at the hospital. But get this. The suspect claims the missing kid got taken by a sewer monster. Every city has its urban legends. But how many of them look like bio-vipers? Viper loose in Brooklyn. We should check this out. I got a guy who could help. And so on your follow-through, you make sure your shooting hand is pointed right at the basket. Nothing but that. And make sure the defense is no more than half your size. Nikki? Up for a little one-on-one? -on -one? No way. You got Cobra powers. Hey, you haven't been to Mom and Dad's, have you? MPs are watching the house and the restaurant 24-7. <laughs> we know the feeling. What do you need? Money? Place to hide? Yeah, my brother, Teddy Lee. Still protecting the little fish from the big sharks. Duke, heard a lot about you. Yeah, I know who you are. Seen your picture on the news a million times. Why are you risking getting yourselves caught to come here? We heard about that missing kid, Reggie. Uh, you know him? Yeah, runt from my youth squad. Always a target for the bigger kids. <laughs> Remind you of anyone? We think Cobe... The people who set us up may be involved. We were hoping you could use your connections. Get us in to see that witness the cops are holding. Sounds like a Hail Mary shot. Hey, just trust me on this one, bro. Hey, it's okay, Ray. These guys are friends. You can talk to them. What's the point? They'll just tell me I'm lying. We know what it's like when no one believes you. Especially when it involves a ten-foot-tall lava lamp. You seen it too? Seen it and rescued a boy from it, a little younger than you. I never meant to hurt Reggie. We were just messing around, I swear. Then that thing came out of the storm drain. Next thing I knew, Reggie was gone. Which storm drain? Bensonhurst? Calvert? Bayview? 23rd, near the boardwalk. Whoa, tell me you're not thinking about diving again. Teddy, just go to Mom and Pop's garage and grab my old gear. No way. That's what got you busted in the first place. Let the cops handle this, Nikki. The cops wouldn't know what to do with a bio-viper if it marched up to the station and saluted. Wait, are you telling me this monster is for real? The real problem isn't monsters in our sewer lines. It's unsupervised children who will say anything to avoid the blame for their criminal actions. <laughs> Mindbender, I'd hate to think you allowed a bio-viper to escape again and risk exposing our entire operation. Already on it. I I I've arranged for a squad of Cobra's best to retrieve it. I would rest much easier if you handled this personally. Personal's good. I'm personal. All right, Grunts. Eyes shop. Try to keep up. Who died and made you scarlet? No offense, Duke, but this is my turf. <laughs> sure you don't want me to sit this one out? I mean, if there's a viper, there's usually someone or something controlling it, right? We got your back, soldier. Oh, man, it stinks down here. <sighs> Smells like home to me. Oh, remind me never to come over to your house. Looks like something was in a hurry. Bio Viper residue. How do you know? Just do. Ask, and the sewer provides. 
Next time, stay off the frozen burritos. This way. Can't explain how, but I can sense something. How about our missing kid? You sense him at all? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold your fire! There's a lot that can go boom down here. Methane, ammonia. Watch and learn, my friend. As ESP. Tunnel rat swinging around like a monkey. <sighs> I'm almost afraid to ask. What's your hidden talent? I can play the accordion. Shh. It's close. Real close. And hey, don't see anything. I do. Wish I didn't. Court. We'll hold off the Viper. Leave him alone! Hold your fire! Kid, look out! You could have got yourself killed. You were gonna shoot him! That was the plan. It's Reggie, right? Wait, where's Ripcord? Back off, mud pie! <laughs> Record! Roadblock, take Reggie to the surface. We'll secure Ripcord. Uh, I'm not real good with kids. That's in order, Corporal. Wakey, wakey. <sighs> Time to check your vitals. Who are you? The sewer monster. Where exactly did you see it? I already told those social workers everything. I'm not talking to you. Well, maybe you'll feel more of a rapport with my associate. Let me go! You're not a cop! Reggie? I got rights, man! He wouldn't tell me where he lives, so I brought him here. Hey, you okay, kiddo? What were you doing in the sewers? Did someone force you down there? Was it Ray? Nah. Ray tried to give me a shakedown. Then my boy popped out of the storm drain, and BAM! So I followed him down. Figured if I hung with him, nobody mess with me anymore. As my grams would say, the common sense fairy was not kind to you, child. He was protecting me. Nobody else ever did that. Who was protecting you, Reggie? Oh, you know. Ten-foot-tall stranger with oozing tendrils? Real charmer. The sewer monster? Which is why I need to be getting back. Hey, wait! Is Nikki still down there? Go find Counselor Hernandez and have her call your parents. 
and the police. Way I figure, the tunnel they went down leads to the old F-Line station. Anything under this city you don't know about? Whoa. <laughs> I don't have to be a sewer rat to know if we fall into that, there's no swimming our way out. So let's not fall in. Good plan. Slow and steady. I guess it's too late to say we meant to do this, right? How'd you manage to fight that thing off? It probably just got tired of his jokes. There's something different about this Viper. I know it sounds crazy, but I get the feeling that when it took me, it was trying to protect me. A Viper with a conscience? Well, well, well. Look what the rats dragged in. I came looking for a stray, and what do I find? Our most wanted patient X. Almost makes this trip down to Stinktown worthwhile. Time for you and me to get on the same page, Private Weems. You can't control me anymore. What say we test your hypothesis? <laughs> Ripcord, no! I'd call that myth... busted. Ripcord, you can fight this! That chip in his head and my improved Neuralink say otherwise, soldier boy. Just gross. And totally unnecessary. The puppet master's pinched, so the puppets aren't playing. Did I do that? Yeah, actually, that would be me. I rigged a failsafe. Cut off my neural link. The vipers all go boom. Are you nuts? With the fumes down here, that'd blow up half of Brooklyn. Well, the Bronx can thank me later. Let him go. <laughs> Advantage, Mindbender. <laughs> Patient X, the doctor will see you now. Sorry, you're not on my health plan. Beg to differ. <laughs> Ugh, I did not have to see that. Okay, let's see. Joe's helpless, patient X back under my control. What am I forgetting? Oh, that's right. Tear them all apart! Mindbender, wait! Let my brother go. You <laughs> wait a minute, slow down. Your brothers? Wow. Talk about bad genes. Uh, waste the sibs first. Oh, you just had to be the tough guy. Dude was hosting on our DNA, bro. Reggie was right. It is a friendly. No, it's a viper, which means I can control it. I forgot to put a chip in the one that got away. Patient X, 
Destroy this walking failure! Your bio wiper powers. I'd call that a win win. No hard feelings. I can't change what you did to me, but I can make sure you never do it to anyone else. Record, wait! Hang on, bro. I'll get you free. Yeah, free to detonate along with Coney Island, Sheepshead Bay, and Bensonhurst. You all head to the surface. I'll absorb the blast. I can't let you do that. It's either one of us or all of us. What is that thing doing? I'd say the world's biggest cherry bomb is about to flush itself down the world's biggest toilet. Up! Out! Now! Anybody got an umbrella? It's not raining. Three, two, one. Oh, no, that's perfect. I still can't believe a viper would sacrifice itself to save us. Save barely begins to cover it. Thanks for sticking up for me down there, bro. By the way, you still kick like a girl. You sure this headgear is necessary? Hey, I can protect you from a lot, bro. But if Mom found out you were home and didn't visit... Particularly when my every waking hour is devoted to your service. Must we begin this conversation with such hostility? I've been summoned in the dead of night like a house servant, and I'm not allowed to be hostile. Our subterranean transit system is well behind schedule. What have you been doing to rectify that? What have I been doing? This! I've upgraded the excavator to receive a remote signal cleanly through 300 feet of rock. No more stalls. Your tunnels are being burrowed. Replay. Ten seconds. We have an intruder.
accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Baroness, this is a joke. How safe am I supposed to feel if even the Joes can get through your security? The Joes? No, that wasn't their ninja, Commander. And assassinations are not their style. Someone else wants your life. Cobra Tower better be fortified. Its defenses are more than sufficient. But just to ease your mind, I'll have Storm Shadow meet us on site. Espionage, sabotage, infiltration, and assassination. Are those not the skills of a ninja? I'm still getting used to the suit. Don't blame the suit. Payment was to include one assignment. Successfully executed. My company does business across the globe. One phone call, and everyone will know the Arashikage's leader does not keep her word. Now load your bike. I detoured through Brooklyn. I'm Scarlet. This is Snake Eyes. I know you. Here, this will get you into DeCobre's offices. You're sure the penthouse will be empty? All weekend. Oh, one more thing. I vacuumed his office long enough to know that it's smaller than the ones on the lower floors. But it shouldn't be. Number one is online. Cameras two and three are online. Snake Eyes, get out of there now! Security is rushing the building. The roof and penthouse are secure. You're cleared to land. Only one person would make this kind of an entrance. Double the guards. Where is my ninja? I'll find out. You're late. Do not press your luck, Baroness. Just tell me about the assassin. A ninja. Small, wearing some kind of high-tech suit. Who could it be? When I separate his head from his shoulders, then we will both know.
You knew? Not until we fought. He did train me. Okay, aside from attacking your own sensei, what do you think you're doing? I don't have to explain myself to you. This is the Warashikage business. You're not a part of the family. And neither are you. Who hired you to go pursue Cobra Commander? Stay out of this! You can't tell me the Arashikage are now paid assassins. What do you mean, now? I'm carrying on a thousand years of tradition. Dirty work is what we do. No. Some knew where to draw the line, like Snake Eyes. And your father. How dare you bring my father into this? It was Snake Eyes who assassinated him! <laughs> Yeah, I know what it is. It's the reed you used to stab my father. Don't lie to me. You as much as admitted it. And Storm Shadow was a witness. Wait. What exactly did Storm Shadow see? Snake Eyes stabbing my father in the throat. I've seen that reed before, Jinx. When I was poisoned, my throat swelled. I couldn't breathe. That blowgun was what Snake Eyes was going to use to punch a hole in my esophagus. To save my life. A tracheotomy? Was my father poisoned? And... and you were trying to save him? <gasps> Sensei, I... I am so sorry. <sighs> I didn't want to believe, but Storm Shadow was so convincing. You mean obsessed, to the point of aligning himself with our enemy. Storm Shadow works for Cobra? He's up there right now protecting the commander from you. He can't stop me. <sighs> and you shouldn't try either, Sensei. Everyone expects me to fail as master. I have to do this. My honor is at stake. There is no honor in what you're planning to do. I don't see what the big deal is. You said yourself Cobra is your enemy. You should be encouraging me. Don't make this about someone else's vengeance. This is about you going down the wrong path, because once you do, there's no turning back. I know you just want to protect me, but I'm not a little girl anymore. Jinx! Uh. Relief, you're all right. You've not answered any of my calls. We have been a little preoccupied, James. I can only imagine. Do you have any idea who might be behind this madness? Not yet, but I will. Still, I would advise preparing for the worst. Meaning what, exactly? If an assassination were to be successful, someone would need to step into the vacuum of leadership. Immediately. I trust that would be you. It's almost as if you are hoping for such an outcome. Certainly not. But I do have a vested interest in the contingency plans of Cobra, wouldn't you agree? They are Mars's largest shareholder. Excuse me, Baroness. We have a situation. Perhaps you shouldn't be anywhere near the... What is it? We've lost surveillance on the roof, and the Alpha Guards have gone silent. The Beta team sent to investigate is no longer responding. Come with me. Everyone on alert. An assassin is in the building. You will all defend the commander with your lives. I've been hired to assassinate Cobra Commander. 
By whom? It doesn't matter. You don't need to protect him anymore. What are you talking about? Snake Eyes is innocent. He didn't murder my father. You are letting his lies obscure the truth again. No. This did not take Hardmaster's life. Poison did. Snake Eyes was using the reed to open my father's airway because he couldn't breathe. Poison? When you and I return to Japan, we shall track down my father's real killer, together. As for now, I ask that you step aside and... Okay, then. Your ninja must have failed. You assured me this would not happen, Baroness. Are you completely incompetent? Do not ever speak to me that way again. And you, keep your focus on that wall. Baroness, what is it? Our defenses have failed. I need you to dispatch a squad of battle android troopers now. But I've only a few prototypes in my New York facility. Send everything you have, Destro, or you will not see another sunrise! By your command. buying that summer stock garbage. Nah, oh, not much of a ninja, are you? Never even noticed the switcheroo back at the mansion before the aircraft took off. See? Tell me who sent you. Answer your elders. A rock? <gasps> When I find out who hired you, there'll be no place remote enough for either of you to run. <sighs> Snake Eyes?
we will fight as one, as Arashikage. After learning the truth, it was, it was I who poisoned Heartmaster. What? The poison was not meant for your father. It was meant for you. But why? You already know. I wanted the Arashikage for my own, and Snake Eyes stood in my way. If you're asking for forgiveness... I am not, for I do not deserve it. Kim... You are the rightful heir to your father's clan. Lead it well. I know I should hate Storm Shadow, but he loved my father. What do you think will become of him? He's a warrior without a master. I doubt he'll ever find peace. And you? I will lead the Arashikage down the path my father intended. We will abandon the old ways and embrace the new. Technology is the future of the Arashikage, and I will only look forward. These are plasma pulse rifles, not your daddy's M16. Finally, a little civilization. Lieutenant, your newest recruit. Any trouble persuading him to leave Idaho? Practically jumped in the chopper. Said he'd do anything to be near a city with a sushi restaurant. Corporal Herschel Dalton reporting for duty, sir. Know why you're here, Corporal? I have the distinct impression this isn't about me. I am unaware of my cousin's current location, sir. So am I. Which is why I want you to hunt him down. That gonna be a problem for you? Never cared much for Marvin, but we are family, so I'd have to insist on certain conditions. Such as? Reassignment to your unit, permanently. You bring Roadblock in, you got yourself a transfer. Welcome to the Falcons, Dalton. Call me heavy duty, sir. of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Isaiah is in the world. I 
fancy park. <laughs> Swamp gas? This ain't the Atlantic coast. This, my friend, is the state of Mississippi. <laughs> home sweet home. Biloxi? We're supposed to be checking out a subterranean disturbance in Virginia. I bet a certain somebody has a hankering for home cooking. It's not like that somebody to be secretive. So what's the story, Roadblock? Sorry, Duke. I got this family thing I have to take care of. Look, I'd like to invite y'all, but I need to fly solo on this one. They have until 1,200 hours. Fine. Leave. Without making us breakfast first. A brave member of the Tuskegee Airmen, Captain Jefferson Hinton, was a leader, a soldier, and a friend. Husband, father, grandfather. Jefferson's legacy lives on in his descendants. A moment of silence for Biloxi's favorite son. Let us pray. Grant? Oh, Marvin Hinton, for shame. But I'm innocent. Oh, shush. I'm talking about you coming to Grandpa's remembrance without your baby cousin in tow. Well, I don't know where Herschel is. You military boys ever heard of 411? Now get down here and give me a big hug or you'll be needing some 911. <laughs> really missed you, Gramps. Me too. But you smart to stay away. Shady types been asking around. You best get. Go on now, go. Love you, Gramps. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent, cousin. Herschel? I'm apprehending you under Article 7 of the Uniform Military Code of Justice. Don't tell me you're working for Flint. We're family. Are we? Come on, you're not still mad about... Ancient history. Of course, a full confession might help ease your conscience. Get down! Your friends just tried to shoot me in the back. My friends don't miss. That's Cobra. Get me out of these cups. The intel on your exploits. You've been stalking Cobra, not the other way around. Don't worry. We'll circle back for your accomplices later. Good eye, mates. Got me a one-time offer. Big man comes along quiet-like. Little man keeps breathing. Who's he calling little? You are little, Blur. And that crazy Aussie's a Cobra gun for hire. He calls himself Major Blood. You have a price on your head, so I'll believe the mercenary part, but Cobra, how foolish do you think I am? Fool enough to get us both blown up while you're flapping your girls. As a wise man once said, best defense is a good offense. Not against grenades, it ain't. We'll lose them if you cut across the swamp. I know every back road in this county. And I drove a cab in Chicago before I enlisted. Watch and learn.
Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause. That's the sound of one hand clapping. Might want to get us out of these cuffs now. Sightsee through the swamp. Happy? Admit it. You miss Biloxi. Uh, I have no fondness for the South. What kind of country bumpkin wrestles an alligator? The kind that saved your city slicker butt. You're welcome. Lady J, do you read? This is heavy duty, over. That's a short-range Cobra radio, cousin. Only ears close enough to hear it belong to the Joes. You are my prisoner, and we will do things my way. You've been saved by the cavalry. I suspected there were more ears listening than you realized. Over here! I don't want to be here in the bush, lawman. Figure you don't either. Everybody has a price. What's yours? You're still afraid of snakes. I saved your scales again. What's that? Three times already? Yeah, they say it's better to be lucky than smart. You should have that tattooed somewhere. You're so intelligent. Lead us out of here then, city boy. Definitely one of Flint's. No sign of the big guy. That's good, right? I mean, unless Gator's got him. Why would you even go there? Your mouth needs a mute button. I'm just saying what everybody's thinking. Yo, Joes. <sighs> Read your roadblock. I'm betting you've had an exciting morning. Got a problem, Duke, of the well-armed Australian variety. You copy? We copy. Keep transmitting. We'll home in on your position. We'll make for the southeast end of the bayou. Who's we? Long story. One that's gonna end tragically, mate. So let's see if I can collect an advance on this bestseller. Found your green shirts, love. What do you want, Major Blood? Ten times my standard rates. <laughs> you cannot be serious. Do I look like I'm joking? I deserve extra 
compensation given my last tussle with your weekend warriors. Those scars are a direct result of the fact that you permitted the Joes to destroy my weapons cache. As far as I'm concerned, it is you who owe me. I'm well aware that the reason you never contacted me was because of your shame. But what I'm most concerned about is the stress you're putting on Gramps. Like you ever cared about her? Or Gramps? You cut them loose. Too good for your own backwoods family. So I received an advanced education, made myself a better man. You climbed up the social ladder just so you could look down. Admit it, you think you're better than me. Oh, I don't have to think it, Marvin. I know it. Then why don't you prove it, little cousin? Know the difference between a gator and a croc? <laughs> I don't either, but I bet they look the same from the inside. <laughs> Finally gonna get that gold star from Cobra. I do enjoy wrecking up a body count on Cobra's tab. But you Joes made this personal. It's true then. Cobra is actually dirty. Oh, you believe him? <laughs> Little man's got a lot to learn. But not a lot of time, I'm afraid. Roblox gonna owe me. I got a serious case of swamp boot brewing here. I have a lock on the comlink signal. Just ahead. The Roblox not responding to my hails, which means it's a trap. I can get us out of here. Shift your body. Raise me up. Cause I so love taking orders from you. Look, I apologize for anything insulting I may have said. It's just, I might be the tiniest bit jealous of you. You kidding me, man? All Grandpa ever talked about was how proud he was of you. First in the family to go to college, ROTC scholarship, valedictorian. How does anyone compete with that? Easy, by staying close to the people you love. I left, Marvin. And I just, I just couldn't come home. Where I see it. Home never leaves you, no matter how far you run. Told you we'd be liberated. Yeah, yeah. That kangaroo jerky?
lost in a crossfire. Cover me. You're lucky I came alone, love. I could say the same, Major. <laughs> The end of the Joe simply requires a woman's touch. Welcome to Mississippi! Yeah, pump your thumb! Come on, man! Come on, man! Come on! Seat. <sighs> I'm get choke on it, sport. Gave my word to Flint and country that I'd bring you in. You really want to do this? Not unless he wants to get his hide tanned. Come here, you two. I will have peace between my grandsons, or I will be getting a switch off the tree. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Now, what's all this squabbling about? Nothing. He's still mad about Grandpa's inheritance. Which he stole from me. Herschel, your big cousin didn't steal any inheritance. I've never offered it to him. What? Why not? Grandpa made me promise to give it to both y'all at the same time. If you'd have kept in touch the way family order, you'd have known that. You remember what these pilots' wings meant to your Grandpa? You used to say, they're proof that it didn't matter where a man came from. If he worked hard and had a co-pilot, he could fly. The two of you are co-pilots in this family. This is yours, Marvin, and I owe you an apology. I have a lot more memories of Gramps than you. You keep him, cousin. Now, nah, don't be rude, roadblock. <laughs> Invite your friends in for supper. Yes, ma'am. Come on, everybody. Yeah, you too, heavy duty. Heavy duty, huh? How many tours you done to get that handle? You still calling yourself that? <laughs> Never thought that name would stick. You nicknamed him Grams? Sure did. As a baby, Herschel could fill up a diaper like nobody's business. Heavy duty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a heavy duty. Oh, I better find a phone. Pour it into Flint. What am I gonna tell him? You're the smart one. You'll think of something. Thirteen small earthquakes along the eastern seaboard in one week? That's not a seismic fluke. That's Cobra. And if my calculations are correct, the next quake will hit within five miles west-northwest of here. And if my calculations are correct, we're wasting our time. If you can't point a weapon at it, you think it doesn't exist. And if I don't get something to eat soon, I won't exist. <clears throat> Earth to Scarlet, all you've done for the last week is play pin the tail on the Cobra. Sunlight, movement, chow. This isn't a request. You know I still outrank you. So I've heard from you, daily. I know you think you're seeing a pattern, but I honestly believe this is a wild goose chase. No one can predict where an earthquake is gonna...
accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Thomas, where to next? Way to put the rip in ripcord. <laughs> My bio viper powers don't come with an instruction manual. Authorized vehicles only. Since you insist, chameleon mode activated. This schematic came from the surveillance camera Snake Eyes planted at Cobra Tower. It follows the exact same pattern as the earthquakes. In case you're wondering, Virginia barns don't have basements. So what's Cobra want with a big hole in the ground? Perfect place for snakes to hide their tracks. We'll split up and recon the tunnels. Roblox and Ripcord take the coyote. Scarlet, you and I will hoof it. Snake eyes? Was, was it something I said? Maglev Rail. Cobra's building an underground network. How's a train causing tremors? Not the train, the tunnels. Yo, T-Rat, we're supposed to be tracking down quakes, not scooping up bat poop. It's not bat poop, it's lichen, a natural antibiotic. This cave is full of it. Cave's not the only thing that's full of it. Ah. <laughs> Ah. <sighs> 
Hang on. I thought I'd charge these. You're gonna be okay. I'll get help. The day this whole thing started, Mindbender escaped in a maglev. Ever wonder where he was going? We're trapped in solid rock half a mile below ground, and you're worried about someone else's travel destination. Let me see your head. Probably got a concussion. That lab was 400 miles from here. Cobra's building a national network. Which part of behind schedule do you fail to comprehend? Uh, Ma'am, if we keep pushing the excavator at this pace, we will induce massive seismic activity. Thank you for your misplaced concern. Why don't you take the night off? Hard right or soft right? I didn't order a security team. Tell me that thing isn't following us. Not anymore, it ain't. I'll take maneuverability over firepower any day. Speaking of firepower... Ah! I got booked this! You drained us at the diner! Hey, hey, Scarlet! You fall asleep with a concussion, you might not wake up! Uh. Scarlet! Uh. I, I just need to rest. No. This is one argument you're not gonna win. Uh. Stay awake. Talk. I wanna hear. Uh, tell me about your family. Don't like to talk about. Right, right. okay. Uh, no family. Friends. My work has always been so. You, Joes, are the only real friends I've ever had. Well, when we get out of here, first thing we do is get you a life. Do 
Do not fall asleep, soldier. <sighs> well, I guess that's it. Cobra wins. <sighs> Won't give them the satisfaction. That's the Scarlet I know. How's the knee? Uh, better than Rip Off's arm. At least my arm ain't getting a bat poop rub down. It's lichen. <laughs> e easy, easy, big guy. You're gonna need to stay off that leg for a while. That three-headed monster ain't gonna wait for my knee to heal. Any word from Duke and Scarlet? Yeah, I, I know. That's where the Terra train ran off. It, it didn't run off? Dude's right. We got no weapons and no wheels. Why did that thing run away? Because it was playing peekaboo. What? Because it couldn't see us. We were on top of it. So we attack from above. Wait, the tunnel with the lichen. I saw water dripping. What do you want to bet there's another cavern right above it? Connect the green wire to the red. Take the strip cable, attach it to metal on the maglev. Giant antenna. Wait, this is actually going to work? It might. lead to Rome. Commander. For seven centuries, the Roman Empire ruled the world. Do you know why, Baroness? Because they had superior roads. Our underground network will allow us to move anything, anywhere, anytime, without anyone's knowledge. All roads shall lead to Cobra, unless those roads are never built. Why is the excavator not drilling? We have intruders, Commander. And one of them has just given away his position. Finish them quickly. I have a schedule to keep. You sure these noisemakers still got juice? Next question. What you see? Yeah, little blue knob, bunch of buttons, three dials, cup holder. Oh, uh, touch screen. Exact same one that's on the coyote. Hey, come to think of it, everything's the same. All right, listen up. Every second you waste on this manhunt delays excavation. Then I suggest we divert this tunnel through a roadblock. Now tell me what color wires you're looking at. Black, white, red, blue, yellow, green, and the color of your tuna casserole. in reverse? You didn't pull any wires, did you? Not yet. Good. Don't. Let's just focus on green and tuna casserole for now. I don't have those colors in my console. 
So one of them's got to be the remote system. And I'll just tear them both out. No. One of them also has got to be the plasma pulse system, which if you shut it down wrong, leads to systemic pulse inversion. In English? Boom. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, I must be close. I could see you on the view screen. Uh, T-Rat. That probably ain't a view screen. It's a targeting system. Roadblock! Which wire do I cut? Finally managed to keep your hands to yourself. Signals fading. Soldier! You think Cobra's gonna fold up their tent just because you want a nap? This was a gift from my father. I don't want it buried with me. You started this mission. And you will finish it, ma'am. This is one argument you're not gonna win. Save yourself, Rip. No. It's patient X. I need him alive. Alive? but in great pain. I insist. I assure you his comrade will not be shown the same mercy. Green or brownie? Mini, mini, whiny. How'd you know which one to cut? SOS. Duke and Scarlet. Dad, is that you? It's Duke. Eyes on me. Got your message every whoa. Guess we should have seen that one coming, huh? The excavator has been disabled. The Joes escaped. Tell me why I shouldn't terminate you. Because I have Dr. Mindbender and Destro working on a backup plan even as we speak. I'm listening. Now just pop that nut on the second bolt from the left. There's gotta be an easier way to fix a truck. You could rub some bat poop on it. For the last time, it was not bat poop. That's bat poop. Hey there. Guess what I pulled from the driller's navigation system? Cobra's entire maglev system and every facility it connects. Including the Cobra Mansion in D.C. Uh, also... Thank you. For everything. Snake Eyes, wait! He'll be back. Imagine for a moment that you can travel vast distances in the blink of an eye. It is 
a dream that has continuously inspired humankind. Today, we make that dream a reality. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Molecular Assembler Scrambler Sender, also known as the MASH device. Freeze video. Isolate receiver crystal and enhance by 260. Initiate scan and replication. Nearly identical to O'Hara's. Fifth time's a charm, right? Or is it six? Remind me, how many of your knockoff crystals have we gone through since we rebuilt this glorified fax machine? I'm here for a demonstration. Move on to the platform. Always a pleasure to see you, Baroness. Yeah, yeah, how you doing? Isn't this a little premature? I mean, really, we only powered this light show up last week. Professor O'Hara accomplished his first successful test after only two days of trials. That puts you five days behind schedule. The commander is losing patience. Inputting the frequency code. Mass receiver is detected. Commencing teleportation. Stuff goes into the subspace wormhole, but doesn't come out the other side. And that would be Destro's fault. Attempting to copy a quantum crystal based on a single video image is nigh impossible. Actually, your costume jewelry isn't the only problem. Picking up this anomalous signal again, it's like there's another crystal out there somewhere. Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. And this is their story. You've detected the signal before briefly in our initial tests, but I can assure you it's merely a signal echo of some kind. I think I'll upload the coordinates to our spy satellite just to be sure. Funny, that doesn't look like an echo to me. It never occurred to anyone that O'Hara's daughter might have the original crystal? Wait a second. The redhead Joe is the professor's daughter? No wonder she has a hate on for Cobra. Might I suggest that we relieve her of the crystal immediately? Yes, of course. Dispatch a squadron of aerial drones now. Scarlet. Huh? Safe. What? You were calling for your father. Guess I was dreaming. Well, since you're up, we can chow down early. Since when does that light up? Never has before. You know, we've been taking bets on who gave you that thing. My money's on an old boyfriend. What? I went for the long shot. It was a gift from her father. Just another in a long line of his guilt offerings. Dad, what are you doing? 
Oh, good, good news. Your school has agreed to let you move in early. That'll give you time to settle in before the mad rush. But summer isn't even half over. I, I know, but I have some business to take care of, and I, I don't know how long I'll be away. Dad, you promised me. Come on, Pumpkin. I, I'm sorry. You always say that. I actually believed you'd stick around this time. Shauna, if it were up to me... How is it not up to you? Cobra can be very demanding. Then quit! I will, very soon. But first I have to finish what I started. Uh, here, I, uh, I have something for you. Keep it. Shauna, please. You see this stone? The center of it looks like a... like a little heart, doesn't it? Please keep it next to your heart, so you'll remember how much I love you. Jewelry won't make up for yet another broken promise. Everything will be different by the time you come back home. You'll see. No, I won't. Because I'm not coming back home. A week later, I was informed there was an explosion at the facility where my father worked. And that he didn't survive. We're sorry to hear that, Scarlet. Yeah. But seriously, you never thought it might be important for us to know that your pop worked for the dark side? That has no bearing on what we're doing. You're kidding, right? Daddy gets cooked by Cobra, daughter's out for revenge. This is why I didn't say anything. If you thought my motives were personal, you'd question every decision I make. Since when do we not question every decision you make? Easy, guys. Scarlet, do you know what your father did for Cobra? He was a research scientist, but he never told me what he was working on or where they sent him. Now, can we drop it, please? They're packing up. Where are my drones? Four minutes out. No incendiaries. The crystal must not be damaged. I just lost communication, and the satellite feed is down. Security alert. updates from the drone operators now you didn't turn your back on your father Scarlet he kept you in the dark for a reason there's nothing you could have done that's what I keep telling myself I just don't believe it she's coming let's get moving Incoming! Yep, it's raining drone guts. Man, how'd they even find us? 
Cobra must have drones flying over every state. Are you okay? I want to go home. We all want to go home, Scarlet. I mean my home. Atlanta. Please don't ask me why. I just... need to. from Snake Eyes. So, the ninja lives. No message, just two video files. That... that's my father. And when I key in the frequency code, the transmitter establishes a connection with the receiver. Once linked, a subspace wormhole is generated, which is basically a shortcut through space-time. A Lincoln Tunnel of Physics, if you will. The peach is then broken down into elementary particles, sent through the wormhole, and then channeled through this red crystal, which stabilizes the particles so they can be reassembled with no degradation. Hmm. Tastes like I just picked it. And with this mass device, borders will cease to separate the human race. Wars over resources and territory will end. This will be Cobra's crowning achievement and a monumental gift to humanity. Should have realized he was out there trying to save the world. Pretty noble work. I'm assuming everyone noticed that crystal. Yeah, it's Scarlet. I also noticed that when it goes all glowy, Cobra sends bad things our way. Well, it's not glowing anymore. Maybe they lost the signal. I vote we toss that thing out the window right now. How about we toss you out the window instead? What, a guy can't have a survival instinct? As I would guess, I wonder if that's good news or bad. Gee, I don't know. It's so hard to tell with her. The ninja escaped. I trust you can give me better news. If it's better that we can't track the crystal for at least five more hours, then yes. Either that time estimate will be cut in half, or you will be. She's just scary. <sighs> Perhaps to you. That's my father's home lab. He must have done this after I left. I wasn't sure you'd come. Our mutual friend warned me that you were very particular about the jobs you accept. The mass device. I created it to ease suffering in the world. But Cobra has other ideas. They, they want to teleport their weapons and armies across the globe. I am not about to let them. Will you help me? We have to hurry. They'll be coming for me soon. Snake Eyes? He knew my father. For years, I went to bed every night wondering what happened to my father. And I'll bet Snake Eyes has known the truth all along. Newsflash, the ninja keeps secrets. But still, you think you would have let this one slip out a little sooner? Must have had a good reason. Which he can provide at my house, since he obviously knows where it is. Yo, Joes, you are... Busted! Oh, Baroness, they're in Atlanta. Unleash the hounds. When was the last time you were here? Dad's memorial. After that, there was just nothing to come home to.
my father spoke to me, he said safe. You brought us here because of a dream? Maybe. I don't know, it's just that... the safe and I go way back. I'm afraid these aren't nearly as fascinating as you've imagined, Pumpkin. I don't know what I was expecting to... <gasps> Why did you never tell me you knew my father? What else do you know? What happened to him? Taking too long. I have to rush to the core manually. It's all right. This is my dragon, and slaying it is my responsibility. Look, I, I don't have any right to ask you this, but my daughter, she'll want answers. Putting yourself in danger looking for her. Open up in there! Will you watch out for her? Thank you. Why Snakes wears a mask. All that time we spent together. You should have found a way to tell me the truth. He was my father, Snake Eyes. I need to know why you didn't tell me. We got incoming! Weapons up! I'm not dreaming. I see him too. Are you alive? The... safe. But there was nothing in there. Crystal is ours. Now finish the Joes. Initiate the Viper self-destruct, then level the house. Looks like Cobra's removing the evidence. And something tells me the house is next. Duke, T-Rat, get out of there! Fall back to the Coyote!
Dr. Mindbender, the ninja compromised our test facility's location. Load everything onto the maglev train and transport it to the mansion. For you, Destro. And now, Cobra Commander will finally have his mass device. I realize you feel responsible for what happened to him, and it's why you didn't tell me. But nobody could make Patrick O'Hara do anything. You couldn't make him leave the job unfinished, and I couldn't make him be a better father. I don't think I really understood that until now. Thank you for helping him. So, Scarlet, about your dad. Yeah, I don't know why or even how we saw him. The answer must be tied to the mass device. And that means it's time we take this fight to Cobra. It's the fifth BioViper Express we've seen. Must be rush hour. More like Cobra's rushing the reserves back to the nest to protect something critical, like a mass device. I'm ready to party. Lots of luck crashing the gate with that welcoming committee. No need. <laughs> Report, wait! Sleeping on the job. What happened to your fellow commuters? They got hosed. Yo, Joes, let's cut the head off this snake once and for all. of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. And this is their story. Searching for the mass device. There's enough dirt here to bury Cobra forever. Crystal is fully calibrated. Just try not to shatter it like all the others, Scotty McKnockoff. The test, gentlemen. Inputting frequency code. Have a nice trip, Junior. I believe the term is epic fail. Don't get your haggis in a bunch. It's simply a matter of getting the crystal to vibrate at the correct frequency. Which you have not calculated. Yet. 
All reserve power is being diverted to a facility two levels below us. I'm betting that's where we'll find our mass device. Or we could do the smart thing for the first time in our fugitive lives and call in the cavalry. Right now! No. This may be our one and only chance to destroy the mass device. Duke, I'm not so sure we should destroy it. You're not serious. I know what I saw. And you saw him too. What I know is that you badly want to believe it. The mass device teleports objects through a subspace wormhole, right? You saw the security video. My father disappeared. What if he's been stuck in a wormhole all this time? That's a pretty big what if, Scarlet. Fine. You grunts take the evidence. I'll go after the mass device. We go together. I am going to need a lot more BioVipers. The security cameras in my lab are offline. <clears throat> Initiate emergency security protocols immediately. They're shutting us in. Go! Go! I got this! situation here. Erin <laughs> Viper retrieved. It's worse than having kids. You honestly believe one rogue bio-viper took out every single one of your lab's security cameras? Make up your mind, will ya? I can't play traffic cop and R&D genius at the same time. I'll go, Baroness. Some of us take security breaches seriously. Ripcord, come in! Ripcord! Ripcord, what's your 20? We have to find him. Not now. That isn't your call. No Joe gets left behind. Not now. Down. Greetings, Joes. You've arrived just in time for a complete operational diagnostic of my prototype hiss tank. Or as I prefer to call our time together, target practice. Sentry or his tank is quite invulnerable to plasma pulse fire. Welcome. How do we pop the top on that tin can?
waste of fine machinery. Don't be too sad, soldier. Okay. Tank armada plus teleportation machine equals seriously bad times ahead. Which is why we need to find the mass device. Now. Snake Eyes takes Scarlet. Roadblock, Tunnel Rat, you're with me. What is happening in my armory? Full security alert. The Joes are alive in my mansion. Commander, is Destro... That is not your concern. Stay with the mass device. Step away from the console. My father gave his life to keep the mass device out of Cobra's clutches. Don't think I won't take yours. It's not what's in the safe. It is the safe. The combination. What are you smiling about? Wait for it. know which one of these lawn gnomes is ripcord. Vandalism will not be tolerated, Sergeant Hauser. The name's Duke, the Cobra. And you will address me as Commander. Cobra! Commander. <laughs> of my enemies to mere underlings. But an effective leader must set the example for his troops. Wouldn't you agree, Sergeant? Duke, now! Tunnel Rat, find Ripcord! Something. Mouth stop shut. It's a dream come true. help noticing you eyeballing my control panel, Carrot Top. And I don't think it's because of your fine taste in machinery. Yeah, I'm betting it's because Daddy told you his frequency code. No idea what you're talking about. Perhaps we can jog your memory. The mass device needs a new test subject. <gasps> I've said it before, I'll say it again. You are me. Oh, if 
If only I had the right frequency, you wouldn't have to watch your boyfriend get turned inside out. Wait! Why don't you crawl out of those die-cast overalls so we can work this out freak to freak? Why would I want to battle you, Patient X, when you represent the future of all humanity? <sighs> Ripcord is the future? Uh, we are doomed. <sighs> Speak for yourself privately. Once perfected, the human Bio Viper hybrid will be mankind's evolutionary successor. Which makes Patient X extremely useful. While you are not. No! Gentlemen, all out blitz. I don't even know if this is the right code. Well, I certainly hope it is. For Chopsaki's sake. I have to say, I was kind of hoping for a ninja mashup. I saw you, and, and the crystal, I, I, I hoped, prayed, if I could communicate the frequency, you'd find a way to bring me back. Very touching, Professor O'Hara. Sadly, your daughter's filial devotion has resulted in Cobra's greatest triumph. Pity none of you will live to see it. <laughs> transmitting. An energy flux will destabilize the wormhole. that an organization as vast and powerful as Cobra could be brought to its knees by a handful of ordinary Joes. I want you to see this. 
Who's the old dude? Joe's. Meet my father. It's an honor, Professor. Thank you. We'll have to skip the rest of the introductions. The wormhole is expanding. I have no idea what that means. It means we need to leave. Fast. I got just the thing for that. Attention, unauthorized vehicle. Stand down or be fired upon. Lieutenant O'Hara, Sergeant Hauser. What did Sam Hill do you think you're doing? Turning ourselves in, General. With the proof you requested, direct from Cobra's database. <laughs> then you need to report for an immediate debriefing with my new information specialist. I believe you know him as Breaker. One company cares for every man, woman, and child on our planet. Cobra Industries. Accelerating global communications, Cobra connects you. Innovating advanced medicines, Cobra sustains you. Modernizing defense technologies, Cobra shields you. Now you know, and knowing is half the battle. You all right? He's in shock. Roadblock, keep him back. not to hurt anyone. Yeah, don't think they're playing by your rules. Where's my blue ribbon lady, Jay? 
I have something better. Orders from above. You get to escort an intel desk jockey on a security detail. Babysit a spy. Not alone. Don't worry. I'll find you some new friends. One of these days, Weems, your feet are gonna end up where your ears used to be. Good thing I wear comfortable shoes, sir. Private Lee, what are you doing? Being all I can be, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> Corporal Hinton. Hey! been crawling, Tunnel Rat. Who's Tunnel Rat? Apparently you are. Thanks for the new friends, Lady J. Lieutenant O'Hara. Army Intelligence. Sergeant Hauser. My friends call me... Duke. I know. I do my homework. Well, what do we call you? Hey, how about Scarlet? On it, you know, because of hair? Try ma'am, Weems. I am your superior officer. Yeah, guys. So, Scarlet. Mind briefing us? <sighs> this is the Cobra Pharmaceuticals manufacturing plant. Three clicks north of Springfield. Uh, isn't that a civilian facility? It also produces vaccines for the military. We've been called in to investigate a terrorist threat. We're unarmed. What can we do against terrorists? Nothing. I'll break it down slowly. This is a show. Big, strong army guys are going in to make the civilians feel safe. You boys don't have to strain your brains, you just have to follow orders. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Pick a lane and let me pass, roadblock. See, he called you roadblock because you're big, and you were blocking his way. The dude is hilarious. Maybe we should call you incredibly annoying guy. Who better watch his mouth. Sir, five incoming, military. U.S. Army would never show up unannounced. Welcome to Cobra Pharmaceuticals. May I help you? Army Intelligence. I need to speak to your security chief immediately. Do you have an appointment? I don't need an appointment. I represent the U.S. government. Bring him out here now. Uh, one moment, please. You might want to switch to decaf. Scarlet. No, no, stay where you are! Oh, whoa, we're friendlies. We're investigating a terrorist threat. On the floor, lady! Hey, hands off! Hands behind your head. Did you get that out of my face? <clears throat> Duke, stand down! We are here by the authority of the United States government! Both of you, stop! Sir, we need reinforcements! Sir, do you copy? Are you okay? It only hurts when I breathe. What happened? You tell me. Ah! Lasers? Where did they get lasers? I'm out. Snake Eyes is with me. Dude's nickname is Snake Eyes? And you had nothing to do with it. Imagine that. Someone's coming.
Clear. Clear. I'll initiate lockdown. Secure the perimeter. <coughs> you find the schematics? I know, but we have to eyeball the lab. Nobody called in a terrorist threat. What's our real purpose here, Scarlet? I'll explain everything. After you've changed. <coughs> sneaking around. You got a problem with Cobra? Don't let their smiling face fool you. Cobra Industries is a front for arms dealing, immoral science, and extortion. Come on. Cobra makes medicine here, Lieutenant. My mom's worked at a Cobra bakery for nearly 10 years. Cobra does bake a tasty apple pie. Cobra's pure evil, but the military has never had proof until now. This building schematics reveal a subterranean level. So we got shot at and nearly killed because Cobra has a basement? A basement full of Something, I just know it. Thank you. All I know is that you've lied to us, risked our lives, and made us accessories to a half a dozen crimes. I'm taking you in. If I'm right, General Abernathy will pat you on the back. If I'm wrong, you'll be handed a medal for blowing the whistle on me. Sound fair? General Abernathy? Somebody has friends in high places. Hard to believe somebody has friends at all. This ain't your mama's cobra. Has to be a mistake. Our mistake. Yeah, we've seen the rec room. Can we go now? I'll agree, it's weird, but what does this sideshow prove? A friend? You could have said something about the magnetic train tracks. No, he couldn't. What, the dude can't talk? Wish I could say the same for you. Anybody else wondering why there's a train running down here? I apologize for not being able to join you in person, but I wanted to express my gratitude to all for supporting Cobra's latest philanthropic endeavor, the Veterans Health Consortium. Now please, enjoy the party. General Abernathy. Thank you for coming. Would you care for another espresso? No, thank you. Baroness? Please, call me Anastasia. Tell me, Anastasia, when do I get to meet your elusive boss? Mr. de Cobre is a very busy man, General. If you'll excuse me. I've never met. I'm Lieutenant Shana O'Hara, an officer in your investigative division. I am on the verge of obtaining hard proof that Cobra Industries is involved in all manner of illegal activity. Scramble all phone signals within 50 meters. I've infiltrated a secret Cobra lab in Springfield. Major Hidalgo, do you know a Lieutenant O'Hara in intelligence? Name sounds familiar. Find out what she's up to ASAP. Sir, we had a security breach, and I thought, Yo! Rent a cop! Never interrupt an artist at work! You know what I'm making down here? Your replacement! I know. I know the teeming masses will call you unnatural, immoral, even evil. But you'll always be my baby. Who's young Frankenstein? Brian Binder, a.k.a. Mindbender. I like the name. Badly wanted by the feds for multiple crimes against nature. So what's he doing in Cobra's basement? Baking up some apple pie? Doesn't matter. We're taking him in. No. I have all the proof I need right here. We're leaving. Eh, no worries, Sarge. We'll just come back with a search warrant, pitchforks, and torches next week. So we're staying? No, a nod means we're leaving. What are we nodding about, anyway? 
this area is restricted. You! You're the security breach. You're under arrest. Doubt it. Everybody sees the lava lamp coming at us, right? Open fire! How much? Soldier, Cobra lets me do anything I want down here. After you five are recycled into my biomatrix, you will be reborn as super soldiers. Granted, it's just a work in progress, but you may well be the first unit in Cobra's very own Bio Viper Army. Can I get a doctor? I understand there was a security breach at the lab. Uh, handled it. I mean, some green shirts busted in to arrest me. Go figure. And I expect a full report. I know, I know, I disobeyed orders. Didn't want to. Expect a court-martial soldier. I outrank him. You're pardoned. Help roadblock, Tunnel Rat. You're not gonna let the nickname thing go, are you? Dinner! On the assembly line. The controls are locked. We can turn the whole factory to a big old cherry bomb. How? Time that generator fires, boom shakalaka. Then let her rip, ripcord. Ripcord, me like it. Where's 
screens. want to cover your ears, Doughboy! No! Attention, all personnel. Evacuate. This is not a drill. Don't worry about Snake Eyes. I wasn't. Major Hidalgo, we just came from the Cobra Lab in Springfield. What happened out there, Lieutenant? Long story short, we've acquired proof that Cobra's involved in things you wouldn't believe. We have to get this to General Abernathy right now. Everyone back in the truck! Sir. We lost a man back there. I need to check in with base command. And I need you to brief General Abernathy. That's an order. Why are we being transported in a stolen civilian vehicle? Relax. Check this out. Authorities now believe robbery and sabotage were the motives behind today's explosion. At Cobra Pharmaceuticals, police seek a group of US Army personnel led by this man. Sergeant Conrad Hauser. As seen here, the armed men force their way into the plant at gunpoint. Hey, where's the part where Cobra shot first? Since the explosion resulted in at least one fatality, Hauser and his men are wanted for murder. Being set up. Major Hidalgo. I'm thinking the secret she managed to record are worth twice the number we originally agreed upon. What do you say? I say, you're fired. <laughs> How do we prove we're not criminals? We can't trust anyone. We can trust General Abernathy. As you can see, crews are struggling to put out the many fires. Lieutenant O'Hara, what in Sam Hill have you been doing? I had pictures, sir, of the real Cobra. Unfortunately, the proof has been destroyed, but I know where we can find much, much more. Let me guess. At the Cobra plant, you and those soldiers incinerated. Sir, if you'll just let me explain. Explain? You acted without orders, Lieutenant. You and those men will accept responsibility for going rogue. End of discussion. Now surrender yourselves. General, we've been set up. Until you can prove that, son, I can't help you. No one can. Previously on G.I. Joe Renegade. This area is restricted. You're under arrest. Open fire! <laughs> I want to cover your ears, Doughboy! No! You acted without orders, Lieutenant. General, we've been set up. Until you can prove that, son, I can't help you. No one can. Don't move! Stay where you are! Military and local law enforcement remain on high alert as they continue to hunt for the soldiers who, allegedly, infiltrated and destroyed a Cobra Pharmaceuticals manufacturing plant near the town of Springfield last night. Viewers with any information that might lead to the capture of the suspects are urged to call the number shown on screen. I'm Bender Report. I need you to make absolutely certain that every thread linking Cobra to your experiments has been destroyed. Yeah, about that. I think one of my chicks may have wandered from the nest. Are you saying a bio-viper survived the explosion? I know. 
Is that fan flippin' tastic or what? These things are even more kick butt than I realized. I just put all my resources into covering up their very existence. Now you tell me, one is running loose? Hello. I may have created an unstoppable killing machine here, and that was only a beta test. I think some props are in order. Perhaps I should alert the commander that your killing machine is going public well ahead of his schedule. Shutting up. Tracking BioVibrus. Anybody like to say a few words about our fallen comrade? A private first class Wallace Wings? I, uh... <clears throat> I didn't really know Weems. Uh, none of us did, I guess. Actually, uh... I actually found him kind of annoying. I mean, specifically the whole nicknaming thing. Yeah, it's, it's good, man. It's all right. <sighs> Wallace Weems gave his life to save ours. We will make sure his sacrifice was not in vain. Done? Good. I found Santa's sack in the spare tire well. And by Santa, I mean Mars Industries. We need to find out why Cobra's in bed with the world's largest arms manufacturer. Scarlet, show some respect. It's Lieutenant O'Hara, and we'll have time to mourn Weems after we expose Cobra and clear our name. So pick a sidearm and let's move. That's an order, soldier. You don't get it. There's no rank here anymore. We're equal opportunity fugitives. Even fugitives need a leader. How many tours of duty have you done? How many combat missions have you led? Don't want to take orders from me? Fine. But our priority is still the mission. There is no mission. Our priority is the men. That means food, water, and medical treatment for your leg. Whoa. Uh, yeah, n not to break up the love of spat, but I do have field medic training. And I could wrestle up some child. He liked Ripcord as a nickname. Weems. It was the last thing he said to me before. Have you found the hatchling yet? Well, let's just say I've narrowed down its flight path to a five mile radius. And that's the good news. The bad news is that radius is a backwoods verb called Springfield. Put the bird in a cage now. So what kind of threat are we trying to contain here, Baroness? These old analog receivers still pick up stray signals. And I know when someone's speaking in code. Congratulations, General Abernathy. Your rogue soldiers are also bioterrorists. When they destroyed our facility, they released a lethal virus into the water supply. Now we need to seal off Springfield. My best intel specialist is leading the manhunt for these fugitives. We will bring them to justice. Meantime, I'll mobilize a unit to assist you with the evacuation. The military has done enough damage, General. Cobra will handle this ourselves. Attention, this area has been exposed to a contagion and will be sealed off in one hour. Outside the quarantine zone, 
You will be directed to a Cobra Mobile decontamination unit. That should scare off the curious. Now retrieve your Bio Viper. It's a mindless collection of bioengineered aggression and survival instinct. You can't just whistle for it like a puppy. But I'm sure it will come running when it gets hungry. <laughs> oh, something crawl in there and drown? Man, you ain't lived till you taste my granny's wild mushroom cap stew. Don't! Those are ammonitis. They're poisonous. <sighs> Trust me, I spend a lot of time in the dirt. Uh, I hope those ain't for dessert. Don't be disgusting. They're for Spy Lady's leg wound. Thanks, but no thanks, tunnel rat. Again with the tunnel rat. Snake eyes. Lower your weapons! That's Bio Viper material, isn't it? Where'd you find it? In nearby Springfield. Hey! Which has been evacuated and sealed off due to the release of a lethal virus. This is clearly the work of the same criminals who destroyed our pharmaceutical plant. Rest assured, Cobra will assist any and all of the infected. There were no contagions in that lab. Cobra's going through a whole lot of trouble to shut down a town. Don't tell me one of those things we bullseye blowed up and barbecued is still walking around. We need to warn the authorities. Who will believe us? If that freak show is running loose, it's partly our fault. I won't allow more innocent lives to be lost. And unlike you, Scarlet, I got an inside contact we can depend on. Base command. Hey, Lady J. Duke, where are you? I can't believe what they're saying about you on the news. Don't. I need you to get a combat unit to Springfield, stat. I can't explain right now, but... Oh, no, you don't. Start at the beginning. <sighs> All right, but you're not going to believe me. Uh, can't talk now. Bye, Mom. May I help you, sir? Skip the protocol, Sergeant Burnett. Lieutenant Dashiell Fairborn, Army Intel. But you can call me Flint. You and I are going to be spending a lot of time together. I don't date suits. It says here Sergeant Hauser, AKA Duke, once saved your life. Now's your chance to return the favor. I don't owe nobody nothing. I know you don't want Duke going down in a hail of gunfire. That's why you're gonna help me bring him in. Alive. Let's move. Uh, sir, maybe we should send the combat unit out to Springfield. Don't make me regret bringing you on board, Sergeant. Duke would never be stupid enough to go back there. I can't believe I let you talk me into going back there. Aren't you the one who's determined to take down Cobra? Yeah, but I'm not the one foolish enough to return to the scene of the crime. Remind me, why are we bringing the ninja along? Because he has a sword and he knows how to use it. Attention, citizens. This is the last call for evacuation. This entire area must be sealed off in 10 minutes. Corporate scum! Don't you worry about no virus, Mitchell. Everything those cobra weasels say is a lie. What is it, buddy? Are you sure there's no virus, Dad? Looks like something sucked the life right out of him. Start the truck! Guess he owes you some leeches. So, how do we get in? 12 o'clock. Okay, now how do we get out? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Turn off that fence! I'm telling you, there's a, a thing! Hallucinations. First symptom of the virus. Should have amoosed while the amoosing was good. Is that a hallucination? That's a trick Daddy didn't know you could do. Bring in the tube. A good synthetic soldier. Taxi. Well, I tried. You're on your own, AC. What kind of monster did you Cobra scum unleash on our town? Let's get one thing straight. We are definitely not Cobra. Who are you then? We're just ordinary Joe, sir. And we suggest... You run! Take a lot more than a sword to stop that thing. Yo, Townie! Let's try going underground. Mindbender, what's going on out there? I didn't order an assault. It's those soldier boys. The ones that torched my lab. They're alive and kicking. Not for long. What did Mr. McCullen send us? Ah, fuel air explosive. Mars Industries manufactures the best toys. No, 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 no. I mean, aren't we missing a primo opportunity here? I mean, heavily armed enlistees trapped inside an electronic battlefield with an unstoppable force of nature? This is gonna be entertainment at its finest. I have no time for foolishness. Prepare to launch. That's too bad, because I know the commander has a lot riding on the success of his BioViper program. Now, I'd hate to have to tell him that you put the kibosh on the ultimate field test. Abort. For the moment. We're getting reports of a firefight in Springfield. General Abernathy wants us to check it out. Looks like Duke might be just that stupid after all. Plan. There was a plan. You all right? <laughs> Buddy! Kid, wait! Mitchell, no! <laughs> Buddy! <laughs> Not much in the way of evidence, but it's a start. Have you seen my son? Hold your fire! <clears throat> oh, they grow up so fast. We can't shoot at it. We have to find another weakness. Haven't you been paying attention? That grizzly don't do weakness. <laughs> huh? 
not grizzly. More like spud. This is plant material. I already told you, I spend a lot of time in the dirt. See how it sucks out the nutrients? So why ain't it done that to my son? And maybe it ain't that hungry. Yet. Point is, we found a weakness. So all we need is a boatload of weed killer. And where do you expect to find that? We're on a farm, city girl. O'Hara in position. Duke in position. Yeah. Roadblock in position. <laughs> Tunnel rat in position. That's right, I said tunnel rat. Let's go. Mindbender. Report back to me immediately. Uh, yeah, no can do. Um, wanted criminal? Tell Uncle Sam I said howdy do. Pack it up now! Lieutenant Fairborn, Army Intel. I am here at the behest of General Abernathy and I require access. Your general assured me there would be no military interference. Yes, ma'am. But seeing as how you aren't wearing a gas mask, I assume that the virus is all cleaned up and you can shut down the fence. Time's up. Shut that fence down now, or I will tear it to shreds. <laughs> Not bad for a bunch of ordinary Joes. We owe you our lives. We owe you a mess of weed killer. Let's call it even. You got guts, Lieutenant, for a spy. Call me Scarlet. Grunt. Freeze! Drop your weapons, soldiers! Hands where we can see them! The rest of you, stand back! State championships. Ten seconds on the clock. Inches from the end zone and trailing by six. Center snaps the ball, and what happens, Duke? You sack me, Flint. You know him? So, I'm guessing this situation feels a little familiar. Why'd you do it, Duke? Somebody pay you to blow up that plant? It's a long story, Flint. Well, I for one can't wait to hear the whole thing at your court, Marshal. Where's my Jeep? Next time, sir, I suggest you not leave your keys in the ignition. So where to now, Duke? Anywhere we could stay one step ahead of Flint. And make life miserable for Cobra. Unfortunately, we lost the BioViper prototype. But the virus cover will hold. Good. Then Cobra Industries will be spared further scrutiny in the wake of this incident. There is the small matter of the renegade soldiers. Small matters have a way of unraveling into loose ends. You know how I feel about loose ends. I trust you will handle these renegade soldiers with your usual efficiency, my dear Baroness. In fact... 
I command it. I feel my life slipping away here. You're trying to make my ears bleed, aren't you? There's a state police checkpoint ahead. Guess who they're looking for. We're boxed in. Trapped like rats. Cops about to swarm. We'll be fine. Uh, oh, what? You're a magician? You're gonna make this truck grow wings? We need a distraction. <laughs> What is your crazy friend doing? You asked for a distraction. they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Told you we'd be fine. You didn't have anything to do with it! We can't count on the magic ninja to save us every time. We need to learn to blend in, right? Hello? We're trying to blend. Look around. Hereabouts people wear whatever they can afford. Some decent stuff here. <sighs> Once a grunt, always a grunt. The goal is to not look military. <gasps> you want to fight? I'll fight! <laughs> Come on, man, you gotta calm down. Halt, soldier. You're not on a battlefield. Oh, this is a battlefield. Hey, 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 man. Why you want to be doing that, friend? No one's going to hurt you. <laughs> Everyone down! <laughs> You've done your good deed for the day, gentlemen. I'm sure Chicago's finest are on their way. We can't just leave them here. He's sedated. Is it post-traumatic stress, Doc? No, nor addiction, nor any other disease I can diagnose. And he's not alone. I'm treating three other vets found in the same condition. After all they've done for their country. The police will want to talk to you all. I'm not leaving Chicago until we find out what's happening to those men. I agree. Really? What's your angle? I was double-checking my old files and noticed Cobra has been shipping high-tech weapon parts into this area for some time. Guess what? There are no weapon manufacturers around here. If we can find out what Cobra... Cobra is looking for us. Are you trying to get arrested? I'm trying to clear our names. 
We're fugitives, lady. And I got nothing against those vets, Duke. But our own skins come first. We need to get out of Dodge now. You got my back, right? We could go, or we could stay. I'm good either way. You know what? Roadblock is the perfect name for you. All you do is... Ah, I'm out of here. Tunnel Rat, it's freezing. Let him go. Dude needs to chill. Call out tonight, huh? Yeah, you just win a genius grant? <laughs> just trying to help. My mission does a lot of work with veterans. You are a vet, aren't you? I don't need any help. How about some hot coffee? Coffee I can do. Just don't try to convert me. <laughs> I can't change what you are, my friend. friend. Ralph Pulaski. Where are we? Last thing I remember was uh, a cup of coffee and a preacher. Evening, Scrap Iron. How does today's catch look? Physically adequate, Mr. McCullen. As for their mental state, only time will tell. Time is a luxury we do not have. Cobra is demanding a formal demonstration. We need a subject that will prove that our technology works. We might find a better candidate among your staff soldiers. I won't risk valuable grenadiers when these veterans cost nothing and are easily disposed of. Now let's hope we find the treasure among your street trash. Begin. Hey, who turned on the lights? Initiate the sonic tone. Ah, what is with that noise? My brain is gonna explode! Brainwaves are irregular. They're entering the combat mindset. Release them. Ah, let's go get acquainted with the preacher. Yo! You creeps better get us out of these things! The rage effect is coming on strong. Watch what you're doing! It wasn't me, it was this thing! Anastasia, your timing is impeccable. It's almost as if you have a spy here at Mars Industries. Why would I need a spy? We have no secrets, do we? I know you were expecting a status report, but I have something even better. Ooh, when can we share them with Mr. Ducobre? Soon. We're in the final test phase. Cobra Industries will reap a very satisfying return on its investment, I promise you. When perfected, my new exo-armor will be the most powerful weapon on any battlefield. Your toys always impress me, James. Perhaps Cobra should simply buy you out. As much as I enjoy working with you, Anastasia, Mars Industries will remain in the McCullen family as long as I walk this Earth. Oh, James, I simply meant... <laughs> Ah! <sighs> 
Your guinea pigs are failing me. They're not the problem. It's the sonic tone. It's designed to stimulate fight or flight for maximum combat performance. None of the subjects can withstand the resulting rage effect. I know there's a soldier out there strong enough. Find him. I've nearly finished my sweep. Any sign of Tunnel Rat on the east side? No. He's been gone eight hours. You think he went AWOL? <sighs> Hope you're happy, T-Rat. Got me hoofing all over downtown. <laughs> Didn't know where else to bring him. I never should have... It's not your fault, Roadblock. You again. A friend. Your friend, huh? It says here your friend does not have a name. Look, Doc. I'm calling security. Another friend of ours. Acupressure. It's no cure. There won't be a cure until we find the cause. How? Forget it, Duke. And we're supposed to forget Tunnel Rat? No way. We have what he didn't. Back up. doing tunnel rat hates your music but he loves to complain about it this is where i found him no clue how he got here coffee when we found him tunnel rat had coffee stains all over him wait wasn't the other vet, Truman, harassing that preacher? Whew. I sure could use a hot cup of joe. What do I owe you? It's free, sir. You a veteran? I see my share of action. Hold on. I have some fresh brew. Mmm. That's strong. Whoa. Wondering why you're here? Don't bother. This isn't about thought. It's about instinct. That instinct in particular. But I prefer it not be directed toward me. You have been targeted. Take evasive action. Mr. McCullen, he's in a full-blown combat rage, but his brainwaves are holding steady. Promising. Begin recording. Let's see what he can do. This part of town is abandoned. You really think we're gonna find our preacher down here? I'm not looking for the Preacher. If this is Gelson Street, 
We're close. Close to what? Remember those shipments from Cobra I was tracking? They were delivered to that building. Again, with the Cobra. You know, one corporation isn't behind every evil in the world. We'll see. I'll spare you the big fat I told you so if you find us a way in there. Incredible. He's immune to the rage effect. Now that we know what we're looking for, we can recruit soldiers with similar brain patterns in the future. His brainwave recordings are complete. Subtle. We're in, aren't we? Looks like this one has friends. Yeah, they won't be his friends long. Ah! Roadblock! Hang on, we'll break you out. He heard you. Take the wheel. What? Where are you going? Oh, Block! What are you trying to do to me? Duke, come in. Over. Duke, what's your 20? Come on, you stupid radio, work! Arr! Will you stop trying to scare me to death? Hey, your lady's in trouble. I'm guessing you know how to find her, right? Anger ain't you. Right, bang your head, buddy. That's right. Let's get him out of there. That beeping can't be good.
The sonic technology they were exposed to overstimulated the brain's survival reflex, eventually causing a mental crash. But this music seems to, well, reboot their minds. Just like I figured. Yo, what you guys did? Well, if it was up to us, you'd get medals. Hey, what do we call you? We are just... Ordinary Joes, like you. All right then, Joes. If I can ever be of service, look me up. They used to call me Steeler. Dr. Greer, you have a call on line one. Any of you know a Lieutenant Fairborn? Doctor! Where are they? They? Oh, right. You are looking for some soldiers, hmm? You know exactly who I'm talking about. I suspect we made a new enemy today. Oh, that's great. Cause we needed more people shooting at us. Ain't nothing we can't handle. Figure it if you know it. Gents, here for a test drive? Maybe a trade-in. Something with four wheels? <laughs> <laughs> Not from around here, are you? Just arrived from Dripping Springs, Texas. Yeah. Just messing with you. I'm Zartan. These are my dreadnoughts. And this is how things work around here. Russell. <laughs> you pay us, and we make sure bad things don't happen to you. Uh, that's all I have. <laughs> Let me just phone the missus to be sure. I'll just drop by 526 Lincoln Avenue and ask her myself. <laughs> But you're new around here, so I'm gonna go easy on you. This time. Hey, which one's yours? What? Which car belongs to you? this little talk. Russell. Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Come on, Zartan, was that really necessary? 
You know the drill, Sheriff. I keep looking the other way, and before I know it, the Dreadnoughts will get bored with my jerkwater bird, and I can go back to scarfing down jelly donuts full time. <clears throat> go grab yourself a dozen. On me. Never heard of no diner closed at noon. Didn't mean to scare you. We don't get many visitors here. Well, we'll be on our best behavior, ma'am. Promise. Well, how's the apple pie? Homemade? Even better. Cobra brand. Pass. Can the friendly talk, boys? We're here for food, not to attract attention. This kind of town, you attract more attention by not being friendly. Yo, Blondie! What's it take to get a cup of joe? Guess that ship has sailed. Where's your hat, Sheriff? Come on, Wendy. You don't have to call me Sheriff. Can't help it when I see you in that uniform. Well, then maybe you should see me out of this uniform. Uh, well, no, I mean, in street clothes, what? Never mind. Let me get that for you. When I pull up to a service station, I expect service. <clears throat> Sorry. That means fill the tank, top off the oil, check the tires, and wipe down the windows. Don't get involved, gentlemen. I got a thing about bullies. <clears throat> oh, wait, wait. I uh, missed a spot. Here, I'll get it. You don't know who you're messing with. Neither do you. My turn. Should have kept that at it. Guys. Whoever you are, you need to leave before you cause any more trouble. Before we cause any more trouble? Yeah, where were you when Gooba here was getting his face squeegeed? You boys just mind your own business and move on. Couldn't have said it better myself, Sheriff. I'm telling you, this freak came out of nowhere! A full-on ninja! That's all it takes, Buzzer. One thrill seeker stands up to the Dreadnoughts. Then, another will. And another. Then, it gets ugly. Time to cut out the tumor. Before it has a chance to grow. I don't see anyone else, Maddie. And somebody's gotta pay. You gotta do something, Sheriff. Get inside, Wendy. Zartan, I'm gonna have to insist that you let him go. Oh, oh, I see. Playing all tough for your girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. 
but I'd sure like her to be. Oh, Wendy, can't you see I'm in love with you? You're a lowlife, Zartan. Truth is, we were gonna move on from this one-horse town, but now we're gonna have to stick around long enough to teach you all a lesson. Your crush is my insurance policy. In case you get any ideas about calling in the state troopers, we clear. Suspects fled from Springfield and were last sighted in Chicago. Just because Duke's army, we can't assume he'll stay on land. So, how you think your boyfriend's gonna flee the country? Okay, first, he's not my boyfriend. Second, Duke don't flee from anything. Yo, MC Scarlet, pick a station and stick with it. It's the emergency band, genius. I'm scanning for police presence. Requesting fire assistance. Gas station on Main Street, 10-5. We're going back. Out of the question. Oh, you think that fire's a coincidence? I'm betting we stirred up a hornet's nest right before we blew out of town. Even if it wasn't our fault, those folks could use our help. Hey, back in Brooklyn, I had a brother used to keep the bullies off my back. All it did was get me beat up worse when he wasn't around. Yes, thank you. <laughs> What are you doing? Bullies didn't back down until my bro taught me how to defend myself. Now look who's back. As soon as you left, the Dreadnoughts did this. Where can we find your sheriff? Hold up inside the station. We'll make a move because of Wendy. The waitress? Zartan's holding her hostage at the motel just outside of town. Okay, dude just stole a tow truck. He's going after Wendy. We should back him up. If you go in there with guns blazing, Wendy will be caught in the crossfire. Snake Eye Solo is her best option. You put a lot of faith in that mystery man. He's earned it. Sheriff! Freeze! Relax. We're here to help. That's not what I've heard. Now, don't try running, because I've already alerted your Lieutenant Fairborn. You fugitives are under arrest. Tom and Harriet Banks are the lucky winners of this past weekend's Super Lottery draw. The pair came forward to claim their $11 million prize this morning and face the media. Don't just stand there! Pick him up! Anyone scratches my hog, loses a limb. The sheriff. You don't need him. If you're willing to stand up for yourselves, we'll all fight the Dreadnoughts. Together. Very noble, Duke. But Flint's on his way. We need to burn rubber now. Go. The rest of us are staying. <sighs> Just make this fast. Listen up, everyone. The next time the Dreadnoughts come to town, you're gonna be ready for them. You want us to take on an entire biker gang? They have weapons. What do we have? Our heads.
Where are your buddies? Oh, come on. Give me something to work with here. What's the fun of torturing you if I can't imitate your screams? Oh, you had to turn this into a teachable moment. Watch and learn, Dreadnoughts. You can't just strong-arm some people. You have to own them. That's why I always grab a little piece. Their stuff. Their voice. Their face. Oh, I'll keep the mask. You need it more than I do. Wendy! What happened to the masked guy? I, 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 don't, I don't know. He, he cut me loose and, and bought me time to escape. Took them all on at once. One mute versus a dozen bikers? That's suicide. For the bikers. Everyone in position. Position for what? Just take cover. Roebuck, lay down suppressive fire. What are you supposed to be? The cavalry? Just ordinary Joes who won't let you push these people around. No, just ordinary Joes who want to play hero. Now, what do you say you hand over those sweet-looking noisemakers? Unless you want Buzzer to show your friend here how we feel about heroes. Let him go! Did someone in this town just grow a spine? Pull! <laughs> Wendy, are you all right? Better than you. Who did this? The strangers from the diner. They're wanted for murder. It's okay. We'll be safe in here. Look at that. Hole full of stupid. <laughs> Anyone for barbecue? I like mine well done! <laughs> what do they think they're doing? Helping, which is more than you've ever done, Terry. Wendy, wait! Don't go out there! You rubes want a war? No more mercy! Never would have guessed Kansas. That's like starting one yard from the end zone and running the ball into the parking lot. Maybe you and Duke ain't playing the same game. Don't matter. Because the game's over. And guess who's about to win? Back for more pain! That's what I like about you, Wendy. You got a small, soft spot for big cowards. Uh, 
That's all of them. Let's move. Not quite. Where's their leader? Listen up, people! <laughs> you know, in all the commotion, I neglected to get myself a souvenir from the little lady. All heads next. Unless you drop those weapons and ride out of town, nice and peaceful-like, right now. Let her go! No, he needs to fight his own battle. Oh, maybe if I get myself beat up real bad, then Wendy will nurse me back to health. Not that I ever really had a shot with her. Just because you can imitate me doesn't mean you know me. It'll grow back. Uh, Wendy? I was wondering... My shift ends at eight. Afternoon, Sheriff. I'm Lieutenant Fairborn, and as much as I'd love to chat, I'm gonna have to cut to the chase and retrieve my fugitives. Right this way, Lieutenant. They're all yours. Admit it. Felt good to help. It's not like we took down Cobra. But yeah, it felt okay. Uh, where's the ninja? In pursuit of the fugitives, south on I-25. Request air units. They're closing in. Working on it. What, you looking for an ejector seat? I'm trying to turn on the truck's cloaking technology. I read on the internet that it can turn invisible. You believe everything you read on the internet? We're doomed. Them in a crowd? It's worth a shot. S market. I love S market. Especially the minute bagel dog. FYI, your precious S market is owned by Cobra Industries. They are evil. Still like the bagel dog. All units, lock down the exits. Be aware, you have the green light to detain the fugitives by any means necessary. So what's your plan now? Duck down and hope they don't notice us? Well, since we're not invisible yet, I'm buying time. Once Flint spreads out his convoy, we can make a break for the weakest link. Uh, what if there ain't no weakest link? Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. We make a run for the store. Hold on. I found something. Chameleon mode activated.
Oof, how did the Boy Scout not see us? Check out the new paint job! Chameleon mode. Hey, open up in there! But apparently not invisible. It's Mark Fragile, so be careful. Will do, boss. Flint's routing everybody through one exit, which means... Buckle up. No way a rig that size pulls a vanishing act. Sir, we didn't canvas the store. It's big, right? Plenty big for a truck to drive into. Stay here and check every vehicle. Units two and three, we're moving on the main building, now! to be a mailman when I was a kid. Folks are always happy to see the mailman coming. I say we deliver this. Desert University, Alvin Kibbe. Alvin Kibbe? I know that name. He's the coyote. Sounds like your type. It's his alias. Kibbe is the leading anti-Cobra blogger. His website has all the best intel on Cobra's darker side. Where do you think I first read about the chameleon mode? So he's boyfriend material. Question is... Why would Mr. I Hate Cobra order anything from one of Cobra's subsidiaries? Let's find out. You do not want to open that. <gasps> it's a bomb! I need access to the detonator. Tunnel Rat, you have a knife. This goes boom, not my fault. I do holes in the ground. Mind if I borrow that? <sighs> Didn't know you worked explosives. Cleared my share of mines. We have to warn Kibby. You're sure you didn't see them? Nope. Sorry. Keep them. My number's on the back. This is store 74. Put me through to Cobra Operations. Kibby never received the package. There is someone in the area I would like Mr. Kibby to meet. Major Blood. This is your opportunity to prove you are more than a pretty face. I never disappoint a lady. Not when the price is right. Isn't it a little strange a professor lives in a dorm? He's obviously a man of the people. Hi, I'm looking for Professor Alvin Kibbe. He stepped out. You're welcome to wait for him. I thought you had it bad for Cobra. Kibby's brilliant, even if a few of his theories are a little out there. Like Cobra's CEO being part snake? That is fact! I have photos, eyewitnesses, even scales! You're Alvin Kibby? What you rush? You got a nice view here, pal. What do you want? We're here to help the coyote. I'm Snakebait23, remember? You told me you were a professor. Oh, Snakebait23! Wow! <laughs> You're quite different than I expected. <laughs> you too. It started when I worked at S Market, troubleshooting computers in their shipping department. One of their fancy new barcode scanners went missing, right? And they blamed me! Said I stole it! How dare they! What's that? The scanner. But I only took it after they fired me. 
I think it holds details on all of Cobra's illegal shipping operations. What? That scanner is why Cobra wants you in a thousand tiny pieces. Are you sure all this rushing about is necessary? Uh, didn't we used to have a ride? Who are you people? <clears throat> What's with the joy ride? Someone is watching the dorm. I don't see anything. <laughs> Good eye, mites. So that gizmo brings an end to our troubles, right? The information stored on the scanner's hard drive might be enough to expose at least some of Cobra's criminal activities. Look, I don't know how to say this, but the scanner is... temperamental. Whoa, 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 Buzzkill McBrit. L lady just said the scanner was gold. I've tried every hacking technique there is. If I can't break into it, no one can. Why didn't you mention this before? Well, you were busy saving me. Didn't want to distract you. this guy doesn't matter call me crazy but I kind of want to know who's trying to waste me this week dang that dude's right is tough we have to get out of the city and away from civilians <laughs> I don't think chameleon mode is gonna save us this time. I don't want to die. Get up here. I need the coyote and I need him now. You know everything about this truck. Okay, this is a Cobra X2. It comes loaded with multiple defense options. You know, I got the manual from a whistleblower, Cobra mechanic. Sad story, really. Heard they fed him to a big snake. Focus! Activating emergency defense mode. That bad boy is mine. Target practice. Shields are up. We had shields and she waited till now? I double checked the store's perimeter. Nada. They can't have gone far. I have a visual on the fugitives. I'm engaging pursuit. Ooh! Uh, hey, Duke. I think we owe your old buddy a new Jeep. Uh, that's another felony. Lady J, over. Something. Dude's too close. Can you get me more speed? Activating the supercharger. We have a supercharger? Thought you bail me up, eh? Not a bleeding chance. Deactivate! I'm trying. You want a fair go, mate? All right. Help yourself.
sticker. Has the problem been eliminated? He didn't tell me the target had friends. A ninja in green shirts and an armored cobra truck. This is gonna cost you extra, love. Stand by for further instructions. Have any of our X2s activated their emergency beacon? In the southwest sector, minutes ago. Track it. What's this port for? That's where the scanner plugs into the store's data mainframe. What if we took this back to the S market and plugged it in? The system might unlock the scanner in order to update it. Brilliant! No, wait. Cobra's trying to bury me, remember? I'm not going back there. You're the only one who can get us in. And you don't have a choice. I told him I lost my keys. Don't have an answer for this one. <laughs> Marvelous. Keep your eyes peeled for late night bargain hunters. Hello, Cobra. Should we play a game? Game over. I can't get access to the system. Can we go now? This is your chance to do something important, not just write about it. Listen to her. You were right about the truck, Coyote. Forget the Coyote. I believe in you. Alvin Kibby. I am good. If I can't break it, no one can. The scanner's unlocked. You are not gonna believe this. We are standing in the middle of a major weapon stash. So S Market's shipping network is a cover for Cobra's arm smuggling operation. Sorry, mate. Stores closed. How did he find us? I may have forgotten about the truck's tracking beacon. Lower your weapon. You're outnumbered. Is that a fact? haven't learned to duck yet. Not much for small talk, are you, mate? Chew on this. Snake eyes! Yeah, you're next, Ginger. Where's Kibby? I got him! Come on! If 
we can thin out their ranks, we can make a run for the door. We got a lot of thinning to do. And just a little juice. Then, we'll have to improvise. We'll cover your escape, and whatever happens, you have to get the scanner to the authorities. I'll do what I can. Let her rip. Thank you, Bushwhack me. There's no blood. Really? Oh, it certainly hit me. Ah, oh, you can't be serious! All this for nothing? Not exactly. You remember that package you were supposed to deliver? I did a little rewiring and returned to sender. It's been terminated. And the scanner is no longer functioning. But what happened to my weapons cache? That'd be the handiwork of your weekend warriors. Next time I see them, I'm gonna thank them for free. I've disabled the beacon, which means Cobra won't be able to track you. And I've reactivated all communication capabilities. You sure you don't want to come with? Yeah, you can't go back to school. Cobra thinks you're history, which is probably a good thing. Yep, you can't be the coyote anymore. I'm thinking this is my chance to reinvent myself. Maybe even adopt a new code name. How about Breaker? Because if you can't break it... No one can. Mind if I borrow this? Yeah. Long live the coyote! What is so urgent that you summoned me in the middle of the night? These were posted just 12 hours ago. And why should I care about American fugitives? Because one of them is Lieutenant Shana Ohara, Army Intelligence, a former student of Snake Eyes. Which is why I took an even closer look. Are you trying to get us caught, Kibby? Fine. Breaker. Whatever. We're not your anti-Cobra poster boys. Take those photos down from your site, or the next post will be your obituary. Easy, man. The dude's on our team. Besides, our face was already made the 6 o'clock news. Well, most of our faces. Ah! Hey, hey! Here's an idea. Why don't we drive someplace with actual roads? Where 
are we going, anyway? He hasn't told me. Well, he's gonna tell me. After all we've been through, why won't you trust Snake Eyes? Uh, newsflash, he's a ninja. By definition, that makes him a spy, a saboteur, and an assassin. What? Look it up. I defy you to name one thing Snake Eyes has done to you or this team to make you doubt his loyalty. I think we hurt his feelings, Duke. they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Guys. What did that dude do to us? Uh, questions later. Secure the area. Now! Perimeter's clear, which is more than I can say for my head. Oh. So, what is this place? What else? The ninja's snake pit. I think it's his dojo. This is a huge honor, Grunts. Since when is getting gassed a huge honor? Snake Eyes has to keep his dojo's location secret, even from us. A little grub in the cupboards would go a long way towards smoothing my feathers. How about a little aspirin in the medicine cabinet? Ah. Uh. Snake Eyes? He's breathing. Pulse is good, no broken bones. I thought you cleared the interior. I did. Surround the perimeter. Move in on my signal. Gas bomb wasn't enough, huh? He had to send us a wake-up call from Samurai Susie? That would be Ninja Nancy. Apparently, she's a student of Snake Eyes. So what was your first clue? When I called him Sensei? And it's Jinx. Shana. How do you know my name? I know all about Sensei's other pupils. Snake Eyes never told me about you. He never tells anyone about anything. I find my own answers. Then answer me this. Why would you attack a fellow apprentice? You want to go another round, Red? <sighs> now give me Sensei. It's just, I knew she'd be trouble. Okay. Enough of this class reunion. I want to know why you brought us here, Ninja. Only one reason Sensei brings anyone to his dojo. To train them. 
For what? There is a storm coming. You need to be prepared. When do we start? You seriously want to stay at Camp Ninjitsu? My sensei is demonstrating that ninjas speak with motion. Actually, he's asking us to find our voices through our training by watching and doing. Well, maybe he's just telling us to get up and dance. <laughs> What's important here is there are many levels of achievement, but sensei wants us to focus on three, four, one. Strength of body. <laughs> Two, harmony with nature. <gasps> Three, focus of energy. Four, anticipation of danger. Time out! Time out! <laughs> You're hopeless. Why did you even agree to this? Because you know Snake Eyes, and I'm looking for insight. And you're willing to get the snot kicked out of you to find it? Yeah, you know you're right. I should just ask Scarlet. Seriously? I've known Sensei since he was a teenager. And you were what, four? Eight. I was with my cousin, Tomi Saburo, in the marketplace. Father would never let me go alone. I soon discovered why. I just never thought it would become part of my daily life. Father was grateful to the stranger who saved his Purinsesu, his princess. But Tomisaburo was shamed for needing help from an outsider, a gaijin. My father took in the stranger, trained him, welcomed him like a son into the house of Arashikage. A new life requires a new name. Since you possess the steely gaze of a serpent, we shall call you Hebinome Snake Eyes. Thank you, Sensei. want to know the punishment for touching that. What's so special about a sword? The blade of Arashikage, over a thousand years old, passed down from one master to another. It's what unites our clan. So your cousin accepted Snake Eyes too?
like a brother. What'd you do that for? My sensei wants you trained. And since you'll never survive a fight at close range, <coughs> the Kyoketsu Shogei will give you the advantage of attacking from a distance. This is how a soldier attacks from a distance. <coughs> So, Duke putting that famous ninja patience to the test? What are we now, BFFs? I'd settle for a truce. You know, you're not like his other students. I've seen how he treats you, how he cares. Nah, I'm just high maintenance, that's all. Scarlet! Speaking of which... Anticipation of danger. See? I have been paying attention. This is Sensei's private quarters. You don't belong here. Neither do you. What were you looking for? Or should I ask Snake Eyes? What exactly do you want? I want to know who I'm dealing with. Why'd you two leave your happy little home? Daddy throw you out? It's... complicated. I got time. <sighs> Remember when I said Snake Eyes and Tomi Saburo were like brothers? Think Cain and Abel. Both were vying to be top student. Trying to impress Hardmaster. But my cousin wanted more. He wanted to become Hardmaster. Misaburo saw himself as the perfect embodiment of the clan and demanded everyone call him Arashikage, the Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow, what are you doing? Relax, it's going to be mine someday. I'm just taking it for a little test drive. Put it away, you dishonor your uncle. A true Arashikage doesn't care about honor. We command respect through power. Fear, maybe but not respect. It's father! Hide! Snake eyes. Who put you up to this? No one, Sensei. I acted alone. You are either extremely loyal or extremely foolish. Remove your shirt. Not one word. My father couldn't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to protect someone who'd never do the same in return. In that moment, my father also realized he didn't want to raise his daughter to be a criminal. After that, my father tried to steer the Arashikage toward a moral path, which wasn't exactly a popular decision among the rest of the clan, especially Storm Shadow. And one night, my father paid the ultimate price for swimming against the tide. why he was taking me away. His throat had been punctured, and he never said another word. I believe he was trying to protect me from my father's enemies. You mean Storm Shadow? 
Snake Eyes would never confirm it, but I know my cousin was the assassin. Snake Eyes brought me here and started to train me. I began calling myself Jinx. Since I seemed to bring only bad luck to those around me. What? Sensei, forgive me. Hey, kid got a tattoo, so what? I didn't know where else to go. I had to know the truth, and you wouldn't tell me. I told them you were dead, so they'd stop searching for you. If you're telling the truth, cousin, then where is the blade of Arashikage? How should I know? It's been missing since the night you and Snake Eyes fled. To prove my allegiance, I had to take the mark of the Arashikage. Storm Shadow wanted the clan to see that he was supported by the heir to the Hard Master. But when they found your photo on that website, Storm Shadow knew I had lied. I escaped. Sensei? I don't understand. Why send me away? The Rashikage will never find us here. Yes, they will. Storm Shadow let you escape, so you could lead him right to this location. What's going on? Jinx is leaving. Take her down the mountain, now. How come? Who cares? Let's go already. These wide open spaces are giving me hives. You don't have to face Storm Shadow alone. Few lines been cut. He's here. Our weapons are inside. Will you tell me what all of this is about? Who is Storm Shadow? <laughs> Guys? for a reason, cousin. So you can silence me too? <laughs> Foolish child. I am here to avenge your father. I was there. Assassin. Prove it. The blade of Arashikage. Why? He stole it to shame me, to taint my leadership of the clan. Sensei? The darts only weakened them. This will finish the job. Come, now. No! That was not a request. Joe Renegade. 
I want to know why you brought us here, ninja. It's his dojo. <laughs> She's a student of Snake Eyes. I was with my cousin, Tomi Saburo. Father was grateful to the stranger who saved his princess. But Tomi Saburo was shamed for needing help from an outsider. My father took in the stranger. We shall call you Snake Eyes. The blade of Arashikage. It's what unites our clan. My father paid the ultimate price. My cousin was the assassin. Storm Shadow let you escape, so you could lead him right to this location. The darts only weakened them. This will finish the job. Build immunity. Farm boy's no ninja. He acted out before I took a full dose. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be here. Thanks again for introducing us to your pals. <laughs> Sorry, snakes. We growing big in Biloxi. Roadblock clear. Don't worry about me. didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. For your own safety. Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes is your past. Your future is here by my side. We will lead the Arashikage as the Hard Master envisioned. You have no idea what my father envisioned. In time, you will understand, Kim. You're my cousin, not my sensei. And don't call me Kim. It's Jinx. Now get out of my way! You wish to defy me? You will have to defeat me. No sense in both of us getting smoked. Move out. That's in order. Of course. You don't take orders. one of the stupidest moves I've ever seen. Never leave a Joe behind. <laughs> Scar. I think it's allergic shock. Her throat's swelling shut from the poison.
Hey, what are you doing? Battlefield. Tracheotomy. Poke a hole in the throat. Air gets in. Hang on, Doc. Uh, plantain leaves. The juice. Natural antitoxin. Okay, you can send me a thank you card later. Your behavior is foolish. Your concern misplaced. Snake Eyes deserved his fate. He killed your father. You lie! <laughs> I have no reason to lie, kid. Call me Jinx. You will not harm me. We are blood. Then don't make me spill yours. I'm going back for Snake Eyes. I cannot allow that. Now hand me the blade. Tastes like rancid spinach marinated and cow patties. Ready for seconds? Easy, easy, Red. Your vocal cords are still locked up. You'll be back to bossing us around before you know it. I know I can't wait. Hey, where'd our friendly neighborhood swordsman go? Smart money. Took off after Storm Shadow to retrieve the kid. With all that poison still rattling around inside him, of course he didn't take a comm link. Due to strictly off the grid, he handles his business. Well, he's gonna need backup. Since when are you in the ninja rescuing business? Since the ninja pulled our butts out of the fire, literally. Let's find our weapons. Move out. I was wrong to think I could change you, Kim. If you will not join me, then you shall meet your doom. Get off me! Return to Japan, train with me, and embrace your destiny. I'm not going anywhere with you, Tomi Saburo. Fire consumed him. Now I must bury his corpse. training paying off? Roadblock, as soon as we locate Snake Eyes, we're gonna need to roll. Little spitting chicken wire, and the coyote be howling in no time. Sorry, Scarlet, you're in no condition. You know, you're actually more persuasive when you're not speaking. Duke, over here! Picked up a trail. Bring that thing? Yeah, why not? It might come in handy. I was opening a can of corn. You don't mind that this guy Jean took your father's life? Tell him that isn't so. I knew you would never be a true Rashikage. <laughs> I will not leave you, Sensei.
these sets of footprints. This is where Snake Eyes caught up with Ninja Nancy and the creep in the white jammies. Sword. But I don't see tracks leading away. Eh. Yeah. Took the fight upstairs. Not gonna be so easy to track him. Get all sentimental on me. And you're welcome. When you are gone, Kim will call me Sensei. What have you learned from those Gaijin Joes? Ancient thunder. Grenade. Finally, you reveal your true character. The one you hid so well from my uncle. There is no place for honor among the Arashkage. Seize every opportunity. Seize every advantage. Honor is my advantage, Sensei. <laughs> so it is, Snake Eyes. You became the favored one only when you turned him against me. So whose side are you on, anyway? Sensei's, of course. It's just, I have to know. If Storm Shadow's telling the truth, could Sensei have taken my father's life? What do you know, Gaijin? You're the flavor of the month. What? Oh, I get it. Playing mute. Joining him. He will never love you! That's enough, ladies. Red was about to get a lesson in lethal. Yeah, well, your pal's poison darts nearly got there first. KO'd Scarlet's voice. Oh. Ali, Ali, oxen free. One grenade crater, but I ain't seeing any ninja parts. a lifetime ago, when I had the opportunity. is defeated. The death blow is a relic from our past. A new era of the Arashikage is upon us. The hard master was a fool to believe in your vision. For I always knew the truth. You plotted to betray him.
me the blade. I will finish it. Back off, cousin. The truth, Sensei. Did you murder my father? I witnessed you slit Hardmaster's throat. Do you deny that? You didn't take his life. But you did cut his throat? Kim, I am your family. I am all that you have left. Because of him. Never leave a Joe behind. Roadblock, we need an evac down at the falls. I have no idea what that is, but I'm on my way. Put these under your tongue. They'll help you with your fever. Snake killed the Hardmaster? I don't know. But I do know what it's like to be accused of a crime I didn't commit. There is something on your mind, Master. Yes. And it is the direction of our clan. The Arashikage must change. It is not my place. But it pleases me to hear you say this. You came here to learn, but it is I who have been taught. Snake Eyes, though not of my blood, I want you to lead the clan once I am gone. You honor me, Master. But I assumed that your nephew... No! His path is the old path, and will keep our clan in shadow. My daughter, Kim, will become a target of our enemies. I do not wish to worry for her safety. Rest assured, Master. I will lead the Arashikage down an honorable path. And I will protect Kim to my final breath. Yes. Then it is done. Sa. Dozo. Master? <coughs> <clears throat> Poison. Relax your throat, Sensei. A simple incision in your windpipe will allow you to breathe. Assassin. Snake Eyes. I'd appreciate it if you carry one of these. In case I need to get in touch. <laughs> See that? Ninjas joined the party line. Ow. I want you to see that it is gone. You must put this place memory behind you. It's not that easy. Some part of me will always be Snake Eye's apprentice. You were never his apprentice, Jinx. You were his hostage. My name is Kim Arashikage. The blade is back where it belongs. You will return to Japan, and watch over the clan in my absence. You're not joining me? Not until Snake Eyes is wiped from this earth. Now go!
Here's the problem. That's the primary power cable for the truck's electronics. I read the manual. Whatever you're doing, it won't work. Thanks for the pep talk. That is a proprietary carbon fiber mesh. And that is a chopped up extension cord. Have a little faith. I have faith that we need a new cable. So why didn't you call the Cobra Mobile Repair Unit? I mean, you folks are Cobra, right? Now, we weren't supposed to be taking the shortcut. Cobra won't sell its parts to an independent mechanic, but, uh, I might know a guy. Yeah, I got a replacement PPC. Hope you're feeling spendy. Uh, you do know this is a chop shop, right? Know it. Don't like it. He has the part, so lump it. Uh, let's say 500 for the cable? And another five for the install. <clears throat> I'll install it myself. Leave? Why? Don't move! This is a bust! You're under arrest! of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. We'll follow. Roadblock, start the truck. But what? Start the truck! They sold us a bad cable? In case you haven't noticed, they're criminals! <clears throat> Actually, these things don't install themselves. It's gonna take a while, y'all. Fine. New plan. Shouldn't be too hard to outmaneuver local law enforcement. May I help you? My, uh, client was arrested, and I'm here to post bail. Name? Um, Sabrina Pliskin, Esquire. The prisoner's name. Right. John, um... Trout. I'm gonna need some identification. I'm gonna need to see a warrant. You have no probable cause. Now bring me my client, or I'll have you up on charges of false imprisonment. Presentation of identification is standard procedure, and by the by, yeah, I know every criminal lawyer in this town. What firm you say you were with? I'll... come back in the morning. Fine by me. But Mr. Trout will be in county lockup by then. Try it now. Holographic mode activated. Holographic mode?
Special Agent Wolf. Need to see schematics of the county jail. And you're from which department? That's correct. We need to ascertain the risk of a breakout. May I see your ID again, please? So I can read it. I don't have all day. Security to the front desk. Where's Duke? Getting acquainted with the criminal justice system. Oh, what died and decayed and got eaten by something else? I did a little recon. In the sewers? Hey, don't mock the subterranean. I think I found a way to spring Duke. And I want to hear all about it. After you clean up. Eh, uh, right. Where am I going to find a shower around here? Anything important, Sergeant? They're all important, Lieutenant. That's why I sift through every single lead, so you don't have to. I'm here if you need me. And yet I still show up to work. Thanks. How'd you bag the, uh, souvenir? See that guard? Do yourself a favor and stay under his radar. Well... Look who's here. Nice to see you, too. You led the cops right to me, Stooley! <laughs> right. Just like I forced you to sell stolen car parts. Hurt him! <laughs> Couldn't stay out of the pen, huh, Sully? <laughs> you can't touch me out here, Granger. You're right. That's why we're going in there. Where are we going? Where are you taking them, Granger? Mind your own business, Levine. And keep that mud on a short leash. I know. I don't trust him either. Mr. Granger, sir, I'll be good, okay? Welcome to the arena of sport. You boys can settle your differences in here. Why we want to settle it? Our... Here's how it works. We fight. While they... And a bunch of mouth breathers... Watching us on the web place wagers. Sully! We don't have to fight! Yeah, we do. We can go to the warden. No need. He's here. Don't be stupid! Fight back! Let's get one thing straight. Sergeant Hauser. You heard right, I know who you are. My audience doesn't bet on one-sided bouts. So unless you want to be turned over to the MPs, or maybe shot while trying to escape, you'll give me a better show next time. Hallelujah! All systems go! 
I get a few systems to stop. As I was saying, these two tunnels meet up in a T intersection. It's a standard gravity system. That's key. I figure there's about four feet of dirt and two feet of concrete between there and daylight. Couple of well placed explosives, and boom! Duke's a free man. We have to assume the guards know who Duke is by now. We need to move quickly, and we need to be able to communicate with him. This transmitter fits deep inside the ear canal, it's virtually undetectable. So how do we get one to Duke? It's not for Duke. Entry's pretty standard. Just a few guards. The visitor center's on my right. Who are you talking to, maggot? Just the voices in my head. Warden, you landed another one. Care to explain this? It would appear that Corporal Hinton and Sergeant Hauser got themselves arrested. And you knew nothing about this? Are you accusing me of knowing more than you, sir? Uh, sir. I just got off the phone with the prison. The warden claims he has no record of a Sergeant Hauser or a Corporal Hinton ever arriving. Fatten me up for the slaughter. Even a convict deserves better. Then why don't you stop them? I haven't been here much longer than you, and there's a lot of them. And only one of me. And those are lousy odds. Story of my life. But if ordinary Joes like us don't fight the good fight, who will? Now what do you think you're doing, Levine? Gladiator's gotta bring home the bacon before he gets to eat it. Think about that the next time you feel like playing Gandhi in my cage. Now fight. Yes, sir. Don't talk. Listen. Look for snake eyes after lights out. We'll rendezvous with T-Rat and leave through sewer pipe. Scarlet and the Coyote will be waiting. Any questions? Get here! I can't leave yet. What? Roadblock! Will you beat some sense into him? The lady wants me to beat some sense into you. The warden's forcing prisoners to fight each other and streaming video to a gambling site. <sighs> Snake Eyes, Tunnel Rat, hold your positions. Our Boy Scout's on another mission. And we're supposed to help? It's easier than arguing. Snake Eyes, new plan. We need to access the Warden's office. Roadblock, you and Duke have to stall while I work a distraction. Please, not the lawyer act. Let's say we skip the theatrics. We're all aware you boys know each other. Let's see you fight like your lives depended on it. Because they do. All right, we have to make this look good. Don't hold back. Okay, hold back a little. Where is Charlie? I want to see my baby's daddy now. Security, unscheduled visitor. You touch me, I am with child. <laughs> what are you two? Dance team? One of you better spill some blood. Or neither of you is ever stepping out of this cage. It's all here. Secure streaming website, gambling stats, cash flow. We just need a password. What the? Burnett, is this 
some kind of joke? This is real, Lieutenant, and it's live. Get that warden on the line now! <laughs> Are you serious, Lieutenant? Of course I deny it. Very well, I look forward to meeting you too. Seems the Lieutenant Fairborn is on his way to pick up his fugitives. We need to bury the evidence. I've been inside. Funny. I blew the whistle on the whole gambling ring. Can we go now? Tunnel rat, what's your status? Cold, cranky, and coming at you. Sorry, sir. We're under lockdown. You'll have to turn around. You tell your warden to surrender my fugitives and himself right now, or the U.S. military will come in and come down hard. You where are you? Outside the building with the bars on the windows. How should I know? Head for the south wall. Sir, MPs are here, in force. They know about the cage fights. Open fire on them! Incoming! Secure the perimeter. The rest of you lay down cover and move in. I'm guessing Flint got my message. You invited him here? Somebody insisted on taking down a little fight club? Yo, T-Rat, in here! Stand back, big guy. So, who's ready to go bye-bye? Sorry, Granger. But a few of us still believe in law and order. Yeah, well, good luck with that, Levine. Hold it right there, Duke. Never thought I'd bust you inside a prison. Prisoners loose! Cell block C! Those guards could use a hand. Not yours. They need our help, Flint, or a lot of people are gonna get hurt. Hold position! Stun guns only! Bargaining ship. Freeze! Thanks. I'm thinking about getting a dog. I don't care if there is a riot. If I don't see my baby's daddy right now, I'm gonna get ugly on you. Get your hands off. Get off, you filthy pigs. Guards. Escort that foul-mouthed woman from the premises before I arrest her personally. Get 
your pants off. Come on, Coyote. I'll try to divert the power. Want to try diverting it back to not sticking out like a sore thumb mode? Have a little faith. Anything you want to say, Grunt? Yes, ma'am. What are you going to name the baby? Okay, which one of you jokers ordered the 300 pounds of beef stroganoff? Breaker's intel placed Mindbender in this building. We grab him, we can force him to tell the truth about the Springfield lab. What do you mean he's not here? We ain't leaving till we get a signature. Roadblock, tunnel rat, aboard. Wait. Trip doesn't have to be a total loss. Is tough, reliable, and good looking. Jeez, why don't you marry it? Fall back! To where? Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Please, I've been nothing but loyal to you. I demand not just a loyalty, Dr. Sharma, but devotion. Take Dr. Bender. He not only does his job, he is thoughtful enough to bring gifts. Perhaps you can explain why you logged into this website 17 times in the past month. I read Breaker's blog. Everyone in the company does, but that doesn't mean... Suspect you are lying. I do apologize. Mr. Ducobre is wrapping up another appointment. Tell your boss that James McCullen is not a man to be kept waiting. I wasn't aware this meeting was open to student interns. James McCullen, Dr. Brian Bender. I know the name. And the reputation. Play nice, James. Dr. Bender is one of Cobra's most valuable resources. And you, at the moment, are not. Now, Baroness, don't be so hard on Mr. McCullen. True, his exo-armor hasn't met expectations. But I have an idea that will give the technology new life. I'd like Mr. McCullum to combine his exo-armor with an exciting project Dr. Bender is working on. 
Time out. Genius biophysicist here, not pop gun fabricator. And why would I want to sully my construction with his voodoo? Because Cobra invested $14 billion in your failure, and you have yet to produce a working prototype. Now, if you prefer, I could simply recoup my losses by taking a controlling interest in your company. Never! Mars Industries will always belong to the McCullen family. The McCullens have a name for those who embarrass our clan. Destro. From the Latin destraho, meaning to tear apart, alienate, estrange. In other words, royally blow it. I will not become a Destro. Breaker, I need to get in touch with your whistleblower directly. We need to hit Cobra again, now. Yeah, maybe we can knock another antenna off a roof for no apparent reason. Well, you did manage to slow their internal communications network for several hours. There you go. Sticking it to Cobra is reason enough for me. Sticking it to Cobra isn't the mission. Clearing our names is. And you would have, if you'd arrived just 15 minutes earlier when Mindbender was still waiting to get his parking ticket stamped. Wherever Cobra strikes, the Joes are there. These daring underground heroes are sworn to protect you from Shut pure that noise off. Evil. Oh, dial down. In this country, we ease into our work day. What is that? It's called the internet, Gramps. Those soldiers. They're the ones who destroyed my Chicago facility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They trashed my lab in Springfield. No biggie. Wake up, Junior. Daddy's got a new toy for you. Fail to see how your homunculus will improve upon my exo armor. Seems like you fail, period, Scotty Dog. That's why you're working under moi. Because my babies are a lot tougher than your decrepit test pilots. Trust me, I've seen the footage. Why is the combat rage effect still present? I thought your bio vipers were brainless. You're brainless. My creations come complete with a synthetic neuroprocessing compound. My exo armor is designed to stimulate a fight or flight instinct within the brain. That would have been helpful to know before we ran the test. Why does it not surprise me that you have a ready list of places to bury your mistakes? Not burying, storing. This may look like a garbage barge, but it's actually a Cobra weapons transport, which means there's 10,000 pounds of your boom boom hidden under this trash. So Squinty McScarface better not do anything to set it off. Where's the Midnight Rider leading us this time? He's not leading. While you were snoring, I've been working. Cobra weapons ship? Breaker's whistleblower send you this? Found him lurking on the blog's encrypted chat board. Did you double check this info with Breaker? If the tip's bogus, all it costs us is a tank of gas. And a good night's sleep. You call your feet in my face a good night's sleep? Let me ask another question. This leads us to Mindbender How? Who cares? If we can serve up a little Cobra payback, I say hand me a spoon. That's the all-clear. Let's move. So this barge is fully automated and completely unguarded? Running weapons and taking people's jobs? That is too evil. More like too easy. I could use a little more easy in my life. Looks like you get your wish, Tunnel Rat. Along with all the proof of Cobra's smuggling operation.
Hit those pop guns down there, we all pop. Show of hands, who's the jumping ship? Better idea, aim for the weapons. You wanna blow us up? If we can't have the evidence, neither will Cobra. And you thought this barge had nothing to do with Mindbender. Authorities are at a loss to explain the cause of last night's garbage barge explosion on the Schuylkill River. It appears our whistleblower has resurrected himself. Or did you finger the wrong man? No, Commander. I am currently investigating several possible sources of the leak. Mindbender. Would you care to explain why this bio-viper material was discovered among the debris of a destroyed Cobra weapons barge? No idea. James? Goo is not my area of expertise. Yeah, speaking of expertise, how about you actually fix your exo-armor's rage problem? All right, you can't! Enough. You have solutions? Speak. How would you improve the exo-armor? I wouldn't. I'd improve the pilot. Stick a biofeedback dampener in its cortex, curb the natural aggression, centralize higher motor function, and make the Viper easier to control. See that bagpipe? You keep your mouth shut, I make things happen. This biofeedback dampener, it would work with humans as well. Humans, bio-vipers, heck, even a simian like you. Perhaps this collaboration will bear fruit after all, James. In more ways than one, Baroness. Ew. What are you doing here? Why'd you sneak off? Breaker's whistleblower insisted on meeting in person this time. And you thought that was a good idea because? Because this time he has something on mission. Put it away. I'm unarmed. I understood you would be alone. Security detail. You don't mind. Everything you need on Dr. Mindbender is in there. So who are you? A friend. Access codes, maps, a how-to guide for taking down bio-vipers? It's like Christmas morning. And no one else thinks this present is a little too neatly wrapped. It's a risk I'm willing to take. It's more than a risk. It's reckless. I've seen this with troops in combat. They do some damage to the enemy, and suddenly they think they're invincible. I'm tired of running and hiding. I say we keep fighting and winning. How is chopping down a communications tower and detonating a garbage barge winning? Has anyone even bothered to ask what Mindbender is doing in a Mars facility? Fair question. You can ask Mindbender yourself when we capture him. You're not even gonna wait for Snake Eyes? He's not pinging back on his comm link. And as we've learned, Mindbender's not one to linger. Could be our one chance, Duke. We gotta take it. Yeah, we nail Mindbender, we can kiss this life on the lamb goodbye. Doesn't that qualify as on mission? Suicide mission. Check your gear. We're radio silent from here on. Ten minutes, and I'm coming in after you. Snake Eyes, where have you been? Why do I bother asking? Duke, where's Scarlet? Hitting the target your whistleblower fed her last night. Impossible. My contact dropped off the grid three days ago. And who did Scarlet and I meet?
here for Mindbender. <laughs> their aims improved too. Didn't you grunts read the intel? New chips in their heads give them artificial intelligence. And apparently make them a lot more vulnerable to head wounds. And what exactly is this urgent matter Mr. McCullen spoke of? I'm afraid he wouldn't tell me. I'd much rather show both of you. As you can see, Mindbender's Biovipers contain a fatal design flaw. An Achilles heel. Or head. But at Mars Industries, we believe that every problem has a solution. My highly trained Iron Grenadiers and my fully functional Exo Armor are more than capable of vanquishing any threat, even your bothersome Joes. You now have your working prototype, and as a bonus, a more than ample return on your investment, which fulfills all my obligations to Cobra Industries. However, if for some reason I cannot begin to fathom, you want Dr. Bender kept alive then you will place a substantial pre-order and pay a 50% deposit on, oh, let's say, 10,000 Exo Armor suits. A most interesting presentation, Mr. McCullen. Would you care to see my counter-proposal? Showtime! <laughs> Bring on the Mecha Vipers! Okay, this wasn't part of the intel. Mindbender planned this attack. Dr. Mindbender is part of the Cobra family. He tells me everything, especially the details of your extracurricular activities. Really ought to beef up your cybersecurity mask, man. I mean, I could have hacked your system in my sleep. Hey, I gotta give you props for the barge, though. You hooked those Joes and reeled them in. Gained their trust. You're good, Scotty dog. But I know someone better. You thought you were pulling the strings, Mr. McCullen. Have you any idea with whom you are dealing? The Cobra? You will address me as Commander! about the head wounds. Your ten minutes is up. We can't leave without Mindbender. I'll draw their fire. Go! Fine. 
I'll say it. I was wrong. I was so intent on hurting Cobra, I let Mindbender dupe me. But you were right about one thing. Cobra is way too powerful. We have to keep battling and winning. Fortunately, our enemy revealed an Achilles heel today. How exactly do killer tin cans and superpowered mucus add up to an Achilles heel? Dudes were shooting at each other. Which means Mars Industries and Cobra are playing nice. Your company, your life, everything that was yours belongs to me now. Do you understand? <laughs> Release him, Sebentor. You are my property, McCullen. And to ensure you never forget that, you will wear this. The symbol of your betrayal will now be the mark of your servitude. You told me that if you lost Mars, you would become a... Destroy! This bird we're headed to better have ice-cold beverages. Funny you should say that. My contact in Green Ridge tells me it was a resort town until desiccated by Cobra. Dried up river. Check. Bet you this was one sweet fishing hole. And then Cobra started construction on their choker up there. Since Cobra has assumed control here, Sergeant, we should probably fly their colors to blend. I hate pretending we're Cobra, man. Yeah, I don't like it either, but the Lieutenant has a point. Kind of people, yeah. Stick it to the snake. Hey, they work for Cobra. Uh, newsflash: far as they're concerned, we are the snake. You got it all wrong. We're not Cobra. We're just riding in the. of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. It ain't the dragon lady. If Baroness is here doing her PR act, could be things are not all kosher in Cobra Town. Doubt the locals would mind if we did a little extract and interrogate. Stand down, quick draw. Too many civilians. Ooh, I am starting to lag again. Quiet! Quiet! All right, if you folks are wondering why Cobra's high and mighty has blessed us with her presence, it's because we just won this court order, stopping all work on the dam! Mayor, we had an agreement, in exchange for allowing Cobra to construct the dam 
your town would share profits from the electricity it will generate. If the dam is not completed, there will be no electricity and you will all get nothing. Green Ridge didn't have much before our agreement, but we did have our prize trout and the river they swam in. That's right. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. What good will come from stopping construction now? Let Cobra finish its work. Your patience will be rewarded. New prosperity, new jobs, and the river will be back bigger and better than ever, just as Cobra promised. Cobra promises aren't worth squat! I warn you, Mayor, defy Cobra, and all we have generously provided your town, water, power, and emergency services will be terminated. We'll manage, lady. The courts have spoken. Cobra must open the floodgates and give us back our river. So, go get it done! Yeah! yeah! Cobra out without a doubt! Cobra out without a doubt! Cobra out without a doubt! Cobra out! Your loyalty has been noted, Mr. Kelly. Shut down the fire station and relocate immediately. I get the feeling this ain't over. My contact recommends we recon the dam while we're here. Your contact, I presume? Were you planning to brief me on your side mission? I'm briefing you now. I'll be in touch. Ah, what can you do? Chicks dig the strong, totally silent type. In my country, I would simply eradicate those who dared oppose me. Restraint is exhausting, Firefly. Oh, but chaos exhilarates, and I will unleash the spirit of chaos. Prince, is there a city hall you can't breach? Hey! I owe you one. What is so important? Looks like all the power lines from the dam's hydroelectric plant are being routed down there. To a building that isn't even on the blueprints. Oh no, no! Unacceptable with a capital UN! You have everything you need. <laughs> everything except the zap! I need juice! Jewels! Gigawatts? So what if I got no power? Huh? Oh, maybe it's because the ginormous energy source standing 10 yards from here is still under construction. Can't you put the screws to the town already? Let's get bacon! No more complaints, Doctor. I'm putting something in the oven at the mayor's house right now. Dude, why do you care what anyone in Thirstyville thinks? Because we're not Cobra and we're not criminals. And I'm tired of folks thinking they know us. You can't control what people think, Roadblock. We just keep doing the right thing and hope eventually they see the truth. I freed you, yet you want to hurt me again, don't you? Not today. Today, you hurt his honor. Hands in the air! Bone dry. The harpy wasn't kidding about shutting off the water. And you're surprised why? Destroy, 
become the inferno you were destined to be. Uh, where's the fire department? You're looking at it. Yo, the real torch is sticking around, admiring his handiwork. Not for long. Pin on the handle. You will be avenged. Kelly, what are you still doing here? <laughs> My job. Or did Cobra pay you to smoke me out? I just saved your home, Mr. Mayor. From there, friend. Judging from the accelerant used in this incendiary, I'd say these gentlemen are professional arsonists. Not likely. These men are heroes. That sounds about right. You're the terrorists who blew up our cobra plant in Missouri. Okay, time to go. Mayor, these men are dangerous. Yeah, to cobra goons like you. Bio-Viper factory. That explains the need for extra kilowatts. No word from Firefly. Activate the surveillance cameras. I want to check in on our little cookout. Ain't much cooking at all. Find him. Found! But he's not alone. What? No aneurysm! You do realize that's one of those Joes. I'm cutting off all communication to and from Greenridge, and escalating the mission. Torch it all. The entire town. Genius! Once the town is extra crispy, the grunts can be blamed for the burn! You're mean. It won't suit us to be here for the unfortunate tragedy. All Cobra personnel are to evacuate immediately. Nobody's answering. Where there's plasma fire, there's Duke. Hang on. Poster boy, check out the real arsonist. I always keep my friend close in case of emergency. Forget the firebug. We need to handle this blaze. How are we supposed to do that? Do exactly as I say. or your girlfriend flies away. Even trade, right? I don't negotiate with Cobra's enemies. I bury them. I 
mean you don't negotiate? The ninja almost pancaked me! Could you let this happen? You let Cobra incinerate our town! Cobra had nothing to do with this. We can all point fingers later. What has to happen now, Mr. Mayor, is that everyone evacuates immediately. We have to get our... your people across the bridge. It's the only way out of town. I live here, I know. Ah, it's a water dropper. We'll be okay. So burnt toast. Cobra actually plans to let us burn. It's not Cobra, it's some maniac who happens to be flying Cobra's helicopter. You drive a Cobra truck, right? We need a mess of dirt, water, something to smother that beast. Cobra was ordered to open the floodgates to refill the river. That'd create one Mondo firebreak has to be done precisely, or it could flood the entire town. How fast can you build a levee? I'll get back to you with an estimate after I finish that superhighway with the optional carpool lane. Get it done. Scarlet, if you're still at the dam, I need you to access the dam's floodgate controls. Scarlet! Nothing but static. Don't need your friend. I can operate the spillway valves. What's a fireman know about dams? All Cobra emergency personnel are trained in basic operations. We really have been trying to protect this town. You heard my message. Garbled, but I got the gist. Everybody else on Cobra's payroll left. What's he still doing here? Dude's gonna douse the barbecue. It's Firefly. We'll have a chat. This valve isn't connected to anything. There are no operational floodgates on these blueprints. After the water goes through the hydroelectric plant, it's diverted to the BioViper facility below the dam. BioVipers? Here? Guess you two didn't get the memo about the illegal lab full of flammable materials. So Cobra brought in firefighters to protect their investment. But you're saying they never planned to restore the river? Or share the electricity. They dried out Greenridge so they could steal all the water and the power. And I was a part of it. You're gonna feel a whole lot worse if we don't get a drink on that blaze. And soon. There's only one way to move water down this canyon now. Blow up the dam. in the air, Firefly. You come at me, but I am legion. Rally my fires of perdition. <laughs> that was too easy. Where'd he go? Yo, new plan. Not sure if it's B or C. I, I, I hear you. Where's our water? Scarlet, Scarlet, repeat. Sounded like you said you're blowing up the dam. We're gonna need a bigger levy. How'd you know about the noisemakers? The fire department was briefed on all potential fire hazards. Just not the heavily armed synthetic soldiers Cobra was planning to birth. You're serious? That's what everybody tells me. You don't have to do this barbecue. We're America's most wanted. You have to make tough choices to save lives, right? That one went down for you in Springfield? Contrary to popular belief, we don't like blowing stuff up. It just works out that way. Another 50 yards, then take her down. So you gonna tell me how you got that? A few years ago, 
Some madman with a book of matches took everything from me. I swore I'd work never to let that happen to anyone else. But you can't stop her, can you? Because she always returns. The flame is nature's purifier. Salvation through immolation. Somebody ain't buckled up. Something's wrong. Probably on the same side, fireman. No, we're not. Till Baroness, I quit. <laughs> Still got that remote? Tough choices to save lives, huh? Hope I see you in the next one. You don't honestly believe the Trout have come back already. Shh, you're scaring them away with your negative talk. We gotta hit the road, Kelly, but you're welcome to join us. Thanks, but I think I'm gonna stick around, help rebuild. Nice one, fish fry. It's barbecue to you. Ain't that a sign? We never got snow in Biloxi. I'm feeling the carol coming on. Change it. Now. Yo, Scrooge, tis the season. Duke just misses home. We all do this time of year. Not me, I, I, I go home, I work. On Christmas? What's up with that? My folks own a kosher Chinese restaurant in Brooklyn. You do the math. Well, how about you, Snake Eyes? Do ninjas celebrate the holidays at the dojo? Yeah, they take the star off the tree and they throw it at each other. Nothing. Here's something from Breaker that should fill you all with holiday cheer. Adam DeCobre will give his annual company-wide address at the Cobra Christmas party in DC. Somehow, I don't think we're invited. I've been trying to dig up dirt on DeCobre for years. There are no records, he never appears in public, only on video. It's like he doesn't exist. Maybe the dude's shy. More like he has something to hide. But if we can crash his broadcast booth, we can bring the fight straight to the man. And then what? Stick a lump of coal in his stocking? It's Breaker again. Looks like his site received a message from Cobra, addressed to the Joes. I'm guessing that's not a holiday car. It's my parents' house in Missouri. So what's it to Cobra? A target. Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. 
And this is their story. Where did this photo come from? And who's it being sent to? Easy, Duke. Chances are this is another empty Cobra scare tactic. And you're willing to risk the safety of my family, of all our families, on that particular hunch? Shouldn't we at least call our peeps and warn them? Absolutely not. Safe bet Flint has all the phone lines tapped. Easy for you to say Cobra isn't watching your family. Yes, they are. Cobra's been trying to intimidate me for years. That's why we need to get something onto Cobra. What's in the sack, Santa? Our ticket into the Cobra party. No way. Try to keep an open mind. <gasps> Looks like Snake Eyes already closed his. Wait, if you didn't pull the disappearing act, who did? Duke, Duke where do you where think, do you think, you're, think going? you're going? Guess he's not feeling chatty. <sighs> You're making a huge mistake. I tell you every year, test the lights before you hang them. Guess I'm just a menace to society. No way, Duke. You're a state champion. Go Eagles! Not yet, Vinny. I still gotta win one more game. Dad? Matt? Why are you home so early? What's wrong? Oh, big layoff at the plant, Connie. Just got my two weeks' notice. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I'll get a job after school. Uh, you just play your best this weekend, son, and impress the heck out of those college scouts. Right now, this whole town could use something to lift its spirits. for the heightened security. But here at Cobra, safety comes first. <laughs> We're here for the toy drive. Can I see some ID? Santa does not carry ID. You don't look like you're from the North Pole. That's some kind of slur? I'm gonna report you to Adam de Cobra himself. No ID, no entry. No need for the attitude. Santa's got something special for you in his sack. <laughs> You're definitely going on Santa's naughty list. If you will all please direct your attention to the screen. As your CEO, I want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Joyous Kwanzaa, and peace on Earth. You should all be very proud of the work you've done this year, not only for Cobra, but for all mankind. Dude is a no-show. He must be broadcasting from a remote location. I get all dressed up for nothing. Where is this feat coming from? As we continue to dominate the international marketplace, you can expect an even more significant global presence from Cobra in the coming year. I guarantee it. Stop the broadcast now. Who was that? Go back. Can't rewind. We'll have to download the whole broadcast. What is the problem with the feat? Some kind of satellite interference, sunspots. Who is this? Hey, open up in there! Just a few more seconds. Burn! Get down! Don't move! The 
download. We'll take it to go. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Seal the perimeter. I knew Jacobre was hiding something. Who'd have thought it'd be a whole nother face? Pretty freakish one at that. Which means someone else is pulling the strings at Cobra. If we can pull that image off this hard drive, we can ID the real wizard. And how exactly will that help clear our names? I suggest we let General Abernathy chew on that. He usually spends the holidays with his family in Breckenridge. What are you, his stalker? Next up, Colorado. What about Duke? Apparently, he has other priorities. What do you think you're doing? Duke? Vince? Ah! Whoa! Take it easy, little bro. What are you gonna do? Blow me up? Like that building in Springfield? I know. I know what they're saying on TV, but it... It's a lot more complicated than that. Yeah? Why don't you tell that to everyone else in this stupid town? <laughs> yeah. You're a real hot topic of conversation, Duke. Mom's in denial, Dad won't leave the house, and your buddy Flint won't stop messing with any of us. I'm sorry, Vince. I, I never meant to put you through any of that. So what? Am I supposed to hug you now? Vince, you could be angry, but I need you to listen. There are people out there. Your lives are in danger. Mom, Dad, all of you. Ugh, just stay away from us, Duke. I see you around, Mom and Dad. I swear I'll turn you in myself. to try to take this Missouri State Championship away from the Falcons. Blue 26. Blue 26. Hey, Duke. I hear your mama's looking for work. Red 7. Red 7. Can she clean? Hut. 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 You can expect an even more significant global presence from Cobra. Attention, Joes. If you can hear this message, then you have made a terrible mistake. Don't remember this part of the holiday, Rara. This is live. Decobre's broadcasting through the hard drive. You are correct, Lieutenant O'Hara. Broadcasting and receiving? Before you attempt to disable this device, you might want to consider the fate of your squad leader's loved ones. Cobra overnight delivery for Hauser. I uh, just need a signature. Oh, not another fruitcake from Aunt Sally. Bring the hard drive to this location immediately. You will receive further instructions upon arrival. Just another Cobra scare tactic, right?
just happened? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Duke. There's so much I need to say. It can wait, son. Cobra is manufacturing synthetic soldiers? That's just the tip of the iceberg. I told you to look at that Breaker Boys website, Max. I know it sounds crazy, but trust me. These sociopaths will stop at nothing. We need to get you, Mom, and Vince someplace safe. What about you? I'll be fine, Mom. Oh, you can't keep running, Duke. You have to go to the authorities. Believe me, Dad, we've tried. Team Venom, do you have the hostages? Over. Uh, this is Team Venom. Affirmative. Good. Keep them alive for now. Proceed to coordinates 38.841-90.066. Copy that. Once the Joes are in our sights, we will terminate everyone. Change of plans. Take the bike. I have to help my friends. I'm not leaving you, Duke. Mom, I will not drag you into this. No one's dragging, son. Check the roof, he says. Uh, everyone realizes this is a trap, right? That's why I had Snake Eyes scout the terrain. No sign of Cobra or Duke's parents? Guess we've been stood up. You follow instructions well, Lieutenant O'Hara. Now step outside the vehicle and place the hard drive by the left front tire. Turn over Duke's parents first. My associate, Breaker, is standing by with a copy of your holiday message. If he doesn't hear from me in the next five minutes, the true face of Cobra goes public. Here is my counter offer, Lieutenant. You don't waste my time bluffing, and I won't waste yours pretending to negotiate. You want the true face of Cobra? It will be the very last thing you see. Find another exit. Where'd you get the missile launcher? Santa. You folks, you're about to meet him. Thanks for asking. Mom, Dad, meet my new family. Yo. Sup, sup. I've heard a lot about you. Don't worry. He's a friendly. How can you tell? 
It looks like we'll have to swap our embarrassing Duke stories later. What now? Make a run for it? No. Cobra won't stop coming after everyone we care about until they've wiped us off this planet. So let's give them what they want. I have a visual on the target. of a button, I have just accomplished what you and your endless minions could not. That is why I am commander. I told Vince to meet us back at the house. That we need to get you someplace safe. Can't have a couple of corpses walking around town. Not quite the home for the holidays I pictured, son. Me neither, Dad. LB-1095, please pull up to the next window. Well, well, well. From Eagle quarterback to minimum wage slave. I know you. Falcon linebacker with a big mouth. Hello? State champion Falcon linebacker. Next stop, West Point. Gonna play ball for the Army. Congratulations, uh... My friends call me Flint. You can call me Sir and fetch me an order of chili fries. And you can stick it, because my shift's over, Flint. Hey! Where you headed? Bet you can't wait to ditch this dying Berg. Not an option. Scholarship money dried up after you fried my knee. Doctors say I'll be fine. Try telling that to the Big Ten coaches. You really see yourself as a townie for the rest of your life? We really appreciate the provisions, Mr. Hauser. Well, it's the least we can do. No, this is the least we can do. Mom. When's the last time you and your friends had a home-cooked meal? Cobra already thinks we bought the farm, man. Ain't we entitled to a retroactive last meal? I told you to stay away, Duke. Stand down. He's my brother. So, you brought the whole band of outlaws with you this time. That's enough, Vincent. Can we please be a family again? Just for one night? Mom, Dad, I'm really sorry. It's okay, bro. No, it's not. Just promise me one thing, Flint. That you'll look after my family. All our families. Consider it a Christmas present. Previously on G.I. Joe Renegade. I've been trying to dig up dirt under Cobra for years. It's like he doesn't exist. An even more significant global presence. I knew DeCobre was hiding something. You would have thought it'd be a whole nother face. You might want to consider the fate of your squad leader's loved ones. Cobra won't stop coming after everyone we care about until they've wiped us off this planet. I have just accomplished what you and your endless minions could not. Just stay away from us, Duke. I swear I'll turn you in myself. Just promise me one thing, Flint, that you'll look after my family, all our families. The Springfield Four. Their target was Cobra Pharmaceuticals. Their crimes, armed robbery, sabotage, and murder. Their identities, Sergeant Conrad Hauser, Lieutenant Shauna O'Hara, Corporal Marvin Hinton, and Private First Class Nikki Lee. Their current whereabouts, in custody. We go live to a Cobra News exclusive. Free the Springfield Four! Free the Springfield Four! Free the Springfield Four! The 
captives are to be transported to Washington, D.C. for arraignment. With these dangerous felons off our streets, we can all breathe a sigh of relief. I tried to clean up your mess from here, Baroness, but the drones are a paltry substitute for an effective field operative. My apologies, Commander, but those... Will your excuses recover my hard drive? Will they keep army intel from decrypting it and learning that Adam de Cobray doesn't exist? Sir, you have my word. I will personally remedy this. That hard drive will not make it to DC. And neither will the Joes. Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. So, Duke. Don't go there, man. Your kid brother? Seriously? Vince was just trying to protect his family. It's an objective we can all appreciate. Our families were safe as long as Decobre thought we were dead. But Fairborn just had to invite the press. I say we just lay it all on the table for Flint. Admit who the hard drive belongs to. Roadblock, didn't you learn anything after what happened with Hidalgo? We trust no one. Flint might be a blowhard, but he's clean. And Lady J has proven herself. Too risky. We say nothing until Abernathy has the proof in his hands. Then we'll reveal the true face of Cobra. Five minutes to intercept, Baroness. Nice gloves. A gift from Mr. McCullen. Destro. I'm thinking of tunneling out. We're on a train, man. No, from prison. Look at the bright side. We'll chill out, catch up on some reading. Oh, goody. You'll have time to learn to appreciate my music. Oh, you're right. I am looking forward to prison. Solitary confinement. Grab a snack in the dining car. We'll get to that, Lieutenant O'Hara. First, we're gonna have us a little chat. We have nothing to say. Duke. We've known each other a long time. And I believe the only reason you do something as stupid as blowing up that Cobra plant is if someone paid you a lot of Benjamins to do it. Paid us? We look like we've been living the high life? You needed the money for your family. Is that it? Excuse me, Lieutenant. But if I understand Army regulations, and I do, you are not authorized to interrogate us. Duke, you have a history of making one bad decision after another. It's time to reverse the trend, don't you think? What's really going on here? Duke, we're friends. I'm trying to help you. You can't seriously call yourself his friend. I have always been his friend. When he blew his knee out and lost his scholarship, I pointed him towards the future in the military. When he was a faceless private, I tried to get him recognized for his actions. All clear. Oh, no. No! Corporal Hauser! Private Scoop, listen to me. That's a pressure trigger. You're safe as long as you don't move your foot, understand? <sighs> yes, sir. Everyone behind the wall. Get the bomb squad down here, stat! That'll take forever. I got I gotta get off this thing now! Private, do not move. I, I can't breathe! I, I, I think I'm I, I think I'm gonna I pass out! Uh, Dude!
I vouch for you, Duke. Flint, the last thing I wanted to do was embarrass you. But I couldn't accept that medal. Skoog stepped on a mine that I failed to clear. You still saved his life. When someone goes to the mat for you... I didn't deserve accolades. I had your back! That's close enough. Realize by now, no one stands in my way. Fine. your friends were captured, you would not be far behind. Such misplaced loyalty will be your undoing. True ninja? That's at least one too many. Snake Eyes is mine! Suit yourself, stranger. this happen, Duke? I mean, which one of you convinced the others to disgrace your uniforms? How about Private Nikki Lee, a.k.a. Tunnel Rat? That's what your devotees on the internet call you, right? I got devotees? Suits you, with all those convictions for trespassing in New York City storm drains. Never went to the pen. Hmm. Judge allowed you to join the army to avoid serving time. How'd that work out for you? Corporal Marvin Hinton. AKA Roadblock. Hmm. Near spotless record except for some trouble back home. You don't know me, man. Regardless, you two aren't exactly mastermind material. And then there's Lieutenant O'Hara, AKA Scarlet. Hmm. I see you certainly have some issues with Cobra. That's right, Sherlock. It was all my idea. Arrest me. Oh, wait. You already have. <laughs> the thing is, I just can't see Duke taking orders from you. You got that right. I know what's going on here. Whoever you're working for, they don't want you talking. I get it. They might even try using your loved ones as leverage. But you needn't worry. I put all your families under 24-7 surveillance. Speaking for all of us, Flint. Thank you. You act surprised. I really am trying to help you, Duke. And now it's your turn. Just tell me the truth. Will you listen? To Cobra conspiracy tales? I've seen enough of that garbage on your Pal Breaker's blog. I mean, synthetic soldiers? Mind control? Oh, and running weapons through a retail chain? Yeah, that's my favorite. I believe them. Really? You don't have to do this, Lady J. Sergeant Hauser would not do what he's been accused of without provocation. Hmm, <laughs> Lady J. You say this despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary? Why? Because I've witnessed the kind of man Duke is firsthand. Stalker One, this is Airwatch J on approach. About time. We're blind down here in this terrain. We have four gunrunners somewhere north of our position. I need recon. I've spotted your hostiles three clicks northeast of your position. Copy that, Jay. How's it that's near you? Take lead. Yes, sir. Confirmed. 
but the weapons are about to be trucked out of here. Disable that vehicle, now! Stalker 1, Airwatch J is down, moving to assist. Negative, Hauser. Rescue is five minutes out. You stop that truck. No can do, sir. J's situation is critical. Hauser out. You can do as ordered, Hauser. Hauser! <laughs> You must be Corporal Hauser. My friends call me Duke. Come on, Lady J. Let's move. Lady J ain't going anywhere without her pilot, Duke. Ooh. That wasn't heroism, Sergeant. That was dereliction of duty. Duke may have saved your life, but the gunrunners got away, right? We have an armed assailant in car four. Rules of engagement in force, sir. Are there other hostiles? Pity. There goes the element of surprise. Do you copy? Over. All units report. I repeat, we are under attack, requesting immediate support. <clears throat> Unlock us, Flint. We can help you. You think I'm falling for that after your little stunt in Idaho? I'm sure that's your kung fu accomplice out there. It's Cobra coming to retrieve their property. Save it, O'Hara. All right, Lady J. It's you and me. It would appear your fate has finally caught up to you. Yo, Flint! Unhook us! We're sitting ducks! Gotta let us defend ourselves, man. I know our weapons are right there in the evidence locker. Forget it. That would be a grievous mistake. <laughs> Told you it was their ninja all along. There's definitely someone else out there. Apparently, you lost the battle. But not the war. He's in there. Feel free to lead the charge. We're on the same team here, Flint. Really? You even sabotage your own escape?
proof now, Flint. Yeah. Proof that your employer will go to any lengths to silence all of you, including derailing an entire train. There's why we're picking up speed. We're on a runaway. Headed down a mountain. Don't worry. Lady J radioed for support. We're standing in a live mine, Flint. We can't afford to wait. All right. We're probably gonna derail, so grab every MP and move into the back. I'll try shutting down the engine. You're not leaving my sight. And you'll have to come with. If you let these fugitives escape, expect a court martial, Sergeant. Bottle's frozen, and the brakes are fried. Shutting this bullet down's not an option. <laughs> then we better release the cars before the diesel tank blows. We can't. Safety override prevents detaching while in motion. There's C4 in the command car. <laughs> Over, Duke. We'll be ready. They're releasing the cars, and as soon as they do, we're driving the Coyote out of here. Any objections? We're gonna have to make it look like you resisted arrest. I can do that. You're using all of it? That's overkill. We only get one shot at this. Too much C4. Maybe a tad. I appreciate the save, Duke. But I still have to take you in. You just refuse to see the truth, don't you? The truth is for a jury to decide. I'm just doing my job. Flint, I know you're trying to do the right thing here. But so am I. Give Cobra a harder look, and you'll find all the answers you could ever need. <laughs> You all right? The redhead has a decent right cross. So, Lieutenant, why didn't you fire on Duke? I want a 50-mile cordon. All freeways, highways, and dirt roads sealed off. And Lady J, alert the local authorities. The daring escape resulted in the derailing and destruction of a military train. The Springfield Four are once again at large. As promised, Commander. But you made two promises, the hard drive and the fugitives. I said they wouldn't make it to DC, and they did not. I believe it's time you returned your focus to your PR responsibilities, Baroness. Here, in Cobra's offices, there are others I can employ in the field. Whom? Everyone. It is not enough that the Joes are wanted by the police and hunted by the military. I want a nationwide smear campaign that turns the local legends into public enemy number one. As you wish, Commander. How did you... Cobra Industries has revealed a great many things to me resources I might find useful. What do you want? I propose an alliance. Come with me.
Seriously, Bigfoot, get your size 20s out of my zip code. Trying to get comfy, man. Uh, we could all use a decent night's sleep. Impossible, Duke. Your snoring could wake up Rip Van Winkle. Oh, you're one to talk, Scarlet. When you sleep, your mouth's like that movie with the saw. Hey, we all put up with your funk, tunnel skunk. All those herbs and not one is a deodorant. Not listening to you people. La 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 la, humpadink, humpadink. Really? Look, I know we're all exhausted, but we need to focus on the mission. Grabbing Mindbender. What's he even doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Word from Breaker is, our mad scientist is scouring spiritual destinations, looking for mind readers and mystics. The more appropriate question is why. Doesn't matter. We get Mindbender and break him, we break Cobra. Basic tactics, divide and conquer. Duke, look out! Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. And this is their story. Man, are you all right? She's in shock. Look at her eyes. Take it easy, ma'am. We're not gonna hurt you. We'll be okay. Just relax. Don't look into it. Pulse is normal. I don't see any contusions. We should still get her to a dock. She have any ID on her? Nothing except this. Stop the truck! Don't tell me there's another woman in the road. No, but I think we found where this one came from. This is private property, friend. We're trespassing. We have a sick woman in the back with your label on her, friend. You retrieved Sister Leah. We were so worried. The Masters would appreciate if you would bring her inside. Masters? Welcome to Planet Weird, population freaks. Join ain't got much curb appeal, but the backyard's a whole nother story. Friends, we are grateful. You returned our beloved sister. Glad to be of service. Allow us to introduce ourselves. I am Tomax. And I am Zaymat. We are, are the, the brothers, brothers of light. light. Welcome to our desert oasis. So, what exactly was Sister Leia doing out in the middle of the road? She suffers from night terrors and will occasionally forget herself. Pretty well spread you got here. It is a sanctuary where we help those who are lost in darkness find the light. We are healers of both psyche and soul. Think their mom can tell them apart? Ah, the chime for our evening meal. You are welcome to stay. We should keep moving. We have that appointment, remember? We sense you've traveled so far. Why not rest yourselves for, for just, just one night? We could use a little R&R. &R. Look at the size of those plates. I'm getting all emotional. It is our pleasure to serve you. Sleep well. Ugh, real springs, not shock absorbers. 
I forgot what a mattress feels like. <laughs> okay, is anybody gonna bring up how bizarro Tweedledee and Tweedledum seem? They were centric, so what? If that was a crime, they'd put you away. Just grab a bunk and get some shut-eye. We need an early start. <sighs> Oh, goody. Because the last thing I want to see before sleepy time is those two. <laughs> oh! <laughs> How much incense is enough? Swami Vipra, I presume? I am. You are seeking something. Wow, Swami, you clearly have a gift for the obvious. I'm looking for a psychic, a real psychic. If you are looking for power, then you have found it for a price. The spirits are angry. No, that'd be me! <laughs> Sorry, no refunds. I foresee you leaving here. Now beat it! Well, I can see into your future, too. It includes tremendous pain! <laughs> Mindbender, your search for paranormal phenomena is a waste of my resources. My theory is sound, Commander. A psychic can be tested, measured, dissected if necessary. Once I discover how true psi abilities function, I can adapt them into a control system for the Bio-Vipers. You are theorizing that the soldiers will do my bidding by mental command alone. Bingo. You'll be wireless, CC. <laughs> Gotta go, boss. Please! <laughs> Funny you didn't see that coming, oh great and powerful Swami. Now, where do I find the real thing? It reminds you of home. What you have lost, Duke. How did you know? His name, Scarlet? Many things are known to us, such as how you all could find a home here. You know, unfortunately, our lives are pretty complicated, so... You must move on. We understand, of course. You two Siamese? I feel what my brother does. Roadblock, brace the scaffold! Heads up, dude! We'll accompany Brother Nicholas to the infirmary. To make certain he has not sustained any injuries. On that note, I would really like to leave the Twilight Zone. No can do. Just got word from Snake Eyes Mindbender's on his way here. Maybe it was meant to be. We are pleased you have decided to stay. <sighs> Truth is, we could use Sanctuary. Within the temple, you will find it, and the end of all fear. And the key to overcoming fear is to face it. Mm, a lesson your father taught you. But have you overcome the fear that you have failed your family? And you, Roadblock, haunted by accusations of terrible crimes. Your innocence will be illuminated for all to see. And Scarlet, 
you seek answers to dark truths. In the divine light, all questions will cease to be. And you, my friend, never at rest. We can grant you peace of mind. No, thank you. I like being paranoid. It is forever your choice. Keep a lookout for you know who. Ah, what is that? Sister Leia! I can't hear you! Soundproof glass? Is that the temple? You want me to go to the temple. Stay away from the temple. Okay, will do. I will come back for you! Such a regal entrance. You must be a man of importance. If by importance you mean rife with disposable income, then yes, I am. Illumination is free, friend. Yeah, yeah, dazzle me, make it quick. I'm, I'm just looking for my other friends. Friend. They're working the fields. Yo, Joe! No time for old McDonald. Mindbender has landed. Mindbender is no longer our concern. Go to the temple. See the light. You're finishing each other's sentences. I don't know what they put in the juice in that temple, but I ain't drinking it. You two stay right there. I'm finding Duke. Yo, Duke. You in here? Rats in a cage. Hey, friend. Way to go, Duke. Good news, mission accomplished. Bad news, we got big trouble. Our troubles are over. We're on the same side now. You are an island, alone in the darkness. Come, be with your friends. There is no point in running. Where, Where will, will you run? run? If it was a time for the ninja to show up, it would be now. Your donations are most welcome, Brother Mindbender. Now access the other Cobra Bank accounts, starting with Geneva and the Cayman Islands. Of course, Masters. Transferring to your account now. Well done. You know those brutish soldiers are penniless and fugitives. Perhaps they could be the foundation of our personal army. Franz, have you located the one called Tunnel Rat? <gasps> this is precisely why we need the Joes. Why do you bother us? We have another visitor. Another soldier for our ranks. Snake Eyes, don't fight it. See the light, be the light. Luminarium, Savio Frater Luminarium. Not good. Savio Frater Luminarium! Roadblock, let him go! Snakes, let's move! Snake Eyes? Oh no. Not you too. Do not let him escape! Children of the Khan? 
Why don't you think for yourselves? I can't. Because they've been hypnotized by the fancy light in the temple. That would happen to you, Sister Leia? My real name's Tina. I came looking for enlightenment, but all the brothers cared about was my trust fund. When the twins stand together, they're irresistible. I resisted them just fine, thank you very much. But I don't know why my friends were such easy marks. In times of weakness, it is easier to do what one is told to do. Oh. You slippery snake. You weren't hypnotized at all. What do you say we go poke out a certain eyeball? Don't go back to the temple. In case we don't put out the twins' light, you get out of here. Go find help. Sabio frater luminarium. Sabio frater. Unity, brothers and sisters, comes from absolute obedience to divine authority. Our authority. Surrender your ego for our humble will, and welcome the first soldiers in our new army. The Crimson Guard! Praise Tomax and Zaymon! Hail the Crimson Guard! Soon we will have the means to expand our faith worldwide. Not in this lifetime! Clear a path, snakes! Disciples, stop them! Snap out of it, big guy. The light can't mesmerize you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the eye only reinforced our power. Disciples, finish them! Leia was right. The twins are too powerful together. We have to split them up, divide and conquer. yourself pass this on it's working the further they get from each other the weaker their mojo snake eyes what happened what am i wearing brothers and sisters do not forsake us Tomax! You tricked us! You took our lives! Liar! The lambs dare not stray without being punished by their lords! Get these people out of here! Take us with you! Uh, sorry, Corsican bros. I got some serious trust issues. You have my word. Our word. We will share all of our secrets with you. us all. We owe you everything. How can we repay you? Eh, don't worry about us. We got everything we need. Well, 
Well, the coyote might not have all the comforts of home. All? I'd settle for one. Point is, we got each other. And we have my paranoia. Thank you. Which saved our butts. Again. Again? What are you talking no, about? No, no, no. Don't start with him. Next time, I'm just gonna leave you. Really? Oh, no. This no. Means people. We had a deal, Mindbender. We are going to show you our power. Yes, you are. I can't thank you enough for financing my research. Most would find my theories on holographic masking in the visible spectrum a little out there. Cobra believes in thinking outside the box. I trust we now possess the only working prototype. The only one in the world. It is essential we maintain a cloak of absolute secrecy over this project. We wouldn't want our competitors getting wind. A little something to ensure your continued silence on this project. Now then, would you be so kind as to tell me your name? Perfect. Commander, I have taken possession and will personally escort. Well done. Can a professor be trusted to remain silent? After the neural shock I gave him, I highly doubt he will be able to say much of anything. The police, however, will likely attribute his mental state to shock over the tragic loss of his laboratory. they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. I'd find the clowns that jacked my hog and put the herd on them. Bad. Let's get one thing straight, Sartan. You are not out of the joint. You were in my custody for one reason only. To lead me to the fugitives. Now get cracking or I'll throw you right back in your cage. Aye, aye, Corporal Punishment. The Joes, now! Relax. If I knew they were most wanted, I'd have called you up a long time ago. Give me a GPS. Excuse me? Got a tracer hidden on my bike. I give my code, you get your Joes. Are you sure this is worth a detour? I've been picking up Cobra radio chatter about a priority shipment from Grand Junction, Colorado, where a research lab just went boom. Yeah, and for once, we didn't do the booming. Whatever Cobra's moving, safe bet it's worth getting our hands on. Snake Eyes has a 20 on the delivery truck. How can he be sure? Trust, Trust me, me, Snake, Snake Eyes, Eyes knows. knows. Now, you see, now that's what I'm talking about. Snake Eyes and Scarlet, they share a bond, a connection. The rest of us barely get past name, rank, and serial number. What, you want to start dating now? Listen, man, I just think we all should get to know each other better. All right, listen, I'll start. I sang alto in my church choir till I was six, when my voice changed. My shoe size is 15 triple E. The only other dude I know with feet that big is my cousin Herschel. 
Somebody put him out of my misery, please. Based on Snake Eye's position, we should be able to intercept the shipment right there. Push that rubbish over the cliff. Saving these just for you, Baroness. Let's grab the package. Fall back! What's he doing here? Besides blocking our escape route. Do not cease fire! Protect the cargo at all costs, and clear this road! Keep an eye on Biker Boy. around with Flint. Wait, we need the package. I'll clear you all the path. Down immediately. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You didn't say please. What is this thing? Cobra property, and well beyond your understanding. What are you staring at? Is that me? I'm quite the looker. Threads like this could come in real handy. Someone needs a lozenge. <sighs> the shipment. 
Hijacked, along with the truck. Baroness! Why were your guards firing on military personnel? Lieutenant Fairborn, I do apologize for the misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Forgive me. I was simply escorting a piece of proprietary Cobra technology when we were hijacked by your Joes. My guards wrongly assumed you were allied with the fugitives. You buying this? This is Fairborn. I need a chopper, now! Whoa, whoa, easy, Tunnel Rat. Where's Baroness? Beats me. Last thing I saw was a guardrail and a whole bunch of trees. Crate's empty. Whatever was in there, Baroness must still have it. She couldn't have traveled too far on foot. Back to the Coyote. Aye, aye, Corporal Punishment. There's been a complication. You promised me technology that will duplicate anyone's appearance. If the suit is not delivered in a timely manner, your punishment surely will be. That's what was in the delivery truck? A chameleon mode for people? Thanks for keeping us in the loop, Snake Eyes. Can you get us a fix on Baroness's position? That's where we ambushed her truck. How did Baroness get back there so fast? I mean, she never left in the first place. And someone else has been impersonating her with the help of that chameleon suit. Anybody see what happened to Zartan back there? Must have got away. <laughs> what? Warrant Officer William Wild Bill Hardy, sir. Shall we put the spurs to her? Lieutenant, let me join you. It is imperative I recover Cobra's stolen property, and I can provide you with advanced weaponry. I think you've done enough damage, Baroness. This isn't the first time I've been targeted by your Joes. They're armed with high-tech, self-recharging plasma pulse technology. What are you carrying, Lieutenant? Fine. We'll take you and the weapons, but your stormtroopers stay behind. Somebody get this guy a tissue already? You had a shower recently? What's it to you? Oh, I get it. No problem. My real name is Nikki Lee, Marvin. Tell me something you ain't heard on Cobra News Channel. What's my shoe size? How about 10? I don't give a crud. <laughs> Cut Zartan off the gas station. You smell way too good to be our boy. Privately, on the ground, now! Nowhere to run, Private. Yeah! Just like her and him. There were two men on that truck. Where's the other one? Can the backseat driving, or I hit the eject button now. I am not used to this kind of treatment. I'll be sure to make a note of that. You can't keep him in my sights. I can. Still have a tracer on the motorcycle. Check around back. I'll recon the store. Did an annoying Asian guy just come in here? Or maybe a well-dressed Russian woman? Nobody's been in since morning, except me. You sure you're alone? Don't hurt me. Take, take the money, the, the keys to my truck, anything. Easy. Don't believe everything you hear.
Roadblock. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. Half a dozen armed guards couldn't take down the ninja, Lieutenant. What makes you think we can? Freeze! You want to cuff him, or should I? Roadblock. Hmm? Oh, wait, it's me, too. Fool me once, Sartan. How do I know you're not Sartan? How do I know you're not Sartan? Fifteen Triple E. Same as your cousin Herschel. Zartan stole a tow truck and took a hostage. Move over, I'll drive. Uh, what about Roadblock? He's the hostage. How'd Zartan manage to get the drop on Roadblock? What? I don't know, I, I didn't see. I, I mean, Roadblock's like seven feet tall, 300 pounds. <laughs> he could snap Zartan in two. Maybe Zartan's tougher than you remember. He'd have to be. Trust me. He is. Why don't you just sit back and enjoy the ride, Red? Because it's probably going to be your last. Seeing as how you're all wanted criminals, I'm going to have me a little anti-social fun and let you Joes take the blame for it. Not gonna find much fun 20 miles outside of Estes Park. Or are you traveling west because you're heading for Vegas? Well, ain't you the clever one. Hi, me again. I'm sorry, really. But about that truck. Lieutenant, I have a report of the fugitives fleeing a gas station heading west on Route 34. Your choice. Want to get fragged by your boyfriend? Or would you prefer a self-inflicted wound? Well, if this ain't my lucky day, looks like I can slab the ninja and get my bike back after all. That love tap ain't nothing compared to the hurt I'm gonna unload if you scratched up my ride. Dude, surrender immediately, or we will open fire! You got lousy timing, Lieutenant. <laughs> Made his choice. Run him off the road. Wait! Y you sure you want to do that with a civilian on board the chopper? I insist. Thanks. I'll walk. Are you trying to get us blown up? Better to go out in a blaze of glory. Nice. What else can this rig do? Asphalt. My money's on snake eyes.
Zartan. I'm afraid you can't quite pull off my look. Drop your weapons! Which one's our Duke? I'm Duke. Don't believe him. I got this. Yo, Duke, how old was I when my voice changed? No, no idea. idea. How'd you know? Heard the difference in your heartbeats. Now that's really known someone. How does this thing come off? <laughs> <laughs> Dad's home. Party's over. Your get out of jail free card has been recalled. Why does the suit not work? Failsafe and printing feature. In a nutshell, the suit bonds with the DNA of its first wearer. Can you override it? Doubt it. Whoever designed this puppy had some serious techno mojo. Too bad someone went and turned his brain into butterscotch. The visitors are dead. I'm here to discuss your early release for good behavior. Meet your synthetic doppelgangers. As promised. Mindless abominations. Ah, uh, but not for long. You've met our paranormal twins, Tomax and Zaymat, by tapping into their psychic powers. I can accessorize your shadow vipers with a hive mind. Imagine six invulnerable copies of yourself, linked by the speed of your thoughts and united in purpose. You'll have complete control. So just plop on this headgear. Not to worry, won't hurt a bit. Well, might hurt a little bit. You seven share a brain. Your queen bee. They're your drones. Any order you give, they will execute exactly as you would. Then execute the good doctor. Huh. Do not worry, doctor. This won't hurt a bit. Enough. Storm Shadow, need I remind you of our agreement? Cobra will provide you with the resources to expand your clan into a global criminal cartel. But not until you destroy... Snake Eyes. And the Joes. I've tracked the Joes to Canada. My aircraft is prepped. Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Chameleon mode active.
activated. Friendliest border in the world. Bet you they wave us right through, eh? Yeah, with their assault weapons. Stay calm. No reason to believe this beefed up security has anything to do with us. Sounds like the coyote busted a paw. I'm thinking of spray. Baby might be damaged, but she's drivable. Well, let's hope she stays that way, because Canada's finest are closing in. Holographic mode activated. We need to hole up somewhere off the grid till things cool down. I know a place. Cool as it gets. Way up north. Old army bud. So your buddy, you got a name? Ah, we called him Snow Job. Cause he was always conning us into some crazy scheme or another. Ah, don't worry, Duke. You'll love the guy. Real people person. Give it the shirt off his back. Just don't play poker with him, or you'll end up losing yours. <laughs> Haven't actually talked to Snow Job in a while, but I hope he still likes surprises. People person, huh? Maybe your pal vacated. There's my amigo. Snow job! It's Nikki! Shut the door. You're letting cold air in. Already pretty chilly in here. Snow, I was telling these guys about you and me back in the day. Remember that time in Baja when you... Yeah, that was a lifetime ago. Listen, I've enjoyed this little trip down memory lane. But how about you and your friends push on now? Won't stay where we're not wanted. Harlan, my pals and I are up a creek and we need a place to lay low. One night. And that truck of yours? Stash it in the boat shed. Need to work on our wheels anyhow. Make some upgrades. We got a blizzard moving in. So, where do you keep your firewood? Guess I ran out.
No one escapes the Arashikage. Jokes are yours. Seek them out. Reminds me of that jungle mission in Burma. Remember, Snow? Burned a ton of bamboo to keep warm. You burned bamboo. I had the space heater. I'd one from a dude they now call Tunnel Rat. You can still call me Nikki. Tunnel Rat suits you. Woo boy! No Biloxi cold spell ever matched this deep freeze. I found these in the shed. Make the trip back down a whole lot easier <laughs> for someone who knows how to ski. Looks like they've got some miles. Stay out of my stuff. Him and those skis go way back. See, Snowjob, me, and our pal Frostbite, we were in the same unit. Still not sure how I ended up with the Arctic Troopers, but we were the three amigos, you know? Snowjob was our ringleader, always up for a good time, even if it meant bending a few rules, like unsanctioned ski trips. The plan was sneak off base before sunup, do some downhill, be back by morning chow. I was all in, except I overslept. Hey, lazy bones, you're missing out. Fresh powder. I don't know, looks kind of iffy. Taking mortar fire in Zardistan is iffy. This is living. <laughs> oh. Both made it down. But then, avalanche. Next thing I know, Snowjob is transferred to a different outfit. Pretty soon he leaves the army altogether. Snowjob still blames himself. I've seen it before. Soldier loses a buddy, takes responsibility, it eats him up inside. Look at how he lives. Like, he's not quite sure he wants to. Man just needs something to live for again. Holler if I can help. Gonna go finish patching up the coyote. Coward! Hide, but know that my Shadow Vipers lay siege to your guardian. 
and your woman will be the first to fall. That would be Roadblock. Hasn't missed Chow and no one's there. Must be Snake Eyes. Barely getting a signal. It's Morse code. It's an SOS. The solo act calling for backup? Not his style. Agreed. He's trying to warn us. Grab your weapons. Roadblock, come in, over. I'll take point. Stay in my line of sight. Thinks we got us a ninja problem. Storm Shadow? That's the old snow job. Keep your thank yous to yourself. Just tell me what those things are. They're called Bio Vipers. Looks like Storm Shadow joined up with Cobra. Bad guys. I ain't gonna hand over my castle. It's all I got. They're retreating. Working with Cobra now, Storm Shadow? Why? Your clan too weak? The Arashikage will soon be stronger than you can possibly imagine. All we see is a bunch of jelly-filled freaks fighting your battles for you. Then let this battle be done. I offer you a quick, painless end at the edge of my blade, if you surrender immediately. Joes never surrender. <laughs> that pleases me. The Vipers didn't retreat. They're on the roof. Snake eyes. Well, glad you could drop in. Snake eyes has rejoined them. what Storm Shadow's been waiting for, to have us all holed up inside the cabin. Easier to shoot catfish when they're all in one barrel. Pretty good strategy. Maybe we ought to use it against him. Allow the Vipers and Storm Shadow to get in. Make them think they got the winning hand. Then bam. Whip out the high card and blow the place to kingdom come. Won't you blow us up too? We'll already be gone. Making tracks in that truck of yours. Repairs are done, but getting to her? That's a whole other deal. Move. Come on, Snow Job. Right behind you. Last timer. You do not want to be here when the goo hits the fan. Come on, go. Not leaving without you. I couldn't save Frostbite, <clears throat> but I will save you. No. Sorry, Ninja. 
Royal Flush always beats a full house. <laughs> A good press. It's the least we can do. Hadn't gotten you messed up in all our affairs, you'd still have your home. Uh, it's time for me to move on, anyhow. Bury the past. Looks like you won't be alone. <laughs> I'll take good care of your Timberwolf. You got a name? Timber it is. Well, next time, we play a little poker, Nikki. No way. Last time I lost my shirt. After we finish with Cobra, you can deal us all in. Great. No doubt this is the start of a beautiful friendship. You get stuck here in the middle of paradise. <sighs> Let some uninvited guests into the Cobra Christmas party. You? <laughs> I was guarding this damn and... Hey, is that what I think it is? Why would anyone be out in this? Ma'am, this is a restricted area. Do you have any aspirin? You came all the way out here because you need an aspirin? Not for me, for you. Warm her up, T-Rat. Got a feeling we're gonna be leaving in a hurry. First time every time. Not much security for a BioViper lab. You sure your intel's accurate? Cobra probably figured nobody would be crazy enough to raid this icebox. Looks like somebody's been canning for the winter. It's a waste dump. Or just a waste of our time. It's evidence.
Whatever Cobra's dumping here, it's probably toxic and definitely illegal. You may be onto something, Scarlet. Promising. You sure that's a good idea? No worries, it's sealed tight. And so are we. <laughs> Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Plasma pulse could ignite the gas. Whoa. Can't leave you guys alone for one minute, can I? Feel that? 600 foot pounds of stump pulling torque. That's my girl, light on her feet. We need to deliver this to General Abernathy, personally. Washington's a long way from here. Which will give me time to hack the files I downloaded. And time for whatever Cobra stuffed in that can to thaw. Roadblock's right. We can't drive to DC. Well, I've sailed every corner of the globe. I crossed the date line so many times, I'm two years younger than when I started. But I have never seen a more motley collection of flotsam in my life. Has this dude looked in the mirror lately? He doesn't have to marry us, just give us a lift. Can you sail as far as the mid-Atlantic coast, Captain Delgado? Moon, get these to the cannery before they start stinking. Cool. You pukes must be pretty desperate if you're coming to me. Whatever you're transporting or whoever, I'm betting it's trouble. But I'm a no questions asked kind of guy, if you got the money. Well, we're a little short right now. But you'll get paid as soon as we get to Washington, guaranteed. I don't set sail on promises. Wait, maybe we can make a trade. What you got? Uh, tools, weapons, electronics, uh, real state-of-the-art stuff. I could use a set of wheels for sure, Leave. Oh, nah, 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 not my coyote. Never. Uh-uh. Nah, nah. <laughs> Careful! That's 12 coats of permaclear enamel she's sporting, man. Dude, you must let go. I ain't even talking to you no more, mister. Maybe we can make a trade. You sure it'll be cold enough down here, Moon? The tuna never complain. Even when we fillet them.
Don't worry, she's going to a good home. I got an eye for fine machinery. Like Courtney here. You name this tub Courtney. The word is ship, soldier. And as long as you're on mine, you will respect Courtney Krieger. <clears throat> the model? My Courtney might not be as pretty, but she's reliable. Hey, shipwreck! You actually find someone crazy enough to sail with you? How much you have to pay him? So, shipwreck, how'd you get that colorful nickname? Deck needs swabbing. Barnacles need scraping. Uh, free labor wasn't part of the deal. Sailor, we're sailing with a skeleton crew. So turn to you clock watching deck apes on the double. in the Navy. Don't worry, baby. I won't let the sea salt fade your paint job. It's just a truck. More like a friend. Only she complains a lot less. Smells better, too. <clears throat> really? Did I hurt your feelings? Seasick. Don't want you getting any on the truck. Why are we stopping? Courtney's being a little temperamental, that's all. Moon. Right on. What's going on down there? I need that engine purring. Huh. Who's dead? Yo, Monocle Bill. You got any idea what all this bobbing in place is doing to my stomach lining? Need a hand, shipwreck? I know my way around an engine. My Courtney's particular about who touches her. So is my coyote. And I wouldn't mind seeing how you intend to treat her. I'm not scraping that off. Power's down. I need to check on our cargo. Ooh, I'll do it. Anything beats cleaning up after Tunnel Rat. <laughs> Was that really necessary? Any thoughts about getting across without frying ourselves? Okay, hazardous waste just can't get up and walk away. Unless it's a bio viper. What happened, Courtney? Like the car. 
old much, do you? Still breathing. Listen, Tunnel Rat's a medic. He'll help. If I can pry him off the rail. What did you bring aboard my ship? It's called a Techno Viper, a combination of Bio Viper material and nanotechnology. Cobra wanted something that could sabotage or control any technology it touched, the ultimate gremlin. But the prototype was too unpredictable, so they put it on ice. And that thing is on my engine? Easy. We have plenty of experience taking down Vipers. Just not this kind, exactly. <laughs> with the turbo boost. Don't do this to me, Courtney! <clears throat> Your spitbag Techno Viper just took over the con! We can't let it get to a populated area. Any of those files you downloaded say how to stop it? You know it don't like coal. Grab every extinguisher on the ship. We'll drive it from the engine room into the freezing cold water. Belay that! You don't give the orders! This is my boat! You have a better plan? What's your plan if you green shirts can't deep six that thing? He's right. We'll have to sink Courtney. Stow that ordinance! None of you is sinking my Courtney! Especially when my coyote's riding on her. She ain't yours no more, Swabby. Which means technically those noisemakers are mine too. Listen, if this ship gets to a populated area, the Techno Viper will expand and infect every piece of technology there is. Nobody wants to sink Courtney. But the longer we stand around arguing, the more likely that scenario becomes. Fine. Your move, soldier. Okay. Our plasma pulse weapons just make that thing stronger, which is why we gotta go low-tech. Tunnel rat. Oh, yeah. Mortal fear is a great cure for nausea. Rig the fuel tank. Scarlet, make a detonator. I'll get Moon to the lifeboat. The rest of you are on fire extinguisher detail. Go. That's the last of them. It's gonna work. You'll see. I won't lose another ship. It's got something to do with your nickname. I was working for Cobra. They wanted me to dump some chemicals for him. Wouldn't do it, so they sank my ship and blamed me. I knew who you guys were right from the start. Seen you on the news. Figured any enemy of Cobra is a friend of mine. So why all the horse trading? Just cause we're friends doesn't mean I gotta give you a discount.
I'm gonna get that blob. We got bigger problems portside. That carrier's heading straight toward us. Now what'll happen if the Techno Viper climbs aboard? Sorry, Shipwreck, but we're out of options. No! I won't let you sand crabs blow a hole in my Courtney! I'll talk some sense into him. One gearhead to another. Better talk fast. Everyone else to the lifeboat! Yeah. We're host. Everyone down! That thing's finding weapons even Breaker didn't know about. Aw, oh, Roadblock would be so proud of his baby. If it wasn't trying to grease us! We have to sink this tub now. Slight problem. The detonators in the lifeboat. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Wait. Roadblock and shipwreck. In the clear. Do it. What's wrong with your detonator? Nothing. You must have rigged the explosives wrong. Oh, man, what'd you do that for? I told you I won't lose another ship. You of all people should understand that. Hey, I love my truck, but I ain't gonna sacrifice my friends for it. Someone's being a bad girl. Roadblock! Don't even try! If I lose her, it ain't gonna be to some slithering spark plug. Got a towel? This is the USS Flag. Please identify yourself. Do you require assistance? Courtney's just fine. Thanks for asking. I won't be needing this. Can't separate a man and a ship, especially one who saved mine. That's odd. Seems our Techno Viper was more than just a gremlin. It programmed a destination into the ship's GPS. Why Scotland? Craving for Agus? I say we go find out. You serious? Yeah. I still got a score to settle with those Cobra bottom feeders. And tell you what, guys. No charge. Looking a little tense, my man. You want me to take the wheel? I've driven through sleet, snow, hail, and the Long Island Expressway. A little Scottish mist got nothing on me. <laughs> Easy! Oh ho! How about Scottish roads? You have to drive on the left side here. Is it any wonder I prefer traveling my sewer pipe? Hey, look at this. Duke? 
It's the inventory I downloaded from Cobra's storehouse in Canada. Okay. Listed under BioViper. There, see? It's a reference to some kind of delivery system called the BioDag. Fascinating. Think about it. Cobra's planning to deliver the BioViper somewhere. <sighs> Look, I don't know what you've been moping about, but it's time to get your game face on. We're two miles out from where that Techno Viper was headed, and we have no idea what we're walking into. Exactly. Well, not the standard Cobra lab I was expecting. Well, suppose that Techno Viper just picked these coordinates at random? I'll find out. You sit tight. Sit tight? What are we, 12? It's like walking into a museum. I thought I was running recon. We missed you. This place is massive. It makes sense to use more bodies. Fine, but we stay together and nobody touches anything. I didn't touch a thing, I swear. Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. <clears throat> okay, the way I see it, we just tripped some kind of automated security system. That, or someone's watching us. Either way, we're getting out of here. Great. Check your weapons. I got nothing. They've been powered down somehow. Then our first priority is to find an exit. Let's move. by this simulation, the biodag flies virtually undetected until the moment of impact. By then, it's too late. Dr. Binder, Destro, this is a wonderful example of how your collaboration should work, particularly in light of your last failed effort. I still say you mothballed the Techno Viper too soon, Baroness. I had such high hopes. What hopes? That slime was too erratic, much like its originator. Only the tech was erratic, Metal Mouth. Enough, Baroness. If we employ the Biodad now, wouldn't the Vipers leave evidence that could be traced back to Cobra? I'm confident that won't be a problem, Commander. Very nice. And what is the status of the prototype? Built and ready to launch from my Highland facility. Then let's stage an actual demonstration, shall we? Of course. And might I be so bold as to suggest that Baroness come here to personally supervise the test? Excellent idea. Baroness, divert your flight. Sir. Destro. I really don't see an advantage to having me there simply to watch you push buttons. 
I have something to show you, my dear Baroness. A gift that was unexpectedly left on my doorstep. Well, now we know whose hospitality we're enjoying. James McCullen, Ma's Industries' big-headed honcho. And the reason our weapons aren't working. He built them, he obviously knows how to power them down. Remember, McCullen's in bed with Cobra. We need to find him. I think we should split up. No, too risky. Duke, a word in private? Please? <sighs> Since when is anything too risky for you? I'm just assessing the threat level. You've been too reckless lately. That's not it. I've noticed a change in you ever since Roblox nearly drowned. Duke, that wasn't your fault. But it was my responsibility. That's what this is about? We're all responsible for each other. Cut yourself a little slack. The squad depends on me to keep us alive, Scarlet. And I need to start doing a better job of it. Welcome, Baroness, to McCullen Castle. My time is short. Where is the biodag? This way. I thought we could enjoy a little repast while we work. in the Commonwealth. Mmm, I do love chocolate. We are very much alike, you and I. What do you mean? We've made similar choices in our lives. We have passions and we've put them to work in hopes of improving the world. Yes, Cobra has provided us both wonderful opportunities, even if you do tend to turn your nose up at them. I've learned my lesson, Baroness. And since then, I've done everything the Commander has asked of me. Perhaps you should consider doing more than what's asked of you. Like presenting you with a gift that will take your breath away? Meet our dinner guests for the evening. Ready to have some fun. Jackpot. No go. These are dead too. <sighs> hey. Check it out. Can't power down these bad boys. We gotta fight, we'll just do it old school. Well, it is better than nothing. At least until we find our way out of this maze. Oh, I don't think you'll be going anywhere, my dear home invaders. Now that you've properly armed yourselves, tonight's entertainment can finally begin. Take cover! A suit of armor. How inventive. Actually, it's one of my new battle android troopers. I hid the prototypes inside armor, for security's sake. The commander will be so pleased. Must you always put his interests ahead of your own, Baroness? The Joes are my gift to you, not to him. <laughs> Grab 
have a shield! I'm so embarrassed. Don't be. I can't remember the last time I've so enjoyed myself. The fun doesn't have to end here. Mm. Anastasia, just think of what we could accomplish in concert. A partnership? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Try having a little something to eat. Unless you brought a straw, my dear. I'll be dining later. <laughs> This ain't gonna hold more than 30 seconds! And the final chapter in tonight's thrilling drama, The Dead End. Oh, for a second there, it seemed like a good idea. It still is. We just need the battery packs from our weapons. Why? They explode when ruptured. Wait! We only get one shot, and those things will keep on coming. Now! Can't find a door? Make one! Uh-oh. Define uh-oh. Biodag, remember? That's the Viper delivery system I saw in Cobra's inventory. They're preparing to launch it. Keep moving, go, go, go! Thoughts are angling for a better shot. We need a plan now. And B tool out there. I can access its missile system. So can any one of us. You don't have to be our protector. Your fire. That... that was incredible. And their fate now rests in your hands. What are your orders? Hold them. I have questions. Take the prisoners to the dungeon. I'm sorry that this mask must come between us, Anastasia. Perhaps Cobra Commander will recognize your achievement and allow me to remove it for you. Um. Commander, I... Um, we were... It is not as it appears, sir. 
What he means, sir, is that James, I, I mean Destro, has successfully captured the Joes. Their leader has already been eliminated. That is good news. In regards to the test, we'll now focus on a site and... I've already chosen a mining camp in Greenland, owned by a particularly annoying competitor. Make certain there are no survivors. We'll launch the biodag as soon as I receive the coordinates, Commander. See that you do. First ripcord, now Duke. What was with him, man? Why did he go all lone wolf like that? For us. He didn't want his decisions putting us at risk anymore. That's crazy. That dude was good at making decisions. Yeah, being in charge is overrated. Who'd want that job? Unless you'd care to join your fallen combat. You'll answer me truthfully. Who told you about this castle? Last chance. I know that voice. McCullen. Nice headgear. Shoot them all. Start with the ninja. Wait, stop, stop! Your Techno Viper was headed here. I'm listening. We assumed it was following some kind of homing instinct. What? I never programmed the homing instinct. That must be Mindbender's doing. But why would he send that thing to my castle? Unless... Unless he was sending it after me. Baroness! We'll discuss it later, Destro. Right now we have a launch to attend to. Bid farewell to our guests. Finish them. Duke! You're alive! And you wondered why I was so eager to get out of this castle. We saw you get blown up. Tell us what happened. How did you get out? When that VTOL was coming apart around me, one thing became pretty obvious. I had to bail. By the time I climbed out of the well, you were being escorted into some kind of passageway. <laughs> you dog! You had us all emotional and everything! And I hate getting emotional. Very macho, guys. But right now we have a launch to scuttle. Good thing there are more where this came from. Forget the systems check, Scrap Iron. Just release the clamps and launch! <laughs> Still engaged. Ignition in 30 seconds. What's that mean? If I don't release those clamps, the rocket will fill this place with fire and then detonate. Ignition in 20 seconds. in 10 seconds. Such wonderful heroic, Sergeant. Get all for naught. Two, one, zero, ignition. Anastasia. James. You'll be all right. What will we do? Cobra Commander. I will accept full responsibility. What else can it possibly do to me? You have no idea.
Well, as fun as this is, we'd better not hang around. I'm sure Cobra is sending backup. Duke. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I know. And so will we. As long as we're all in this thing together. Uh, just wanted you to know, Duke. Uh, we'd follow you anywhere. Feelings mutual. That's our target, Wu Cheng, CEO of China Lai Telecom. He's one of several communications bigwigs on the guest list for a summit hosted by the Baroness at the Cicerovna family chateau. Just the place for Cobra to eliminate the competition. So we schlepped all the way to East Croatia, Hungo, Slavia, whatever, to crash another party? No crashing. Mr. Chang's our ticket in. He probably would have slept through the presentation anyway. Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Step lively, gentlemen. Mr. Chang demands respect. You're enjoying this far too much. You better hope the real Mr. Chang doesn't wake up anytime soon. After all the secret sauce Snake Eyes slipped him, I'm betting Chang doesn't wake up anytime this week. Guten Tag. My mandarin is rusty. Ni hama. Hengao xing an chini. Wow, what's with the racial? Just because I look Chinese, you assume I speak it? But, but you are the head of a Chinese phone company. Hey, do I tell you how to run your business, Gramps? Ow! Eh. Keep our gear close. We're going in unarmed. Doesn't feel right. There should be guards crawling all over this room. <laughs> Unless someone else got here first. What is this presentation? Why were we called here? Does anyone know? On behalf of Cobra Industries, I welcome you all to Chateau Cesarovna. Guys, looks like we have competition. Someone took out security and it wasn't us. Copy that. We'll keep a sharp eye here. Ladies and gentlemen, my president and CEO, Adam de Cobre. Thank you, Baroness for opening your family's baronial estate to us all. And I would especially like to thank all of you for attending this historic conference. Ah, don't mention it. You're about to get a sneak peek at our new flagship product. I give you the future of cellular communications technology, the Cobra Blackadder. 
I don't understand. This looks promising. Thank you, it's the cat. Thank you very Ooh, free swag. Hand it over. Ah, great. Why don't you fetch me some club soda? The Black Adder's unique subliminal technology will enable you to send messages directly to their brains. Advertising, calls to action, customer loyalty, complete and absolute loyalty. Cooks spoil soup. Since when does a cook carry a plasma pulse weapon? I will ask the questions. Who do you work for? We're sort of independent right now. Maybe you've heard of us, the Joes. We're all over Cobra News Channel. I do not watch Cobra News. Propaganda is bad for digestion. As are unexpected guests. Wait! We have a mutual enemy. Maybe we can trade information. What kind of information? Lower your weapon and we'll chat. Scarlet, what's going on? Come in. This is not negotiation. Talk and live, or don't talk and don't live. Choice is yours. She needs backup. Go. You know you're not really in charge, right? Now, if you will all turn your attention to your phones, you will be the first to witness a demonstration of Cobra's patented technology. Huh? I've seen this show already, and I hated it the first time. You are servants of Cobra. You are loyal only to Cobra. You serve without question. Guys, we got problems. Cobra ain't eliminating the competition. They're mind controlling them with Tomax and Zamot's light show. Come in, anybody. I can tell you right now, there's a room full of innocent people who may be in danger. No one is innocent. You see this banquet? <laughs> the Cizorovnas grow fat. My people live on crumbs. Yo, what's cooking? Who is this guy? Someone with an axe to grind against the Baroness and her family. You tell him we're on the same side? Got lost in translation. Long live the October car! Scouting the chateau, waiting for Baroness to return. Wasted. She still lives thanks to American Joes from Cobra News. That's what this is about? Blowing up the Baroness? You'd have taken dozens of innocent lives with her. <laughs> Collateral damage. A wise man once said blood is the price of victory. Karl von Clausewitz. Great Prussian general Karl von Clausewitz. You've read him. Yeah, I've read them. Don't agree with them. Oh, look. It's a smorgasbord of fail. <laughs> Captain Anatoly Krimov. Or should I call you Red Star? Where is your precious October Guard now? Everywhere. We will not stop fighting the Cizorovnas until you all pay for your crimes against my people. That was generations ago, peasant. You became rich while thousands starved. Know your place. We ruled under the Tsars, then the Communists, then the Capitalists. Cizorovnas were born to rule. The October Guard will end your reign. We will leave scorched earth where the House of Cizorovna once stood. Dude's hardcore. And if we're not careful, we could end up just like him. After admire his passion. 
Yeah, I hate to break up the May Day rally, but I got some big plans for your Yojo brains. Courtesy of my psychic pals, Tomax and Zaymot. Don't blink or you might miss it. Oh wait, you can't. Okay, find a fuse box, cut the power, no more light show. You need to come with us. You can't talk to me like that. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> gonna leave comrade cuckoo yeah we can't exactly trust him there's no time for debate every ceo up at that summit was handed one of those hypno phones including tunnel rat how far do you think you'll get without your weapons i've studied this chateau for months i know where the baroness keeps her toys Seeing those two strapped down and helpless never gets old for me. How long until the mind control becomes permanent? Relax, B. Cerebral manipulation is not an exact science. First, I have to keep Tweedledee and Tweedledum from nodding off so they could do their hypno mojo. <gasps> then I have to boost their psychic signal through that satellite dish. Then, beam it back to every single cell phone in that room taking into account the complexity of each CEO's unique neural network. How long? 20 minutes, 13 seconds. The commander has high hopes for this project. Once the CEOs are under our control, Cobra will have access to every communication satellite on the planet. And then we beam the mesmerizing message worldwide. Global mind control. Talk about signal strength. used to that as promised but why did you let the guards live because there are some lines we're not willing to cross sadly our mutual enemy does not share your weakness yo t-rat still in one piece you need to get out of that party meet us in the garage cobra's using tomax and zaymot to control the <laughs> way ahead of you the ceos are just the beginning and the mind control is going to get eternal in 15 minutes. More than enough time to find safe distance from blast radius. Man, you have an unhealthy fascination with blowing stuff up. I've planted enough explosives to destroy the entire chateau. This will keep your mind control from spreading and send message to all Cizarovnas. Not to mention spread a lot of innocent civilians all over this hillside. Acceptable losses. As one Klauswitz said. Von Klauswitz also said, never engage the same enemy too long or he will adapt to your tactics. I fail to see how this applies to the Cizorovnas. I'm talking about you! You've been fighting the Cizorovnas so long you've become as ruthless as they are. You dare compare me to the Cizorovnas? I will sacrifice myself for the cause if necessary. As did my father and his father before him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, Cobra's routing the mind control signal through a satellite dish at the base of the mountain. We take out the dish, free will, without casualties. How much time? Ten minutes. 
I will give you nine. We need something to get us down the mountain fast. Take your pick. Is that what I think it is? Escaped. I want a complete aerial sweep. Launch the flight pods now! Okay, it's like riding a bicycle. What was that? That is trouble. Cobra flight pods! Trouble bubbles! Tunnel rack, roadblock. Buy me some time. I'm gonna make a run at the ditch. That works too. Stay so close. To make sure you don't get an itchy detonator finger. <laughs> We're cutting it close. Less than four minutes till Ivan the Trigger Happy stops the fireworks. Speaking of fireworks. I just might hit something. Maybe you should quit your backseat driving and join the other powder bombs. But we're under a minute! Which means by my clock, you're out of time, comrades. You're moving in too fast. Oh, my head. Mindbender, we've lost the transmission. Well, thanks for the news flash, Mistress of the Obvious. Just let me reboot the system before. Before we awaken and you surrender your will to the Brothers of Light. will now show your obedience. Oh, what was he? Some kind of chalk? Waste of time. Never do business with them again. You Joes would sacrifice yourselves to protect innocence. Respect you. Don't agree with you, yet.
only one of you will leave this room alive. Ah, the local authorities. Much as we would enjoy witnessing their agony, brother, our freedom must supersede our vengeance. <clears throat> you back to town. What about you, Red Star? My comrades and I have survived in these mountains for generations. This is Red Star. Operation has been aborted due to unacceptable potential civilian casualties. Hands off of me, Mindbender. <laughs> Whoa, we're just not good. Please follow me straight yes. over here. Yes. Over here, please. Thank you very much. Please follow me. Brother, straight. have you ever considered spreading our influence through telecommunications? showing signs of infection. Look at those scales. You realize what we have here, don't you? The first mammalian virus engineered from reptile DNA. The gestation period is complete. Congratulations, Kurt. The anaconda is airborne. We've weaponized a virus lethal to rats without knowing how it will affect humans. One step at a time. We could save thousands of lives if you help me persuade Cobra to let us create the antidote. Our research could lead to other cures, to other contagions. Cobra is not easily swayed, even by passion as genuine as yours. I can't do it without you, Doctor. You won't have to. What is it? Your suit is compromised. Couldn't have happened more than a few seconds ago. Doesn't mean I'm infected. You've been exposed. You know the protocol. Dr. Monet, wait! You must be quarantined. <laughs> Indefinitely. <laughs> crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Shipwreck stomach churner. I'm not loving this scenario. Limited cover, one escape route. It's no trap. I didn't know who else to contact. And honestly, I, I didn't expect an answer. You mentioned in your email that your father has been missing for two days. My adopted father, Dr. Kurt Schnur, became a biochemist, hoping to fight disease in developing countries. And he was until Cobra made clear they had a different agenda in mind. Oh, that Cobra, so predictable. How did he sound when you last spoke to him? He was nervous, 
desperate. It was like he was trying to tell me goodbye. Hi, Papi. Let me guess, his office is a heavily guarded facility. Well, this rat ain't going nowhere near a killer germ lab. I want to believe my father's alive, but I'm so afraid. Keep believing, Elena. We will bring him back, I promise. What are you sitting around for? Let's move it, ladies. Did she just call us ladies? She was looking at you when she said it. Hey, we don't know her father's status. How could you make a promise like that? What that girl needed most was hope. Buenos dias, senor. Como está usted? I tengo una entrega para sus científicos. Muy importante. Nice work, amigo. Gracias. Biohazard suit. Let's look like we belong. Do I look like a potato? I'm not getting in that sack. Without it, your chances of being infected multiply by a thousand. Less yapping, more zipping. Man, no telling what microscopic horror cobra's brewing down here. I have seen you swim in a sewer. What is with the germophobia? Nature's bugs, I can deal with. It's the man-made monsters that'll turn you into pudding. Computers in the control room should allow us to check on Dr. Schnurr's status. I'm not getting in without plastic. I can always knock. Really hard. Why aren't you in your suit? Nicely done, Snake Eyes. Server rooms are rarely guarded. I should have thought of it. You know, you do seem a little distracted. Oh, no. It's not your fault, Scar. We have to find out what happened to him. Make it quick. Schnurr was working on a lethal virus called the Anaconda strain. Highly contagious. <laughs> you had to say contagious. Hold on. If Schnurr is deceased, why was his key card used just five minutes ago? Ninja gets to stay on the green level, and we're going downstairs to red. Why? Kurt's card was last swiped in sub-level four. Snake Eyes, have you patched in Roadblock? Okay, amigo, make sure our horse is ready to ride. Should be saddled up, La Roja. Just in case. Approaching the quarantine area. Little help, Snake Eyes. You don't belong down here. Have a seat, Doc. And I'd think twice before sounding any alarms. Elena Schnur sent us here to find her father. Elena? You know my daughter? Is she all right? Elena is fine, Dr. Schnur. And so are you. No, I'm not. We'll get you out of there. No. If the virus gets loose, the entire world could become infected in a matter of days. The results would be... Well, see for yourself. The only rat still breathing is the carrier. I gave both Kurt and that rodent a general inoculation. It slows Anaconda down, but won't stop her. So the antidote doesn't work? My dear, there is no antidote. We haven't synthesized one yet. 
Actually, according to your lab records, there's not only an antidote, but it's being kept upstairs in BioVault C. Cobra must have been developing your formula with a separate team. Kurt, this means there's real hope. <coughs> I don't understand. Why would Cobra withhold the cure from me? I'm guessing you're not exactly employee of the month, are you, Dr. Schnur? Your attitude did seem to rub the Baroness the wrong way. But I can't believe she would... Believe it. We will break into the vault and find that antidote. Copy that, Snake Eyes. Don't! If the bio vault is breached, it will seal. You'll never make it back down here. Then we'll just have to bring you to the cure. Any attempt to free Kurt from quarantine will initiate a lockdown throughout the facility. I appreciate your efforts. But I won't survive this, and it's better I don't. Promise me one thing. You'll make sure Elena is cared for. <coughs> Quarantine breach. Contagion detected. Locked down on level four. We're not going anywhere. We move fast enough, we can outrun the lockdown. The central exhaust shaft is on the other side of this wall. Soldier. Naturally. We'll get you out of here, too. Contagion detected. Level 3. Initiated lockdown. We're running out of doors! Then climb faster! This just isn't your day. <laughs> Dr. Monif! Kurt, you've been a fine assistant and a wonderful test subject. You sabotaged my suit! I'm afraid so. Now that I know the Anaconda strain can infect humans, Cobra can release her into the general population. And sell the antidote. Folks will pay just about any price to live. Cobra Industries will be seen as a savior. I'll settle for the Nobel Prize. It's a win-win for everyone. Except you. Contagion detected. Level 1. UV sterilization in 60 seconds. Ultraviolet. 
Sterilizer bomb. It'll flash fry anything not made of metal or concrete. I hope that thing evens out a tan. <laughs> Sterilization in three, two, one. breathing. How we doing back there? Good. We're all good. You know too much about the real face of Cobra, Dr. Schnur. We have to get you out of Mexico. I have a cousin in L.A. Thank you so much. Better hurry, or you'll miss your flight. I'd like to know what happened. Me too. I'm decrypting the rest of the lab's records now. No. What happened to your father? Long story, Duke. Long drive. I lost him. Some years ago. Weird. Listen to this. The anaconda strain was unintentionally created while testing reptilian regenerative powers on a patient X in the States. Looks like we have a new target. Anyone else wondering why Cobra hasn't been chasing us down? Since when is that bad news? Whoa! Something's seriously wrong with your twin. Yo! The antidote didn't work. The antidote worked just fine, but we never factored in gestation time. Kurt and your rat were infected for too long. They're no longer in jeopardy from the anaconda virus. They've become carriers. Which means Kurt will infect the plane. And the airport, and the city, and the world. The airline's website says the plane has already left the gate. We'll have to intercept it on the tarmac. Ow, it's not like flagging down a cab. Roadblock, grab the jetpack. No time, just get me close. What is it, sweetheart? Excuse us. I'm not sick. I've become a carrier. I'm Dr. 
Dr. Monev's outbreak. Dr. Schnur. You need to stay calm for Elena. I'm a danger to her and everyone else on this plane. I've become... A carrier, I know. We have the antidote. And if that's not enough, I must protect these people from the virus I created. Forgive me, Elena. No! Reduce speed! Didn't you hear? Ninjas can't fly. Hey, Scarlet. Your boy just made the game-saving catch. Snake eyes in the dark aren't pancakes. Maybe off this plane, but the anaconda strain isn't. Don't be shy with that antidote. Can't spray it in here. The cabin has lost pressure. It'll dissipate before it can be inhaled. I don't know what to do. Lieutenant, I know you will find some way to help those people. If you'll accept my apology, I could really use a new lab partner. I won't rest until I perfect a permanent antidote, Elena. I will help you, Bobby. Lights and a siren to get you across a border. Coming up on the target now. Hopers stashing patient X in that Roach Motel? If the files I decrypted from the Mexico bio lab are any indication, Cobra's been doing a lot more than stashing. Science that makes the anaconda strain seem humane. So are we freeing another prisoner or preventing another outbreak? Yes. Get the door, please. This guy's critical. This is a secure Cobra facility. Where's your ID? Uh. Here's mine. Map says it's just up here. Morgue's in the basement. This is a secure floor. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Brace yourselves. Whatever's on the other side of this door could be pretty ugly. Have you looked in the mirror recently? Ah. Huh. Just a dude in a bed. Vitals seem strong. 
That's impossible. Since when do you know how to read a medical chat? I don't have to. Ripcord? Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. And this is their story. This can't be Ripcord. He bought it when Mindbender's factory went kablooey. We all saw it. We saw the explosion. We never saw a body. And then we just left him behind. Who knows what sick experiments Cobra's been running on their patient X this whole time. Ah! Weems, it's okay. It's us. Who's Weems? Who are you people? You seriously don't remember? Okay, that complicates things. So does that. Don't worry, Private. We're here to rescue you, but we have to move. Now. <laughs> Next time that generator fires, boom, shakalaka. Then let her rip, Ripcord. Ripcord? Me likey. You called me Ripcord. I know you. Lieutenant O'Hara, Scarlet, you gave me that name. <sighs> you have to trust us, soldier. That's an order. Look, all I'm saying is Cobra specializes in weirdness. How do we know this isn't a clone or some face transplant? Ooh, Ninja Doorman. Me likey. Definitely, Definitely ripcord. Rip What? For real? I'll explain while you drive. But... You know Patient X is crucial to Cobra's future. But to my future. And yet you let him escape with those Joes! <laughs> <laughs> Might want to ease up on the Type A Rage Fest there, especially in your condition. What is my prognosis? Yeah, let's not focus on the negative right now, boss man. Check this thought process out. The Joes took patient X. Epic fail, right? Wrong! Because we can now track their location and movements. Go on. We road test patient X and take out the Joes to boot. Win, win. We need to get him to General Abernathy ASAP. He's evidence that we're not murderers. He's also a human being. Tell me y'all have something I can wear that didn't come out of the irregular pile. We travel kind of light these days. Ugh. Definitely don't remember eating anything that nasty. Well, let's get this party started. Tell me about me. Uh, truth is, we only knew you for a few hours. And most of the time, we were getting shot at. Oh, and, uh, we didn't like you that much. We were better off in that hospital bed. At least the food was edible. Now that's exactly what T-Rat was talking about. Lady J told me you were a halo jumper. The best. And you said your mom works at a Cobra bakery. You don't remember that whole lab full of nasty green squishies? You saved our lives, Weems. We never got a chance to thank you. Save it. Because I don't remember anything before waking up in a white room attached to a bunch of machines wrapped up like this. Hey, hey, hey don't, don't. It'll get infected. Fine. Probably time to change your dressings anyway. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, where you been crawling, Tunnel Rat? 
I nicknamed you Tunnel Rat, right? They say smell's the strongest sense trigger for memory. There are no wounds here. Weems, how did you ride out an explosion without so much as a scratch? Honestly, Sergeant, I have no idea. Something's out there! Ripcord! Ripcord? Ripcord. Sounds like something did. What happened? You got rolled by a bio viper. Oh. What's a bio viper? Kill a mucus with legs. No, seriously. What's a bio viper? <laughs> what kind of soldiers are you? The fugitive kind. Like I said. I never should have left my bed. The Viper's gone. For now. Where'd it come from? We're in the middle of nowhere. We pick up a guy who supposedly bought it in a Bio-Viper factory. And a Bio-Viper manages to find us. Hmm. Uh, connection. Connection. What could it be? But it was the old school kind of Viper. Like the one we fought in Springfield. Why would Cobra attack with an obsolete model? Cobra drone. Everyone to the coyote. Move! The coyote is our truck. The Cobra drone is a flying camera with guns. If this was my life before, I'm not sure I want to remember it. so he doesn't hurt himself. Oh, that is eight kinds of wrong. Hold us steady, roadblock! Gonna distract it down here. What's with the podcast? Don't know if he's human, but he's definitely evidence. <laughs> out again what is this <clears throat> a hazing ritual it's all you ninja man Houdini is out of here see guys I remember you remember anything else like spewing up viper goo just now I'm again ripcord wasn't tracked by a bio viper he became a bio viper and he turned back into himself as soon as you destroyed that drone. How does an eye in the sky trigger a transformation? Could you guys please be a little more confusing? Because I am... Hey! That's a recent scar. Want to bet there's a control chip in there? Time out. You yapped that I morphed into some kind of monster and expect me to believe you? No. We'll show you. For future reference, nothing I ever do again is disgusting compared to that. So, is this ripcord some kind of clone mindbender cooked up in a lab? I refuse to believe that. Maybe that's what Cobra's counting on. Snake Eyes is right. If one drone found us, others are on the way. We need to turn ripcord into the military. For once, will you stop thinking of Weems as evidence? I am. This is for his own safety and ours. Hello? Freak's still standing right here in front of you. 
Do I get a say in any of this? <sighs> Look, I have no idea who I am or what I am. But right now, I suspect you guys are my only shot at figuring out any of that. We've been on the run for the last six months, Rip. You really want that? At least the army can get you to your mom. Dude, I just turned into a man-eating mud pie. Think I want to be anywhere near my family right now? I don't want to be near anyone, do I? Go ahead. Set it up. I know we didn't exactly get close before, but... We all took it pretty hard when we thought you didn't make it, man. So, uh... I kept these. Thanks. But what if I'm not Weems? What if my memories are just... implants? Well, do you feel like Weems? The more time I spend with you guys, yeah. Then what's the difference? What do you think the brass are gonna do with me? I don't know, man. But anything beats being Cobra's guinea pig. You're doing the right thing, Rip. Stay strong. Set her down, Wild Bill. Falcons two and three, flanking positions. Falcons four and five, scan the area for the fugitives. Somebody got a bump in his operating budget. Just hope Flint used a few of those dollars on containment equipment. Private Wallace Ween, sir. Mind telling me how a dead man turns himself in, Weems? Not sure I can, sir. I was assured there would be adequate security measures in place to contain me. I think five gunships should do the trick. All due respect, sir, they won't. Not another step, Private. Cuff him, Burnett. Cuffs won't hold me, sir. You're making a mistake! Incoming. Six Cobra drones. If one of them gets close enough to ripcord, Flint and his crew are bio-viper chow. Military helicopters. We must be in the right place. We got fireworks on the hillside. Copy that, Sikorsky. You and Jones investigate. Let's get our walking corpse to General Abernathy. in range. You can broadcast direct to Patient X's control chip. Free yourself and destroy the Jones. <laughs> Something's wrong with the prisoner, Lieutenant. <laughs> Ooh! 
Eyes on me, soldier! You can fight this thing! Attack! <laughs> You are Ripcord. You're one of us. You're a Joe. We fought Cobra Troopers. Finish him. You saved our lives. <laughs> I can't control it. I, I'm sorry. You do not have permission to surrender, soldier! will stimulate the bio-viper material in his system. Then the fun begins. Human bio-viper hybrid. The first step toward immortality. And this now! I don't take orders from you! not respond to my commands. Something's blocking the control chip signal. Let's roll! Now without ripcord. I thought we agreed the authorities were better equipped to take care of him. They're not. We will. Am I the only one who has a problem bunking here with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Bio-Viper? Duke helped me stay in control with one of those drone thingies hovering right over my head. Uh, speaking of things hovering... Falcon 4 to Falcon 1. I've missed a lock on road vehicle. Pull back, Falcon 4. Lieutenant Fairborn is injured. We are metabacking out. Return to base and be prepared to explain why you fired without orders. Ma'am, I fired on a monster. That's what you want to write in your official report? Welcome back to the Joes, Ripcord. Yeah, about that. We, we gotta do something about your name. I mean, Joes? Seriously? <laughs> what are we, a roadside diner? Yeah, maybe we should have stuck with the Bio-Viper. At least that half didn't talk. Your control chip failed, and this time, there will be dire consequences. Hate to break it to you, CC, but if something happens to me, I won't be able to help you with your condition anymore. And I'd sure hate for your underlings to get wind of any sign of weakness in the old commander. Why, mine, Bender. I'm touched by your concern. <laughs> now that we have all been reminded who is in charge, everything else takes a backseat to recovering patient X, alive and intact. In fact, our very lives depend on it.
BioViper Human DNA Test 14C. Activation successful. Integration, not so much. Mindbender, I trust you have good news regarding your search for Patient X. Uh, not yet, boss man. But I have had some promising results in duplicating his human bio-viper fusion. I should hope so, since both our lives depend upon it. Hey, Reggie! <clears throat> Where you headed? <clears throat> No money, no mercy. Ray, behind you. Yeah, right. Uh, who was that? Let's get out of here! Uh, 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 uh. Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. Quiet game. Yeah, you're seriously not gonna hit your annoyance quota. <laughs> Snake Eyes! Scarlet! It's cool, Rip. It's cool. They're off on a mission, remember? Another nightmare? I'd rest a whole lot easier if you could just cut the chip they planted out of my head. I am a field medic. You need a neurosurgeon and an IT guy, and maybe a witch doctor. That what you've been researching? This? Nah, I'm following a story about a kid from my old neighborhood who went and disappeared. Cops are saying foul play, so they're holding a wannabe gangbanger at the hospital. But get this, the suspect claims the missing kid got taken by a sewer monster. Every city has its urban legends. But how many of them look like bio vipers? Viper loose in Brooklyn. We should check this out. I got a guy who could help. And so on your follow through, you make sure your shooting hand is pointed right at the basket. Nothing but that. And make sure the defense is no more than half your size. Nikki? for a little one-on-one. -on -one. No way, you got Cobra powers. Hey, you haven't been to mom and dad's, have you? MPs are watching the house and the restaurant 24-7. <laughs> we know the feeling. What do you need, money, place to hide? Yeah, my brother, Teddy Lee, still protecting the little fish from the big sharks. Duke, heard a lot about you. Yeah, I know who you are. Seen your picture on the news a million times. Why are you risking getting yourselves caught to come here? We heard about that missing kid, Reggie. Uh, you know him? Yeah, runt from my youth squad. Always a target for the bigger kids. <laughs> Remind you of anyone? We think Cobe... The people who set us up may be involved. We were hoping you could use your connections. Get us in to see that witness the cops are holding. Sounds like a Hail Mary shot. Hey, just trust me on this one, bro. Hey, it's okay, Ray. These guys are friends. You can talk to him. What's the point? They'll just tell me I'm lying. We know what it's like when no one believes you. Especially when it involves a ten-foot-tall lava lamp. You seen it too? Seen it and rescued a boy from it, a little younger than you. I never meant to hurt Reggie. We were just messing around, I swear. 
Then that thing came out of the storm drain. Next thing I knew, Reggie was gone. Which storm drain? Bensonhurst? Calvert? Bayview? 23rd, near the boardwalk. Whoa, tell me you're not thinking about diving again. Teddy, just go to Mom and Pop's garage and grab my old gear. No way. That's what got you busted in the first place. Let the cops handle this, Nikki. The cops wouldn't know what to do with a bio viper if it marched up to the station and saluted. Wait, are you telling me this monster is for real? The real problem isn't monsters in our sewer lines. It's unsupervised children who will say anything to avoid the blame for their criminal actions. <laughs> Mindbender, I'd hate to think you allowed a bio-viper to escape again and risk exposing our entire operation. Already on it. I I I've arranged for a squad of Cobra's best to retrieve it. I would rest much easier if you handled this personally. Personal's good. I'm personal. All right, Grunch. I shop. Try to keep up. Who died and made you scarlet? No offense, Duke, but this is my turf. <clears throat> sure you don't want me to sit this one out? I mean, if there's a viper, there's usually someone or something controlling it, right? We got your back, soldier. Oh, man, it stinks down here. <sighs> Smells like home to me. Oh, remind me never to come over to your house. Looks like something was in a hurry. Bio Viper residue. How do you know? Just do. Seriously? Ask, and the sewer provides. <clears throat> Next time, stay off the frozen burritos. This way. Can't explain how, but I can sense something. How about our missing kid? You sense him at all? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold your fire! There's a lot that can go boom down here. Methane, ammonia. Watch and learn, my friend. As ESP. Tunnel rat swinging around like a monkey. <sighs> I'm almost afraid to ask. What's your hidden talent? I can play the accordion. Shh. It's close. Real close. And don't see anything. 
I do. Wish I didn't. Ripcord. We'll hold off the Viper. Leave him alone! Hold your fire! Kid, look out! You could have got yourself killed. You were gonna shoot him! That was the plan. It's Reggie, right? Wait, where's Ripcord? Back off, mud pie! <laughs> Ripcord! Roadblock, take Reggie to the surface. We'll secure Ripcord. Uh, I'm not real good with kids. That's in order, Corporal. Wakey, wakey. <sighs> Time to check your vitals. Who are you? The sewer monster. Where exactly did you see it? I already told those social workers everything. I'm not talking to you. Well, maybe you'll feel more of a rapport with my associate. Let me go! You're not a cop! Reggie? I got rights, man! Wouldn't tell me where he lives, so I brought him here. Hey, you okay, kiddo? What were you doing in the sewers? Did someone force you down there? Was it Ray? Nah, Ray tried to give me a shakedown. Then my boy popped out of the storm drain, and BAM! So I followed him down. Figured if I hung with him, nobody mess with me anymore. As my grams would say, the common sense fairy was not kind to you, child. He was protecting me. Nobody else ever did that. Who was protecting you, Reggie? Oh, you know, ten-foot tall stranger with oozing tendrils. Real charmer. The sewer monster? Which is why I need to be getting back. Hey, wait, is Nikki still down there? Go find Counselor Hernandez and have her call your parents. And the police. The way I figure, the tunnel they went down leads to the old F-Line station. Anything under this city you don't know about? Oh. <laughs> uh, that. I don't have to be a sewer rat to know if we fall into that, there's no swimming our way out. So let's not fall in. Good plan. Slow and steady. I guess it's too late to say we meant to do this, right? How'd you manage to fight that thing off? It probably just got tired of his jokes. There's something different about this Viper. I know it sounds crazy, but I get the feeling that when it took me, it was trying to protect me. A Viper with a conscience? Well, well, well. Look what the rats dragged in. I came looking for a stray, and what do I find? Our most wanted patient X. Almost makes this trip down to Stinktown worthwhile. Time for you and me to get on the same page, Private Weems. You can't control me anymore. What say we test your hypothesis? <laughs> Ripcord, no! I'd call that myth... busted. Ripcord, you can fight this! That chip in his head and my improved Neuralink say otherwise, soldier boy. Relapse.
Phillips. Nikki, run! Oh, now that is just gross. And totally unnecessary. The puppet master's pinched, so the puppets aren't playing. Did I do that? Yeah, actually, that would be me. I rigged a failsafe. Cut off my Neuralink. The Vipers all go boom. Are you nuts? With the fumes down here, that'd blow up half of Brooklyn. Well, the Bronx can thank me later. Let him go. <laughs> Vantage, mind bender. <laughs> Patient X, the doctor will see you now. Sorry, you're not on my health plan. Beg to differ. <laughs> I did not have to see that. Okay, let's see. Joe's helpless. Patient X back under my control. What am I forgetting? Oh, that's right. Tear them all apart! Mindbender, wait! Let my brother go. <laughs> you wait a minute. Slow down. Your brothers? Wow. Talk about bad genes. <laughs> Waste the sibs first! Oh, you just had to be the tough guy. Dude was harshing on our DNA, bro. Reggie was right. It is a friendly. No, it's a viper, which means I can control it. I forgot to put a chip in the one that got away. Patient X, destroy this walking failure! Change what you did to me, but I can make sure you never do it to anyone else. Record, wait! Hang on, bro. I'll get you free. Yeah, free to detonate along with Coney Island, Sheepshead Bay, and Bensonhurst. You all head to the surface. I'll absorb the blast. I can't let you do that. It's either one of us or all of us. What is that thing doing? I'd say the world's biggest cherry bomb is about to flush itself down the world's biggest toilet. Up! Out! Now! Anybody got an umbrella? It's not raining. Three, two, one. Oh, no, that's perfect. Still can't believe a viper would sacrifice itself to save us. 
save barely begins to cover it. Thanks for sticking up for me down there, bro. By the way, you still kick like a girl. You sure this headgear is necessary? Hey, I can protect you from a lot, bro. But if mom found out you were home and didn't visit, Particularly when my every waking hour is devoted to your service. Must we begin this conversation with such hostility? I've been summoned in the dead of night like a house servant, and I'm not allowed to be hostile. Our subterranean transit system is well behind schedule. What have you been doing to rectify that? What have I been doing? This! I've upgraded the excavator to receive a remote signal cleanly through 300 feet of rock. No more stones. Your tunnels are being burrowed. Replay. Ten seconds. We have an intruder. they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. can get through your security. The Joes? No, that wasn't their ninja, Commander. And assassinations are not their style. Someone else wants your life. Cobra Tower better be fortified. Its defenses are more than sufficient. But just to ease your mind, I'll have Storm Shadow meet us on sight. Espionage, sabotage, infiltration, and assassination. Are those not the skills of a ninja? I'm still getting used to the suit. Don't blame the suit. 
payment was to include one assignment, successfully executed. My company does business across the globe. One phone call, and everyone will know the Arashikage's leader does not keep her word. Now load your bike. I detoured through Brooklyn. I'm Scarlet. This is Snake Eyes. I know you. Here, this will get you into DeCobre's offices. You're sure the penthouse will be empty? All weekend. Oh, one more thing. I vacuumed his office long enough to know that it's smaller than the ones on the lower floors. But it shouldn't be. Number one is online. Cameras two and three are online. Snake Eyes, get out of there, now! Security is rushing the building. The roof and penthouse are secure. You're cleared to land. Only one person would make this kind of an entrance. Double the guards. Where is my ninja? I'll find out. You're late. Do not press your luck, Baroness. Just tell me about the assassin. A ninja. Small, wearing some kind of high-tech suit. Who could it be? When I separate his head from his shoulders, then we will both know. Not until we fought. He did train me. Okay, aside from attacking your own sensei, what do you think you're doing? I don't have to explain myself to you. This is the Warashikage business. You're not a part of the family. And neither are you. Who hired you to go pursue Cobra Commander? Stay out of this! You can't tell me the Arashikage are now paid assassins. What do you mean, now? I'm carrying on a thousand years of tradition. Dirty work is what we do. No. Some knew where to draw the line, like Snake Eyes. And your father. How dare you bring my father into this? It was Snake Eyes who assassinated him! Ah! 
Yeah, I know what it is. It's the reed you used to stab my father. Don't lie to me. You as much as admitted it. And Storm Shadow was a witness. Wait. What exactly did Storm Shadow see? Snake Eyes stabbing my father in the throat. I've seen that reed before, Jinx. When I was poisoned, my throat swelled. I couldn't breathe. That blowgun was what Snake Eyes was going to use to punch a hole in my esophagus. To save my life. A... a tracheotomy? Was my father poisoned? And... and you were trying to save him? <laughs> Sensei, I... I am so sorry. I didn't want to believe, but Storm Shadow was so convincing. You mean obsessed, to the point of aligning himself with our enemy. Storm Shadow works for Cobra? He's up there right now protecting the commander from you. He can't stop me. And you shouldn't try either, Sensei. Everyone expects me to fail as master. I have to do this. My honor is at stake. There is no honor in what you're planning to do. I don't see what the big deal is. You said yourself Cobra is your enemy. You should be encouraging me. Don't make this about someone else's vengeance. This is about you going down the wrong path. Because once you do, there's no turning back. I know you just want to protect me. But I'm not a little girl anymore. Jinx! <laughs> Relief, you're all right. You've not answered any of my calls. We have been a little preoccupied, James. I can only imagine. Do you have any idea who might be behind this madness? Not yet, but I will. Still, I would advise preparing for the worst. Meaning what, exactly? If an assassination were to be successful, someone would need to step into the vacuum of leadership. Immediately. I trust that would be you. It's almost as if you were hoping for such an outcome. Certainly not. But I do have a vested interest in the contingency plans of Cobra, wouldn't you agree? They are Mars's largest shareholder. Excuse me, Baroness. We have a situation. Perhaps you shouldn't be anywhere near them. What is it? We've lost surveillance on the roof, and the Alpha Guards have gone silent. The Beta team sent to investigate is no longer responding. Come with me. Everyone on alert. An assassin is in the building. You will all defend the commander with your lives. an explanation. I've been hired to assassinate Cobra Commander. By whom? It doesn't matter. You don't need to protect him anymore. What are you talking about? Snake Eyes is innocent. He didn't murder my father. You are letting his lies obscure the truth again. No. This did not take Hardmaster's life. Poison did. Snake Eyes was using the reed to open my father's airway because he couldn't breathe. Poison?
cops were switched. When you and I return to Japan, we shall track down my father's real killer. Together. As for now, I ask that you step aside and... Okay, then. <laughs> Your ninja must have failed. You assured me this would not happen, Baroness. Are you completely incompetent? Do not ever speak to me that way again. And you, keep your focus on that wall. Baroness, what is it? Our defenses have failed. I need you to dispatch a squad of battle android troopers now. But I've only a few prototypes in my New York facility. Send everything you have, Destro, or you will not see another sunrise. By your command. buying that summer stock garbage. Nah, not much of a ninja, are you? Never even noticed the switcheroo back at the mansion before the aircraft took off. See? Tell me who sent you. Answer your elders. A rock? <gasps> When I find out who hired you, there'll be no place remote enough for either of you to run. <sighs> Snake Eyes? Fight as one, as Arashikage.
Snake Eyes. I have been emptied after learning the truth. It was... It was I who poisoned Heartmaster. What? The poison was not meant for your father. It was meant for you. But why? You already know. I wanted the Arashikage for my own, and Snake Eyes stood in my way. If you're asking for forgiveness... I am not, for I do not deserve it. Kim, you are the rightful heir to your father's clan. Lead it well. I know I should hate Storm Shadow, but he loved my father. What do you think will become of him? He's a warrior without a master. I doubt he'll ever find peace. And you? I will lead the Arashikage down the path my father intended. <laughs> We will abandon the old ways, and embrace the new. Technology is the future of the Arashikage, and I will only look forward. Watch the rewards! These are plasma pulse rifles, not your daddy's M16s! Finally, a little civilization. Lieutenant, your newest recruit. Any trouble persuading him to leave Idaho? Practically jumped in the chopper. Said he'd do anything to be near a city with a sushi restaurant. Corporal Herschel Dalton reporting for duty, sir. Know why you're here, Corporal? I have the distinct impression this isn't about me. I am unaware of my cousin's current location, sir. So am I. Which is why I want you to hunt him down. That gonna be a problem for you? Never cared much for Marvin, but we are family, so I have to insist on certain conditions. Such as? Reassignment to your unit, permanently. You bring Roadblock in, you got yourself a transfer. Welcome to the Falcons, Dalton. Call me heavy duty, sir. Accused of a crime they didn't commit. A ragtag band of fugitives fights a covert battle to clear their names and expose the insidious enemy that is Cobra. Some call them outlaws. Some call them heroes. But these determined men and women think of themselves only as ordinary Joes. And this is their story. This ain't the Atlantic coast. This, my friend, is the state of Mississippi. <laughs> home sweet home. Biloxi, we're supposed to be checking out a subterranean disturbance in Virginia. I bet a certain somebody has a hankering for home cooking. It's not like that somebody to be secretive. So what's the story, Roadblock? Sorry, Duke. I got this family thing I have to take care of. I'd like to invite y'all, but I need to fly solo on this one. They have until 1,200 hours. Fine. Leave. Without making us breakfast first. A brave member of the Tuskegee Airmen, Captain Jefferson Hinton, was a leader, a soldier, and a friend, husband, father, grandfather. Jefferson's legacy lives on in his descendants. 
A moment of silence for Biloxi's favorite son. Let us pray. Grant? Oh, Marvin Hinton, for shame. But I'm innocent. Oh, shush. I'm talking about you coming to Grandpa's remembrance without your baby cousin in tow. Well, I don't know where Herschel is. You military boys ever heard of 411? Now get down here and give me a big hug or you'll be needing some 911. <laughs> really missed you, Gramps. Me too. But you smart to stay away. Shady types been asking around. You best get. Go on now, go. Love you, Gramps. You have the right to remain silent, cousin. Herschel? I'm apprehending you under Article 7 of the Uniform Military Code of Justice. Don't tell me you're working for Flint. We're family. Are we? Come on, you're not still mad about- Ancient history. Of course, a full confession might help ease your conscience. Get down! Your friends just tried to shoot me in the back. My friends don't miss. That's Cobra. Get me out of these cups. The intel on your exploits. You've been stalking Cobra, not the other way around. Don't worry. We'll circle back for your accomplices later. Good eye, mates. Got me a one-time offer. Big man comes along quiet-like. Little man keeps breathing. Who's he calling little? You are little, Blur. And that crazy Aussie's a Cobra gun for hire. He calls himself Major Blur. You have a price on your head, so I'll believe the mercenary part. But Cobra, how foolish do you think I am? Fool enough to get us both blown up while you're flapping your girls. As a wise man once said, best defense is a good offense. Not against grenades, it ain't. We'll lose them if you cut across the swamp. I know every back road in this county. And I drove a cab in Chicago before I enlisted. Watch and learn. Gentlemen, please hold your applause. That's the sound of one hand clapping. <laughs> Might want to get us out of these cuffs now.
<laughs> well, you wanted to sightsee through the swamp. Happy? Admit it. You miss Biloxi. Uh, I have no fondness for the South. 